So after 10, it's 45. And 10 in this game. Garav Kambli, the new bowler. With 36 balls left. And when you can get those twos with the down and up on the left side and off side. If they bat sensibly, there's an opportunity to get another 45 to 50 runs. But dismissals at regular intervals will peg them back significantly. Three runs. Again, trying to go for that uh, back net along the ground. Ends up getting three. Mix up again. A comedy of errors, Michael. The fielders weren't willing to convert. They were appealing for a catch. And both batsmen found themselves at the same end. But this time, no one was willing to run back. Let's see that again. Well, yes, the non-striker goes halfway. And the striker comes the full distance. <laughs> one, and, one and a half runs there. Ends up in minus five. I think it's a tussle between the batsmen. If you let me down once, I'm going to let you down as well. <laughs> Non-striker says, no way I'm running there again, mate. <laughs> but the problem is now, that becomes a dot ball. Two. This time they do it easily. And the last ball. Two runs. Last ball. So pressure off now. It's quite unfortunate for Singapore now that 26 becomes an outlier and India can look to target the second and third skins to come back into the game. Mahalinga knows to play one way. Again. Miscommunication <laughs> to the maximum. And based on their body language, Captain TC will have a handful in terms of trying to keep these two in check. Once the skin ends, cardinal error there. Just can't imagine what the calling process was there. There's both were in the middle. And it's interesting because Singapore have always had TC and Gaurav opening the batting. They've been very consistent as a pair. We speak about having consistency as a pair. If you want to shift a batsman up or down the order, it's important to do so with the pair. Because communication and understanding between the two batters is key. So it's Sam. Three. So that's Samir Shah. Maybe shorten name Sam. Two. That's nicely done. And when Ricky and I were on air yesterday, Samir Shah bowled really well. One of their linchpins with the ball for the India Masters. He's doing it pretty well. I've noticed most of the time if you bowl your spinners properly a lot of batsmen have problem uh, trying to get the ball away okay, third ball third ball batters third ball third ball third ball That was in. Safely negotiated. It's one ball left in the skin. Just the 11 runs. Uh, there was a uh, one over there again, which about three dismissals. 
Of the last two overs brought in about uh, three dismissals. So. And Michael, come the end of this tournament, I'd like to see the stats on the third ball scenarios. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm quite okay. convinced that in 60 or 70 percent of occasions, the batsman safe to negotiate. So that's the end of uh, the third skin. 12 overs done. 46 with just 11 for this uh, skin. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now. <laughs> where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. Go star right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. Ready? Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig so 46 uh, on the board, 11 in that last skin. So two good skins uh, for India. At the moment, uh, they are in second place in this uh, Masters uh, section behind uh, the Sri Lanka uh, Masters. India ahead of the Sri Lanka Legends by one point. So the uh, Legends have won two games for us. Uh, around, India have won around. more skins. Therefore, they are one point ahead. And now they will feel against Singapore. The second and third skin are two skins they could win when they come out to bat as well. So this uh, fourth skin is very important for Singapore. They need to pile up the runs here. Well, India must need to win this game also, Ricky, to be on top of the table. Yes, uh, they will uh, need a win as well uh, to keep themselves ahead. But if they can win two or three skins here, that will be uh, certainly uh, a positiveness uh, for two them. Balls to go. Balance, two balls to go. 50 on the board now. So we have uh, the uh, two batters for Singapore, Akash the and uh, ball, Satya, batters, who is out there. Ball. That's well bowled. Prasanna, ball. Over. good Over. control. Is bowling uh, stump to stump. Third it's a third ball situation now. So this is pressure on the Singapore batters. They need to cross over, get a single. Prasanna Kumar into his uh, second over. Now Rish Kuna will be bowling that. So oh, four ball. runs on the board for third Singapore ball. in these uh, final skin. Okay, 50 on the board. Well, Singapore does uh, need to do well in this skin. Oh, there you that's go. Uh, that's a dismissal, isn't it, Paulina's third ball. The they have to cross side, over. Please. The batter missed it. Side, and he's been uh, stumped because they were looking for that run. So they go on to minus now. Now there you go, India right on top in the skin for the first time. Uh, Put in Singapore in a minus position on the back foot. That was good bit of wicket keeping too. More or less it will be a stump, not a run out. The batter couldn't hold on to the ground. Singapore gone into minus. That's another good delivery. It could be Ooh. a close call. But a bit of misfielding by the Indian fielders. Allow Singapore to get two runs. Four balls remaining in this uh, 14th over. Well, India has done uh, pretty well up to now. And another wicket, another dismissal. So definitely again, uh, Singapore goes into minus. It's minus four. 
clean bowled him. It's a good delivery. Missed a straight one. Akash, she was uh, trying to play it with an angle bat. Trying to play it down and up into that offside net. Missed it completely. Not good technique. Need to cover the line of the ball as well. So that is pulling back the total of runs also. Down to 42. Yes, ball. they need to rebuild. They once again need to get this onto a positive, balance, onto a plus. Score. They've got one here. So they need, even they may not get a big score in the third skin or the fourth skin. They need to make sure that they are not on minus and uh, not uh, be problematic to the final score. Oh, that's in the air, but safe. Very lucky. Okay, last Top ball. Edge. Last ball. They got a couple of ones here. One ball left in the 14th over. It's been a good one. Coming around. Coming over. Left out. Oh, that's another, another stump. And over. Well, over. Ines, uh, you took it away. That's another stump. In. Just uh, poor cricket, isn't it? I mean, uh, that was short and wide. All he needed to do is hit it hard into the surface, get it up into the net. That was easy. But what he lost his balance completely and uh, his foot in, he was out of the crease. Who's Brilliant uh, behind the stumps. The wicket keeper, no doubt about it. And uh, now they are well in a spot of bother at the moment. Uh, the Singaporeans. Minus seven. The players ready, please. After Thank you. that uh, two overs. So they got to rebuild their innings and the skin. And also the total going down to 39. They were doing one very well at one stage. Okay, coming over. But with minus seven, two overs remaining. Okay, play. One more wicket to will definitely put them in real trouble. And this skin. They most probably end up in minus, Ricky. Yes, sir, that goes as a fair delivery as well. He was looking for the wide. Now there you go. This is what you it's need two. to be doing. Very simple. Akash has to uh, follow his partner. Akash has uh, probably tried a couple of things too many. They need a few more of those in these uh, two overs. That's good bowling there again. Singapore got to be aware of it because Samisha might bowl the last over. That's it officially. The third ball, batter's third yes, ball. He's able to get third the ball. ball and bat uh, technically. He's, uh, third ball, batter. Not a sound enough with the bat. You could see hasn't played a lot of indoor cricket. Uh, hasn't played a lot of cricket in general, I feel. So it's the third ball situation created by the Indian bowlers. That's a fuller delivery. Two. Just pushed it on the offside. Cross the off for ball. a single. Two. Taking the total on to 43 and the skin total on to minus 3 still. Still there in minus. Just a delivery on oh. the 15th over. A no ball call. Was probably for the height. And over. Over. To get two more runs added to the score. Abhishek Wesley, none for 13. See Satya on 7 and. Kash on minus seven. Well, the although really the ball was flighted, Ricky, it was coming down. Stuck the batter somewhere around the knee. Yes, sir, they managed to get into that zero, not minus anymore. But uh, they should have been well ahead to some poor cricket, poor shot selection. Now they come down to this final over there to ensure they get to around eight or ten. And, you know, be on the safer side, get over that 50 run mark, uh, uh, Paulinus, without uh, being minus. They should try to get at least six twos. So they're going to go to straight down. That is a good hit. I think he's got a, a four there. Well, that's a six. Well, I didn't see that hit the back net. It did straight go into the back net. Wow, that was a good hit. No doubt about it. Isn't he happy? Mm. 
So there you go. Two more. Now this is what his partner needs to be doing as well. Get those uh, twos. Now they've got nine. They're already ahead. We, we said they would probably get about eight or ten. But with that six, Polinus, they've got nine already with four deliveries to go. They could end up in 16 or 17. If they bat proper, well done. That's the way to go. Dive in as well. One more run there. Taking the score on to 10. Well, if they can uh, come up to about 15, 16, then this pair have done a good job in the last over. Three more deliveries left in this final over of the innings. That's a dot ball there. That is uh, Akash. Akash in all kinds of problems. That's oh, it does well, does well. Two. Well done. The last Managed ball, to get off strike, ball, get two more. Last ball. If he did that in the first two, three overs, Singapore would have been 20 plus quite easily. The last ball. So now they need to bat sensibly here. Get a two, not go for anything uh, rash, and uh, go minus. Well played. Two. Another dive in. And He's been diving around, no doubt about it. That's two more to the total. Takes it on to 14, the skin total. And uh, so Prashant uh, Karia ends up with 20 of his uh, two overs. So 60 on the board, that's a decent total. They probably would have got a little bit more, maybe 75 to 80. But unfortunately, a few dismissals hasn't helped those last three skins, 9, 11 and 14. But they'll take that. They'll try to win that first skin, definitely Singapore. And try to defend this uh, score when they come out uh, to bowl. It won't be easy for India. But India will be looking to win those three skins. That's what they will want and get those points, important points. They are currently one point ahead of the Sri Lanka legends. They will want to uh, further distance themselves and uh, get a few points on the board. This is their first skin. That's some and highlights of the... Singapore innings. This was that uh, second skin where they lost three wickets very quickly. The run out, then that superb catch, and then the clean ball. Sharp picking up those wickets. And then came the, oh, that was a good catch as well. This was in the third skin. And again, a couple of dismissals uh, didn't help them. So hitting the ball too much in the air. And that has been the problem. They're looking to hit the back uh, too much. And this was good wicket keeping there. Two good stumps they've taken. There you are, the second one. And they end well with that uh, six and a couple of uh, twos. So it's a challenge. 61 is uh, the required target for India. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Take care of the first two and the third work will take care of itself. 
I'm here at your Asia Sports and Leisure Center. So as we come back, target 60, 61. But uh, India have to get. Okay, I think India will be pretty confident. Will be happy to restrict uh, Singapore to uh, just 60 runs. It will be uh, Samir uh, and Abhishek, the two opening batsmen. Well, they'll have a bit of a tough time. 26 is uh, what uh, they need to beat to, uh, to get that skin. Yes, Michael, and they can't afford early inroads for Singapore. And since 26 was is that outlier, Michael, they, they should, even if they aren't, if they're not able to chase it down, they should get close, lay a solid foundation for the rest of their batting lineup because India are, st haven't, are still winless in this division. So even if they can't get the skin point of the first kid, they need to look at the bigger picture and try to po get to that total of 60 slash. So maybe one of their better pairs coming out just to try and get this skin also under their belt. Yes, the last thing India would want is to be overly aggressive in this skin, lose a few too many dismissals and be pegged back significantly for the rest of their run chase. And that's the understanding between the two batsmen, right, Michael? Like, there was no loud call. There was just a glance at the non-striker, and they were both off immediately. Because they won't want to go into a third ball situation and put themselves under pressure. As long as you don't hesitate, both running, or you might have a better chance of making it. That's the end of the first over, is it? A great first over for Singapore. This skin has to go at six runs per over. If they are to tie Singapore's first skins total. The new bowler is Ismet Shah Jahan. Thing was not losing any wickets that first over. There goes his mat again. There were 10 dismissals in Singapore's innings, Michael. 50, so 50 runs. That's all. And that's the first for India. Beaten by pace there. Abhishek Wesley. Just trying to play it very casually. Just jamming into the stumps. So now they are under pressure. Minus one. They will need to, like you said, get a decent total. That's all. And that's two dismissals in consecutive two deliveries. Balance, two balls to go. Somebody please keep the best on, please. The worst possible start for India. Readily gifting this first kid away. Play, two balls to go, play. But the last ball now comes in. Last ball. What do India do from here? 
they go look at the back that plants in a way or just continue to try and get the tools and get some decency one. I think what they've got to do is break oh this wow. 60 down across oh wow the wow. four skins. So that's 15 runs per skin. If they can get close to 15, they wouldn't have put the rest of their batting line up under too much pressure. Hola. Yeah, that, that's one way you can look at it. Volankush. Volankush. Thank you. Okay, players, ready? Like you said, if they get okay, coming over, if you break it down into 50, they will be winning the last three uh, skins and and the match. But now, this needs to come okay, to the plus, and definitely, it's not going to. I don't know whether they can manage 15 in this skin, yes, because if they're in the negatives, Michael. Then for the remaining three skins, it's an average of yeah. over 20. They can't afford to lose any more. Because That's one. Again, very dangerous, hitting it straight to the fielder. I think on this occasion, the fielder had a little more time, you know, to get it back. But I guess... As you get the ball behind, you need to release it. This is the problem. They can't get it onto the side net. Oh. And, and this has been the issue for India Masters throughout. They're not even looking for the side net. They're just trying to cross bat it down the court. That's all. Yet again. An unforced error there okay, for two India. Balls to go. All Balance you need to do to is go. rotate, strike, look for the side net to go. with the down and up. They're not just gifting the skin away, they seem to be also gifting the game away, Michael. Yeah, they're putting the other batters under severe pressure. That was very well anticipated. Had to dive forward. But kept his eyes on the ball, followed it off the net. Two balls to go. That's exactly what you need to do. And the last ball. Last ball, batters. Last ball. The perfect start for Singapore. They wouldn't have been pleased with the total of 60. But now, it's effectively 70 with just three skins left. Well, this is the problem. Yes. Uh, did that uh, touch the net? Owa! Owa, Owa! And that was three runs. And I know we can't read into the lineup too much, but based on this being the highest skin, target, and assuming they've sent out it's their Bola. best two batters, it's ominous signs for India. Next bowler name, please. Well, it could be Thank another you. ploy. Uh, okay, batters ready. Players ready, please. To just Coming uh, over. See how this maybe give one skin to Singapore and make sure that they get the Coming balance over. three and win the match. So you'll never know. Okay, play. You'll play. have to wait and see. Yes. Yes, 26 may be a little bit on the higher side. And if that was the ploy, they would have wanted damage control by these two. I think uh, that's what they were trying to do, but uh, unfortunately, yeah. well, when you get a ball that is fast into the stumps, there's nothing you can do. You yeah. miss it, you're gone. But the running between the wickets or the shots <coughs> hitting to the net. On that's the all. There you see. So those should be played onto the ground. So minus 11. You were saying 15 each pair, not minus 15. <laughs> I think they've got the wrong end of the six there, the wrong end of the spectrum there, Michael. So now, safe to say, Singapore really on top because uh, when the balance uh, skins, they said 
started with this need in 61 but now it's 72 that they'll need to win and that's been interesting to One. see throughout the course of this tournament michael the singapore women's team the sri lanka women's team and now the india masters they all had middling targets to chase all it took was one bad skin and they were c completely swept out of the game just out out again okay, two balls to go that is two balls to go and as ricky says michael now india have to play out of their skins to win each of the remaining skins plus the game i think they'll have to play quite not only out of their skins <laughs> out of a lot of skins so two balls to go by us <laughs> so well the 15 is on the board just that that they're doing it in That's real out. absolute values michael and another one and the last ball last ball Viren, i hope you know how many dismissals in this game yes I have no clue. I've kept track. There have been seven dismissals in this skin for India. And now, and this is the beauty of this game. You can post a target of 60, but that target keeps fluctuating throughout the run chase. So now it's 81, basically. With just three skins left after this delivery. a lot on those uh, balance uh, matters that's one and over that was nearly an over, eighth over. dismissal michael so many of errors i think the Fair best would be a relief to walk out uh, of this game nightmare for india legends minus 19 they finish on a lot to do for the next uh, Prasanna and Sunil. So, bowler name, please. Bowler name, please. Thank you. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Those way must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. That is third ball, third ball. Third ball, better. Third ball. So India in a real spot of bother at this stage. Minus 19 as we start the second uh, skin. So they are well up behind at the moment. A lot of catching up to do. But uh, what India will need is to win these next three skins, uh, Paulinus. We had. Uh, but low scores, uh, 9, 14, something like that. There you go, 9, 11, and 14. So they will need to, even though they are minus, the they should forget to about that. Try and win these three skins and get three points out two of balls this to go game. Two balls even to if go. Singapore win the game, they'll get three plus one, only four points. So, so India, those three points will be very valuable uh, to uh, go further away from the Legends team who are c uh, closing up on them. The third ball. Rick, if India can, uh, ball, still India ball. can still win this game, you know, if they can yeah, put uh, 20s and 30s on certainly. those next three uh, so skins. Short ball. Yeah. They're definitely not so out They got of to it. bat well. That's all what they got to do. Try to win the three skins and bat well to get up to that 60 mark. 
That's all one. they need to be doing. And Knocking Owa. it around, hitting Owa. it into the uh, net, down and up. What they are trying to do uh, is uh, blast the ball, hit it into the back net. That has been their problem. Uh, uh, the Indian batters, most of them. Next bowler. Trying to hit uh, sixes and fours. Uh, they're trying to play the T20 cricket in in Indo cricket. Some of the players ready. To play Thank that you. Josh Butler in is uh, here. In, in, in uh, Colombo, I think, uh, and uh, that's the mistake they have made, uh, uh, Paulinus. Oh, what a fantastic inning that was yesterday by Josh Butler. Single-handedly. Keep kept control. Control. When outdoor, uh, outdoor cricket, you know, s maybe a player or two uh, single-handedly, you can take a game away. But in indoor cricket, Keep you players ready, please. Thank you. You need the pair. Each the pair play. has Coming to contribute Keep play. for the win. Play. So even. Uh, if you how good you are, you cannot do it single-handedly. If it's your partner is not uh, as good as you, you are going to fall in trouble. And also the third ball situation, you can't stay on one end. You got to cross over, so that means you need that pair to get going if they need to really do well. So it's minus 16 for in, uh, India. The total three in this can one. That's two more coming to the total. This is better batting. One more to the total. In fact, hitting that back neck. So, uh, still they're on minus 15 overall, but they're four. They need just uh, 10 runs to win this uh, skin. They're going well. Sensible batting. Prasanna and uh, Sunil. The oh, foul. that's out. You see, once again, uh, it was brilliant fielding, no doubt about it. But once again, you could see the shot. He was, uh, you know, he hit it so hard, uh, straight to the field. So the quicker you hit it, that was easier for the field uh, to get it uh, to the uh, stumps. What well he needed to do was hit the net and uh, not the field. But they're unfortunately, you see what the I feel, Rick, What I feel, Ricky, is they're trying to hit hard and go to the straight net, which is too early at this stage. they got to well build up some runs and then try that out. So now they're minus one again. Just that hard work has uh, gone down the drain. We have uh, the Singaporean uh, coach, the head Thank of you. cricket. He's been with the Singapore Indo, Indo cricket for a long, long time. <laughs> oh, top edge. Very That's lucky. One. The fielder couldn't get a hand onto that one. Two that just uh, <coughs> ballooned in the air. Two balls to go, brother. Living dangerously. Again, they have to start fresh. Again, they have to get 10 runs. Still, they have time to do. They have two more overs plus uh, four deliveries. That's uh, 16 deliveries. Okay, two balls to go, batters. Two balls to go. They got to concentrate and try to work on those twos. Good bowling, though. Good bowling. Bowling okay, very ball. Last ball, batters. Last ball. One more delivery in this over, the sixth over. That's Super all. In by Akash. And over. That's another dismissal, over. I think. I'll tell you, uh, we saw Akash over. bat. He was very poor with the bat. But I think what is, they're playing him as a bowler because he's uh, spot on with the ball. He's bowling those good lengths and lines. And uh, maybe they know he's not the best of batters, best of runners between the wickets. But they I know see. he will produce you, give you two good overs. Ready. Thank you. And he's uh, just uh, doing that at the moment, creating the pressure. Guys, keep and the bears uh, on, that please. That was a very good over by Akash. Fielders, he's, uh, please keep up, the bears uh, on. Minus five there for them. Keep the bears on. It's a total also minus 24. So they need okay, to get at least one. another... 84 runs to win this game in two skins, which is a tough ask. What they need now is 15 play. runs in these uh, two, two overs. Now that must be their target. 15 of two. Right? They need to get 15 of two because they need to get rid of that minus five and uh, get 10 more. So all they need to do to get that 15 is uh, just to knock a few balls into that side net and run. Three runs. Oh, that hit, that would have been close call. Nevertheless, he'll get three. So that was a, a important one. 
a few more of those much needed we see some good fielding by the singapore singapore team they're doing very well on the field too supporting their bowlers they yes. see again One. that return coming in very quickly just a run there Coming down to minus one again. The nine uh, deliveries left, ten runs uh, or eleven runs to get. Still possible for s for India, but Singapore. Oh, no, that's uh, not out. So that was a good hit. Much needed. That was a seven. Balance two balls to go. There you go. That's what they have been targeting. Finally succeeding. Hitting the back net on the full. A big hoik attempted run out, but he was a safe lead. Michael, they've done the hard work now. Ooh. That's well played. And the last Very ball, well Badass last ball. Playing it late, up and uh, down and up into the net. So eight runs on the board up to now. They can uh, get ahead in this delivery and uh, bat safely that next over. Well played, well played. Oh, what was two. he doing there? And what over. Was the ball watching. Over. Was uh, the batter lucky to escape? The next ball going to the wrong end. If it went to the keeper's end, there would have been a run out. Yes, definitely. It was a small mix up by the Singapore Who's fielders. Ankush is bowling. Selecting the wrong end. Bowler name? So Ankush Varma is about this uh, last over of this skin. Now Singapore are ahead in this skin. Who's bowling? They just Ola need Ankush. to bat proper. You know, get a couple of twos the and ensure Thank that you. they win this game. Get that point. They cannot afford to get dismissed. Okay, batsman ready, please. Batsman and, uh, ready. Whatever they get from here is going to help okay, coming uh, to over. Uh, reduce that uh, deficit which they had in the last game. Okay, play. Uh, coming over. Play. Last game as well. If they were minus 19 in the first skin. Well, they can win the second skin now if they bat sensibly this over. Six more balls remaining. Oh. Here again, he's trying to go for the straight net. What was he trying to do there? He's he trying, trying to hit to it hard. He's trying to go trying straight. Trying to hit it out of uh, the uh, out of the court. In the courts, I'll tell you. Again, another one hammered. Two. Very lucky. Very lucky. Yes, he's got a two. But he was very lucky that didn't come quickly back to the non-striker's end for a run out. They are at the moment uh, ahead. They've won this skin. Well, they if they totally to can go into plus, Ricky, at this stage, if they totally can go into plus, they still have a chance of getting that 60 runs yes, in the to next get into plus, uh, you need to just get those twos. Because if you get in a uh, uh, minus, you'll uh, further go in uh, to trouble and you lose the skin as well. Oh, there you go. This is uh, very silly. Very silly, I think it is uh, by the non striker. You know, what was it? It was not a third ball situation neither. So, why did he need to run for that one? He's uh, just uh, given away the advantage that they had. That was poor thinking indeed, no doubt about that. There you see the non striker and almost the there. On, because you could see the, the striker, he was down on one Fielders, knee. So, he had to get up on. and go to the striker. Fielders, uh, keep non striker the in, and there was no chance at all. So that takes the total on to minus 12 again. And they're down on the skin also. They go down to 7, which they were leading. Thank you. Three balls to go. Three more deliveries remaining. You see, he wants to go straight. <laughs> Two balls to go. That's a dot ball. ball. So they so have to get four runs. They have to get two twos here. If they lose out on this uh, skin, I'll tell you, it's a very poor cricket by India. Two. Managers are too tight. Ball, last, last ball, ball is very crucial. They have to get one or two. Even if they tie, they have an opportunity of getting that point in the next one. Because the next skin is on 11 runs. If they win the next skin, they get the point. If it is a tie. The last ball. I thought... No, this one to this one, this one to this one. Oh, first take a 
So they managed. They managed to get through, but uh, with great difficulty. They were very comfortable, but uh, some uh, poor shot selection, poor running between the wickets uh, caused them. But uh, end of the day, they managed to win that uh, skin with great difficulty. India, but uh, Singapore fought hard. They fought hard till the end. And uh, now they'll be looking to defend the next two skins as well. So. It was completed. Minus eight, uh, chasing sixty-one for victory. Okay. <laughs>
they will have to look at uh, targeting the next game if they have an outside chance. It's a disappointing campaign thus far for the India Masters. We've all been calling for them to find the side nets and they refuse okay, to do so. Ball, Just looking two for ball, the expansive ball, risky ball, stroke ball. down the court. Minus nine means uh, they need to get 70 from here if they're trying to win this game. I still think they should ball, try to ball, win this game and get some bonus points. And if you ball. can't chase down targets of 9, 11 and 14 in skins, it's a poor show. Subpar targets. Once again, looking to go down the court, you have a f you have fielders well placed to retrieve the ball. And when you hit it with so much power, you don't give yourself or your partner time to get to the other end. So Chitrantana is uh, who has uh, not been able to get uh, runs for the team. 11th over about to begin Vijay Players ready So minus 8 okay, play. The skin total has come to 0 Can they get that uh, 12 runs One. You need to be able to use the zonal marking in indoor cricket. Have the wits about you to play it on the offside, leg side with the dunks. Or the down the down and ups as they say. But they're just playing it with a straight bat, looking for to go down the court. But there's a lot of protection in the deep in the back court. So off the page. What was that? I think the ball slipped off his hand. Indian batsman would uh, like that. A few leg no side. balls, leg sides, a few wides. Okay, two balls skin. to go, batters. Two balls to go. The two runs. <coughs> Courtesy of Singapore. Exactly. <coughs> And there is he trying to go down the net. The last ball. Down last the court. Ball. Last ball. Just seven runs more to win this game. If you can get something in this last ball. Leg side. Leg side. And over. Over, over. Next bowler. So now. So Gaurav Kamli has got 11. Gaurav is bowling. He's played quite Fielders, sensibly. Go with your time, please. Thank Looking you. to find okay, play. the side nets. Chilantana has been the problem. Okay, Gaurav Gulati. Wide. Just need 5 runs. You want extra ball? And the wide. Yeah. So help coming, aid coming Singapore's way, <laughs> <laughs> uh, India's way, courtesy of Singapore. Three. So three runs, that's a good shot. Getting to that uh, net. So now plus four. All they have to do is just bat sensibly over the next five deliveries and they win this skin. And Michael, because of how destructive that first skin was for India, you could have an instance here where India walk away with three skins, lose the game. And then just fall short of just one, uh, well... They'll get three points. Third ball, better third ball. 
Third ball. It's funny because it's an uh, the first skin is an outlier for both teams. So, so Third Vanna ball. Singapore will be going with four points. Yes. As I was saying, the first skin was a positive outlier for Singapore. The first skin a negative outlier oh for no India. No. Oh and that third ball scenario Same creating strike, absolute Same chaos. Same bat on strike and two balls. You don't need to hit it. You just get. Just needed to get in line with the yeah. ball Guys, and the just you know get your body or your bat somewhere near that and run. Don't okay, move away ready. from it. Okay, ready, please. Who has gone to minus Batman one? Ready. Thank you. So two balls left. Okay, two balls. Now they'll two have ball. to go down, uh, downtown, looking for that back net. And now we can excuse them for that false stroke down the court. Gaurav has to get, sorry, Chirantana ball. has to get last in line ball. with the ball. He's just been swinging at it. The thing is, he needs room. He needs room to play that flat back shot. Uh, that you can call it that tennis shot, like a backhand. Or yeah. That's why he's just moving away, trying to get make room for himself. Wide. There you see. That's a wide and re ball. Very quickly to ask that re ball. <laughs> okay, last ball. He needs Bad to get last that ball. He needs to hit that ball hard. And he'd be hoping for a repeat of that another wide <laughs> won't hurt the cause. So now just two, so if you can hit one that side net. So that's oh. all. And over up pair uh, change. Over. Over over. over. Again. Unfortunate. Sometimes you need to think a bit. Or your partner needs to tell you exactly what needs to be done. There seems to be no message from the non-striker. Captain, please go with your time. Communication is key. So you got a five, five minutes and five fifty seconds so to finish the overs. Thank you. And now they remain on minus four. Please go four. with your time. Thank you. So it is a daunting task to win this game. It is sixty-five now. Captain is ready. Year. Okay, play. Coming over. Okay, play, please, play. Two. Coming around, coming around. So it was definitely a poor show by India to lose that uh, skin. India getting only four runs in reply to S Singapore's 11 in that skin. Well, uh, they'll be very disappointed uh, indeed, uh, 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 Paulinus. But uh, I'm not oh. surprised as well that uh, they have lost those uh, skins because uh, they are batted very poorly. Even the second skin they won with great difficulty. You know, another ball or two, they may probably lost that one as well. So they're just given away the uh, initiative uh, they had after a good bowling effort. They should have taken uh, at least a minimum three points from this okay, game. Two balls to go, but two unfortunately, balls to go. Uh, now uh, they are finding it difficult, and they will hope that this last skin will go their way, that they could get at least uh, another point and uh, try and win this game, uh, win this skin. Yes, definitely, they must try to get this uh, skin to them. Two. Fourteen runs. And the last ball. Two Bada's more. They are added ball. to the total. So taking the skin total on to six and the total just to two. Coming over. Of course, they really now got to forget about the game because they need another 58 runs, which uh, is definitely impossible at this stage. Four runs and over. Over. So that's the end of that over. They get a boundary there. So taking the skin total on to. So Prashant Karia had got Players six ready, and Narendra Kona had Players got ready. four. I think these are the two battles, best ready. battles Thank the you. Indian pair has. They really might be wanting to win this skin and put up a good score. Play Already please. got ten on the board. He's chasing a target of fourteen in the skin. So that's much better. So not going for the straight net, not going for the big hits. Just uh, clipping it away onto the side net, getting that uh, two. Just keep doing that. You know, that's all you need to be doing in this, uh, to be honest, in this. Uh, that's one. 
indoor cricket if you're batting. You okay, Phil? Forget da? what's uh, okay. up there. If you get uh, two runs a ball, you know what you're going to end up with 12 runs per over. So you're looking at uh, uh, around 48 runs uh, per skin. And that's without Ooh. the wides and the no balls. That's but exactly Ricky, but they were trying to go down to the straight net, which is not uh, possible at all. Always to do that. Once in a way, you can get through it. Yeah, so you, if you're able to get uh, 48 just hitting the side nets, you, you'll end up with uh, 25. And that's, uh, that's a very good skin if two you balls can get to 20 go, to 25. Two balls to go. So uh, this is all they have to do. But at the moment, they've batted much better so far. They have to keep uh, continuing doing this. Already 17, they're on the lead on this skin, but they've got to keep their dismissals intact. And the last ball. They have given last so ball. many dismissals in the innings. So with that, White takes the score on to 19. Over, over, over. So that is the end of that over. That's the 14th over gone. Karya on uh, 12. Kona on uh, 7. Satya will none for 24. Satya has finished his uh, quota of two overs. Okay, ball on for the 24. Ready. Ball on so the back, Singapore please. got 60 in their innings. And uh, India at the moment uh, just 15 with uh, okay, two overs of uh, play remaining. Well, they got the better of the second skin. And now they at the moment they are on top of the fourth skin. And that can... Uh, Three... That was again tried to play straight down. So three runs added to the total. No ball. That's uh, definitely a no ball going wide away. So two more runs will be added. Taking the score on to 24 in this skin and the total to 20. Two. That's nicely played to get two more runs. That's exactly what they got to do. Bat sensibly. Get those twos. See, much better, much better. They need, don't need to be uh, in a rush. Get two balls to go. Now they two have created go. a good lead, Ricky, at this stage. 26 and 14. See now they can try a hit or two down the ground. Still not... Uh, Yes, uh, but uh, of the page. it doesn't make uh, a the lot of sense ball. as well. Uh, last ball. Uh, even if he hit it down the ground, still you're not going to catch up on that 60. You know, all you will do is probably Excite. get out and get minus. You might as well just bat this way. Oh, oh, if oh, you're oh. not being able, if it uh, was a, a closer margin and you're looking to win the game, then it's fair enough. But they are, you know, a long way off of because of those uh, poor batting in the other skins. So That's Prashant, exactly. Uh, Karia and uh, Naresh Kuruna, two of their better players. Uh, I'm surprised that they didn't come in uh, probably early on and uh, you know, steady the, uh, steady the ready? Ship, uh, for this team. Well, they should have taken the harder skin, the first one, which uh, Singapore had 26. And then good, uh, given a good start to the Indian batters too. Just to think about the rest of the skins. Which is not much, 9, 11, and 14. Of course, they lost that third skin, which Singapore got only 11. India managed to get only 4. Two. That's nicely played. Two more to the total. This is the way they should be going at. Now they have built a good lead in their skin. 18 run lead in the skin. and batting. Just rotating the strike. Okay, third ball. Third ball, batters. Third ball. Third ball situation created by the Singapore bowlers. So it will be interesting to see what Indian pair will do on this. That's nicely Ooh. done. Okay, two balls to go. Taking two, two in balls that. To go. So 34 runs in this skin. Two more balls remaining in the 16th over. And the last ball. Last ball. 
Okay, one or two hits now down the ground. If they can make it, still they have an outside chance. They have two more overs remaining. Over and game. Thank you. It's a third ball situation there. But uh, these two have uh, done uh, well. 18 and 16. They've got 34 of that skin without any effort at all, without any risk. So that is what uh, good batting is. They have to learn from this uh, pair uh, going forward in the remaining games. But well done to Singapore. You know, uh, when they got uh, 9, 11, and 14, uh, you seem that they would have lost three skins. They won that uh, 11 skin. That was a super effort. And uh, they have uh, taken away, uh, what, five points from this game and just given away uh, two to uh, India. So well done to Singapore. A good performance. I thought their over 40s have played uh, some uh, good cricket. Uh, better than the uh, open uh, men's and uh, and the ladies, uh, no doubt about it. They have played uh, uh, well within their limits. They have played uh, intelligently and over the last two days. And they won a, a couple of uh, very good games, um, the uh, Singapore side. So well done. Yes, and there you uh, see, Ricky, their fielding was super indeed. But this uh, edge, uh, very quick. Catching in particular. Uh, they, they held on to all their catchers, isn't it? And even the runouts, they were getting direct hits. There you see. That is great effort indeed. Very quick on the field. There you see this one too. They were good enough on the day. There's some uh, very, uh, I would call it not uh, wanted, needed uh, uh, running between the wickets from India at times. They just ran blindly, you know, without any aim, hit the ball and run. That's all uh, they were doing at most times. Not watching where the fielder was. And. Uh, Except for the last pair, who I thought did a great job. Overall, uh, Sing uh, India didn't play intelligent uh, uh, cricket. But well done to Singapore. Overall, it was a good game. Everybody has enjoyed. And uh, they will be uh, back here today for the remainder of the games. Coming up next is uh, the women's game. England uh, versus... Uh, or Singapore versus uh, Sri Lanka. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Those wings die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on View app at thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. 
ජාතික කණ්ඩායමට ක්‍රීඩකයන් 27ක් තිලින කළ නෙල්සන් මෙන්ඩිස් මහතා මම යෝජනා කරනවා අපේ දෙමෝපියන් ක්‍රිකට් බාණ්ඩ ගන්න ඕනේ නම් යන්න එකම තැන තමයි ලසන්ත අමරසිංහ මහත්මයාගේ චාන්ස් ස්පෝට්ස් ආයතනයේ පොලන්ට Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is center in Bakkaram Mulla is number one sports center. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. I'm so starstruck right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Bruce Wayne must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Yes versus Manam. 18th one day encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on view app at the papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs>
Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. Jatika Kandamut, Kridakin Visia Taktilinakala, Nelson Mindis Mahata, Mama Yojanakar and Apid Demopian, Cricket Band Gandhuninang, Yan Ekamatanata, my Lasanta, Amarsing Math Magi, Chan Sports, I can picture this a majestic rock rising above inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers but wait there's more dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi ella deck resort your perfect getaway starts here Asia Sports Center is Center in Bakaramala, your number one sports center. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Welcome back right, to you, Pro Colombo. We just Sorry, saw the Singapore Masters doing the double over the India Masters. Thank you. And now we have the Sri Lanka women. Ball number nine. Taking Thank you. On, taking on Singapore women. And on court two, England women are up against the England Lionesses. It's a crucial game Let's for Sri Lanka. 
They'll hope to get all seven points out of this game. Players ready. Good morning, Luxor. The ball is in place. Good morning, Muren. Right, the balance is off. Like a, an important game yeah, for them. Thanks. They need to make sure they get the uh, maximum points, as you mentioned, because uh, they have an important game coming up against the England Lionesses after this. Bye, so uh, that first game, it was really close. England Lionesses, they lost by just six runs. So uh, all the points Sri Lanka can get, they'll uh, have to do their best here to make sure yeah, it's they get that. Back. A very close call in the very first delivery. I think it was uh, Mehidiri with a good pick up and throw. The uh, front court for Sri Lanka. Nilu Mendis, the high yeah, experience. Uh, Nilu Mendis uh, to begin the proceedings for Sri Lanka. A full start there. And that's it, there's been a change in Singapore's batting lineup. Usually Isha partners up with Rachel and Raj, but Isha has been brought in here to support Charmili in decision straight away. When you have a new partner, there is indecision and miscommunication at times. I feel there's a good chance that uh, Rachel might be partnering up with uh, Lalani in this encounter because Lalani played well in both the games, uh, the earlier two games that she uh, got the chance to bet. So uh, probably they uh, switch things up a bit to uh, make another skin a bit more stronger with uh, right. Isha. They had to bet, but uh, Isha of course had four, four very good games, but then in that last game she struggled quite a lot to uh, get going. I think uh, got dismissed four times uh, in that game alone. Third ball batters, third ball. We have a third ball scenario in the first over. I'm not sure it's a fair, I think there's some feedback as well. Two. Safety negotiated by Isha who's been very Last ball the loop. with the bat for Singapore. Isha, Rachel and Lalani. As you said, Laksasi, the three mainstays for Singapore in their batting lineup. Arjun away. Two. Over. So uh, two more runs to end the first over for Singapore. A good start for them. Because uh, most of the time they lose a wicket in that first over. In most of the games we saw that happening in Singapore. So a good, decent start uh, by the first skin here in the first over, just five runs, but uh, made sure there were no dismissals. Smart work by the Singapore think tank to bring Isha in early. They've lost a lot of these wickets in their first two, three skins before Rachel and Isha. Please make sure we're ready for the fielders. The Please, Gary. Stay up for the stump. And indecision, miscommunication, both batters stranded there. And Sri Lanka get their first dismissal. Shamili. Not willing to run there, but Isha. She almost uh, came towards the striker's end and uh, had to go back. Bye, Sri, thanks. Shami is someone uh, who actually found some touch uh, with the tournament uh, against uh, with the tournament. Uh, they are playing their fifth game, I think. No, and, uh, two. She managed to uh, find so fine form uh, with each game, Shamili, and uh, has improved her batting a lot in the uh, games that follow. And the same can be said for most of Singapore's batters, improving as the tournament progressed. It's good. Following the lead of Rachel Nanaraj, who's been outstanding with the bat. And we saw Sharmili off the first delivery. That's all they've got to do. Play the down and ups on the offside and oh, leg side. Front foot. Out. That was unfortunate. They didn't have to do that. It's a front foot no ball. It was a front foot no ball. And it was a needless run. There was no, no ball, yeah, front scenario. Foot. Just jogging from one end to the other with no real conviction. Pace Ray! Pace Ray! Quite costly. So, minus three uh, in Singapore. 
Good start by Sri Lanka here. Got three points in the second over. Mine uh, just uh, they scored five runs in that first two, and then uh, eight runs that uh, they have lost in this, and that's poor. Very, very Out. poor from the over. Uh, Singapore's first skin. Extra on strike for the new over. No communication whatsoever. Um, this is what happens, uh, Virin, as you mentioned earlier. When you're a brand new pair, this tends to happen quite a lot. Minus 13 in that over. And uh, all the good work in that first over completely washed away by the second over. Yes, that's right. It. It's a tough position to be in for Singapore. You're trying to increase the tempo early on in the innings. You Esha, out down this end, place. A very good Thank battle you. in Isha. But because no, 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 of this you're the wrong way pair, around. Esha, you're down this end. Because yeah. of this new Thanks. pair, it makes it very difficult to trust your partner, to trust your new partner. There's miscommunication, indecision. Thank you, you don't like Valley. Know the instincts of your partner. To the third over this time. One. Very good uh, single taken by Isha and uh, Shamili. This is what they should be doing, but uh, what happened in that previous over was uh, one batter wanting to run and the other one just not responding at all. Once again, a yes-no, and when you have those yes-no calls and hesitancy, it will be quite costly. And that's a direct hit brilliantly done by the uh, closing field uh, another minus five the score goes down to minus twelve a brilliant direct hit there nice ready. Sri Lanka seem to be Valley. on their toes in the front court it's a very important game as we've set it up earlier Seven. and a missed opportunity there for vice captain Nilo Mendes in the deep. And uh, seven runs, I think, uh, to uh, oh, Singapore. Like Singapore. Or is it? Yes, yes, seven runs. That was a sitter. That was an easy opportunity. Over. So uh, now they have an opportunity to uh, take things to the plus side. Uh, three runs from that over. That uh, seven helping uh, Singapore's helping uh, Singapore quite a lot in that third over, helping their cost that seven that missed opportunity by Nilu Mendis. Yeah, Singapore shouldn't panic. Many teams have early setbacks, as Duncan was saying earlier at training sessions, etc. You practice behaving. being in these scenarios. So it's important for them to get to parity first over the oh, during this final over. Out. And you can't do that with running between wickets like that, Luxisi. Gifting wickets away to Sri Lanka in this first skin. Uh, just uh, poor, poor running, poor communication between each other. This uh, opening skin for uh, Singapore just uh, Bye not bye. working out, trying. They try and that they're trying out this uh, new combination and uh, just not working out for them in this uh, side encounter. Thank you, Ray Ball. Thanks, Ray. That's uh, going to be a leg side delivery. So uh, two runs and an extra delivery here as well. So uh, yeah, yesterday we saw an instance where that extra delivery uh, going against you, Rudin, if you remember. Y yes, Luxy. Uh, there's a huge possibility that, that it can happen because uh, you think about getting some more runs and you take that extra delivery but uh, what really happens is uh, you are just so keen on getting the run stay here. that's exactly what happens it's the basics Luxus. it's the basics that need to be fine-tuned when you have deliveries like that that are short and they can be easily put away on the leg side you look for the down and up but with an o very open back face 
it's easy for you to skite onto the side Bye, net, and it's an easy catch off the rebound. And you win. When you get that uh, length from the bowler, as you mentioned, the batter should try to go for the down and up, or should just try to hammer it down the court rather than trying to uh, hit it towards the leg side. I mean, that's an outdoor cricket stroke completely by Shravali in that uh, delivery. A lot better Three. by Isha there, showcasing her experience. Well, Unfortunately, this experiment of tweaking the batting lineup hasn't worked out for Singapore. With the delivery left in this first skin. Once again, yeah. Apish, and on this occasion, Over. Nilu Mendis Pair. takes a very, very good catch in the backcourt. There was good anticipation, knew exactly where the rebound was headed. A brilliant catch by Vice Captain Nilu Mendes and Singapore have had a dismal first skin at minus 15 on the board. By three, um, yeah, I can't see the number. 11 and sorry, yeah, thank you for that. Thanks. So Levis, number 12. So at the Australia Sports Centre, this centre, Mbakar Mulla, your number one sports centre. New Singapore batters are Rachel and Saloni. Minus 15 on the first skin for Singapore. They got to do much better than that in this skin. Rachel, normally they are sure. one of their best batters. It's definitely, there's still beginners to this game. Singapore said, ladies. Uh, yeah, Paul, sorry. As we said yesterday, they have a lot of learning to do. These girls are very new because they have just started playing cricket one or two months ago, uh, Paulinus. Uh, so it's uh, difficult. I mean, uh, when you're playing uh, against uh, opposition that have played much more cricket, whether uh, it's indoor or outdoor, it doesn't matter. It's uh, still uh, difficult for them. So they're learning. They're both brothers. I think uh, they know the rules, know what has to be done once the game situation starts. You know, they get excited and, and uh, all the planning goes uh, haywire. Oh, this is much better. This is what they need. Three. Just try to get a we build up a score. Try to get a last ball next to Belshi. Because this is an important game for Sri Lanka uh, in the women's category. They have to take maximum points out of this. They need to win all four skins, uh, basically. Because they have one more game against England at the moment uh, today. Two. So uh, England seem to be comfortable that they get to the final. Over. England needs to get to the final. They have to get maximum bounce up this game. Try and win a couple of first skins versus England as well in the next game. Because the England Lionesses have three games to be played today and they are, they are following the Sri Lankans, close behind the Sri Lankans. So they have an extra game where they can get more points. So it's uh, going to be a, a very close battle to see who's going to the finals. Seven of that uh, over, that was a good one for Singapore. That's all they need to be doing these girls. Keep it simple, not complicated. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, all good, guys. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Solani. Bye. So, seven runs on the board in this game for Singapore. Rachel and Siloni, they are too bad. That's a bit of misfielding there. That's gone for four. Four more runs to the total. Taking the skin total on to 11. Oh, and shake the skin total on to minus four. Side. Is your right, Ricky? Singapore must try to win at least one skin. That should be their target. <laughs> so 13 runs on the skin. That's another good delivery. That's creating a third board situation. Bebo. 
the 13 runs. That's a, that's a good batting. One. Last ball, they still are uh, Single taking the score on to 14 in this uh, skin for Singapore. The team total been minus one. Rachel, one of their best batters uh, on strike. Nicely played that. They need a single, but a uh, bit of hesitation there it's between the two batters. So Dilani Manohara, seven runs, uh, none for seven in that over. So Ricky, 14 runs uh, in the skin after two overs, uh, fairly reasonable score. Good batting uh, by those two, certainly. Anushka Pereira will bowl the next over. That's right. Well, so if Nushka. they can put up a score around Thank 30 you. runs in the skin, that will be a very good performance. Sri Lanka won't need that, I think. Uh, yeah, foul. They need it. Full delivery on the stumps, missed it completely. And there you go, the minus five straight away added to the total. A full delivery is trying to hit cross bat shots is difficult. You've got to play straight down the line. When I mean you haven't played a lot of cricket, uh, Polly, that, 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 that will happen. That is going to happen. A lot, a, lot a lot of practice. A lot of practice needed. Oh, that's well played. There you go. That's good batting. Two. Two more runs added to the total. Skin total moves on to 11. And the team total minus four. That's good. That's down the leg side. A dot delivery considered that time. Yes, good. That was well within that line. Russia leads easily. They are best better. So what Rachel is doing well is uh, she's uh, studied the game, she's read the game and she knows what has to be done. Uh, so she's explained those uh, situations well, explain the, the normal uh, cricket which is needed uh, for indoor cricket. She knows the basics. I think that's the difference between Rachel and the others. And she needs support from the other batters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 13 runs in this skin, one ball left in the seventh over. Ah, didn't have the ball. One. Over. That's one more run added to the total. Makes it 14 in the skin. Sorry? Anush Pereira, that uh, good over. No. One for none. No, it wasn't. It was Raisin fielded Dana and then Raj, thrown. Uh, yeah. On 10. And Saloni on uh, four. Rachel Nyan Raj. Still there minus one after that uh, two overs uh, or three overs in the second skin. Still uh, catching up to do overall. That's right. Bye, uh, They'll be happy about this performance. They, they need to bat well in this final over. Get to 20. You know, that will worry the Sri Lankans because uh, the Sri Lankans' main aim is to try and win all four skins of this game. They have to win all four skins, so they'll be under pressure. I if uh, Singapore can get to 20, Sri Lankans will feel they're under pressure. They can achieve that, Ricky. If they think of getting those twos, they can go beyond 20. So Danu, the bowler. That's... Uh, one. That's one more run to the total. She takes it all to 15. Oh, off the pitch. Could be called Thank wide you. and a re ball requested Rebound straight away by Rachel. Taking the score on to 17. And the Singapore team total now comes into plus. That's chopped again well nicely. Out. Plenty of time for the batters to cross. But it is to run out there. Again, uh, the team has been pulled back by five runs. A mix up, slight mix up, uh, conceding a, a run out.
Thank you, Bryce and Uji. Tough tub Two. Two more to the total. Skin total moves on to 14. Two more balls remaining. Once again, a bit of hesitation oh, so between the two batters. So, I got ball, one ball remain, and Singapore have to be careful that they do they do not concede a wicket here. Try to get two, try to get split sixteen off the skin. That's better. That's better. Two. To get two runs. Over. They'll be happy about pair. their performance. They have got the sixteen on the board. Decent skin for them, no doubt about it. Two, uh, two uh, runs and a wicket for Danuji. Madnyan Raj seven, and Silomi has made uh, nine. They are better than well. So at the Australia Sports Centre, the centre in Bakkaramulla, your number one sports centre. <laughs> Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine. So, the ninth over is third skin. Much better from Singapore, minus 15 in the first, 16, plus 16 in the second. So still, the total is on one, but uh, big difference between the two skins, as yeah. we say. Good morning, Lexi. Uh, good morning, Michael. No, it's fair to say, um, see the for Singapore has been a positive influence because uh, whenever she has better, she has managed to make sure that uh, they stayed on the positive side in your skin. And uh, this most of the other batters uh, who have uh, let them down, but uh, you know, it's good to see that they have found some good combinations uh, as the tournament uh, went on. Yeah. But uh, just as I said that uh, there's a dismissal, so maybe I spoke too early. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, very happy about the improvement that they have shown because they have managed to uh, find some good combinations, and uh, the batting has gradually uh, improved. Vice ready, Vice Nalu. Jyoti and uh, Lalani, the two batters and uh, miscommunication once again. Run. Hesitation on the mind of uh, Jyoti, whether to go for the run or not, but uh, Lalani forcing her to go for the run and they uh, somehow get back, uh, somehow they uh, get that run safely. But we saw the difference, Lalani, when she was running, there was no Passion to you know she was not sure whether the ball was coming or not, but but Jyoti was uh, she just put everything into it. Pass ball by Silomi. Get out. Uh, Lalni trying to uh, hey, hammer. The ball down to the court ball. here. That looked like a, a outdoor shot, a cover drive. A, cu a cut basically yeah there's something that i uh, saw even in the previous uh, skin uh, michael uh, they're trying to play some outdoor cricket strokes uh, rather than the uh, classical uh, down and ups that you uh, that we usually play in indoor cricket but uh, they are trying to take a different approach here singapore and, uh, it's third is third i even mentioned four. this yesterday i mean uh, they already have someone to uh, take as an example in their own oh, side wow. how to handle things in Indo cricket. They have their skipper ratio, so I think uh, if they just uh, follow what she does, I think uh, it will be a lot better. Things like this won't happen uh, if they are following their skipper ratio. And uh, unfortunately, two dismissals already and uh, no communication whatsoever, there, Michael, between the two batters. I mean. Jyoti didn't even uh, see Lalni running there and Thanks Lalni guys. just uh, Thanks, went with her own will and just ran towards that striker's end. I think 
the other problem is uh, when you run from that corner, sometimes uh, the batter is unsighted. So they, they don't even see your partner running. And if you're not calling, then you've got a big problem. And also, uh, I feel even the striker, Jyoti, did a mistake because uh, most of the time in Indo cricket, you uh, don't get the time uh, to be ball watching. You have to make sure that you're already always ready to run because this is such a quick game. You need to make sure that you uh, get every run possible. So uh, yes, Jodi goes for a big hit and uh, hey, no, it's not, not the best of work by Nilumendis while trying to dislodge the sum. So uh, three runs added to the total. Couldn't get hold of the ball at once. Few fumbles and that's what. Uh, Finally, finally some communication between the two batters. I took them 11 deliveries to do that, so... Uh, uh, this is good. I mean, this is what should have happened in those previous dismissals, uh, Michael. Looking at each other, making sure that the other one is running or not, making sure the other one is comfortable to run or not. They're finally doing that. Dilan Mahondra, the skipper. Seven runs, one dismissal uh, for her in her two overs. Now it's the third ball. Or oh, was it the uh, leg side? Uh, third ball batters! Third ball, third yes. ball. You're up? Cool. Thanks, Anushka. Anushka Ferreira. To bowl the uh, third over of this third skin. And uh, yeah, that cool. finds the edge Let's and uh, Dilan Ramadura, the skipper, takes a very good catch yeah. on the rebound. Yeah, cross back. Good work behind the stumps. Cross back over, please. So, yeah, yeah, you're still down here. Never left your crease. Let's cool. make sure we appeal as well when we get a wicket. Without, uh, Shows respect to the game and the opponent. That, uh, players ready. Shot. And losing their way. Total now minus eight. This Thanks, Price Adushka. I feel they are just uh, trying a bit too hard to get those uh, threes, fours, fives and sevens, uh, Michael, when the uh, twos are clearly there for the taking. Almost another dismissal. There's four balls left in this uh, 11th over. Third over in this skin. Let's try to get into the. Third ball, brothers. So again, third, third ball. ball. You see, even that full toss should have just uh, hit it onto the ground. Well, they out. Yeah, Christ. They're trying to go for a big shot. Now, that's going to be the problem. And uh, talking about this uh, whole women's category uh, yeah, battle and uh, talking about the uh, Singapore side, the skipper Rachel has managed to score seven, 73 points right. in this uh, tournament. But unfortunately, after all those dismissals, her contribution for the whole cause is just uh, minus 10. So uh, that's how uh, things have panned out uh, for Hi, in this uh, tournament. Yeah, we see the third ball, forgetting that it was the third ball and not running, and then ended up with the dismissal. One. Go moves to minus 13. Last ball, Exodushka. Minus 12 now. Minus 13 in this skin. Ball, pitch. You see again. I was trying to hit the cover of the ball. I don't understand the tactic. So that's a no ball. Nice. Last over now. Yeah. That's over now. Girls, that's over. I need you to swap ends, please. Over. Well, I need you to swap ends. I about how the statistics work in Indo cricket, uh, Michael. It's the contributions that you count. That yeah, yeah. That's the end of the over. I need you to change ends. And the that you can see as a bowler. 
So, uh, Rachel, Thank you. is the one with the best effort, minus 10. That's the uh, best effort for, uh, Thanks for that. Singapore. Thanks for both, uh, both. When, you, when you get the whole contribution, she has uh, scored 73 with the bat and given away 83 runs with the ball. So, uh, 73 runs, uh, no, very good effort ball. by Rachel because uh, she Number four much ball, support sorry. throughout the tournament. Uh, Just give us a snack or change it over. I think uh, it's uh, Saloni, the uh, next best uh, contributor Thanks, for uh, Singapore mm -hmm. and uh, no, no. that's minus 27. No. So no, that shows. Will be minus 27 is the next best for Singapore. Yeah, 20 runs uh, with the bat and uh, minus 40, man, 47 given away with the ball. So, uh, Singapore, I mean, that's why uh, they're struggling. The best uh, contribution is also in the minus uh, side of things. So, and the uh, best contributor in the women's division is uh, Una Param Jyoti from England. She has uh, contributed 113 runs. That's a big effort from her. She has uh, scored 142 runs as a batter and has given away just 29 runs while bowling. Such a great effort uh, from her. And it doesn't stop there after playing. Uh, Four games. Third ball batters. We have Third Lauren ball. Dean from England as a bowler. Her bowling effort is actually in the minus side. She has she has not given away in runs. Minus twelve is the, the number of runs the batters yeah, have scored ball. against her. So uh, such pure dominance by the uh, no no you don't change hands. Women's team in this whole women's category. Uh, my And we talk about Sri Lanka, Michael. Uh, Dinesha Jaising uh, has scored 101 runs with the bat and uh, has given away just uh, 15 runs. Oh, with the ball. So, oh, that's a good effort by her. 86 runs, her contribution uh, to the whole uh, Sri Lankan cause in this uh, open women's category. Over here. So, another disappointing skin for uh, Singapore. Minus 12 on the board. Anuj Fernando, minus 1 for two dismissals. A great bowling effort for her. So that's the end of the uh, third skin, minus 13 on the board for Singapore ladies and it's time for a change in the com box before the fourth skin. Jati ka kanda amata krida kin visiya tak tilina kala Nelson Mendis Mahata Mama yojana karano api demo piyan Cricket band ganna one nang yanna ekama tana ta mai Lasant Amar Singh Mahatma ke chance sports aitane Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Stop, hold up, hold up, yet. Yeah, just sorry, I'm still putting the names in. Just wait for the play call if you could, please. Please, K3. No. Welcome back. Now you're playing more, the ball. To you, Pro Colombo. For the final skin of the Singapore innings, the two batters yeah, are Tanishra, no worries. Akude, and Alia Chowdhury. Sri Lanka well and truly on top here. Dominant displays in the first and third skins. And Singapore began their process of recovering the second I skin. Died. But that was nearly totally undone it's a word, yeah. by the previous skin that was shaggy sides Singapore women's team have a win under their belts they beat the Sri Lanka dev women's team Sri Lanka development team not featuring this morning with England yeah, taking on the shot. England Lannisters on court Out. 2 Indecision, hesitation, and a lapse of judgment in terms of ball watching there. As I say, a very good morning once again to Ricky. Yes, sir. Uh, we're in minus right 16 right, at thanks. the moment. That uh, second skin was good. That's because the skin by Anuraj was bad in. You could see a huge difference between her and the other players, like. isn't it? Uh, when she bats, she she carries her partner along with her. Well, well, off the leg. The, the running between the wickets, there's much more coordination. Last place, and, uh, much more effort. 
but uh, here you see uh, the others haven't ha ha are not up to her level of uh, skill or, or in cricket so they have a lot of catching up to do it's over. but uh, Sri Lanka won't uh, mind this at all because uh, they are looking to get maximum points uh, another dot ball and uh, two overs to go they'll be hoping to be on the plus side uh, Singapore what will worry Sri Lanka is that second skin they need to get 17 somehow or another and uh, try and uh, win this game so Singapore will be targeting that uh, second skin uh, no three. three overs Vice to go three. Guy three lane again she has been around a long time she's been uh, the uh, mentor sort of yeah, a coordinator court. for indo cricket for the women uh, she's yeah, the court. one who finds these girls gathers these girls you know encourage them uh, to be involved with the game uh, uh, gayatri and uh, she's still playing as well because i think um, they're looking to try and find a way to qualify for the finals uh, so she's uh, playing as well because she has that experience so thanks Vice gayatri she's uh, played a lot of outdoor cricket uh, gayatri lena k and uh, it's uh, good to see her in involved, uh, you know, with some of these young. Some of the girls are very young, yeah. comparatively. So she's uh, using all her experience uh, to be with them, uh, motivate them, and uh, to, to carry their team along. And you can see this experience paying off, Ricky. It's one thing being a mentor off the court, but being there alongside the rest of her teammates on the court is an inspiration for the youngsters. Hi, and Catherine. in Singapore, Mr. Trick here, Ricky, they tried to split up their best pair, Rachel and Isha. Oh, brought Isha in for the opening pair, which backfired for them. Had they focused on one skin, I'm pretty sure if Rachel and Isha came out to back out. together, they posted totals in excess of 25-30. That was in the air, together. your feet were out of the crease. When you were right across, she took the stumps. That's giving out. the game away here, aren't they? What happened there? That last one, uh, another minus. She's on a hat-trick as well. Uh, as we speak, the umpire they're giving it out. Yes. Play three. Play scare three. So she's on a hat trick, nevertheless, guy three. Is she completed a hat trick? Okay, thanks, uh, Viren. I thought she was on a hat trick. There's been another one, a four for, is it? She's uh, oh, yeah, a yeah, yeah. there. Air court. Malinga will be very impressed. Air court, can we please make sure when we take a wicket we appeal? You need to appeal to actually get a wicket. You can't just run in. Yeah, thanks. Yes, I think that last one was... Also shows respect for your opponent. Yeah, isn't it? thanks. And then yeah. in crossover, she's thrown out and now she's picked up a fofa. So these uh, girls, uh, the Singapore girls, they're trying, they're trying. They're competing. They love the sport. They, they are enthusiastic. They like to play and... Uh, Last ball, like Sky Three in Singapore. Then probably not many options, so they're taken down to Indian cricket. And kudos to the organisers for giving them visibility. They've had countless matches now on Court One. There is coverage at home by the Papare. One a missed opportunity. That a I chance know. of five wickets in that over that would have been unprecedented in this comp. But Guy to the other gate, a brilliant, brilliant over. Yes, uh, these girls we go back home and they could watch these uh, replays. They could watch their highlights they could watch the games you know they will uh, learn uh, uh, where they went wrong they could watch the men's games how the men are playing at the game so these are uh, deserving opportunities and uh, learning experience they will get better i'm sure someday they can play to sri lanka or someday they play in other tournaments uh, the singapore girls yeah, will yeah. see them uh, play much better cricket and it's Somebody a great uh, to the tournament organizers here on uh you know uh, you, Pro is hosting this as well uh, in uh, Colombo, the venue we are in, and uh, the rest of the teams so are bringing this uh, live production and uh, you know, taking it around the world on the uh, papare.com, whether in Singapore, India, England, or any part of the world. Because I know there, there is uh, so many others watching this Indo cricket from uh, Australia and New Zealand, South Africa, cricket playing nations from the UAE. You know, they're all watching uh, what's Quite happening uh, because um, Indo cricket. Outdoor cricket, Third uh, is not so popular, not so big. Outdoor cricket, every day you have a match on TV. So indoor cricket is very little. So when there is the opportunity to watch, everybody watches it. You know, they, they love the sport. Yes, it's Eight. nearing 2 p.m. in Singapore. And I hope there's a following in Singapore. Have you told your friends out there in Singapore to watch this? Are you on commentaries? 
jo jo joining us at 2 p.m. to support their troops. It's Team Singapore, the women's team's final game on court one. And it's unlikely that they will feature tomorrow, given the context of this tournament. But they put up a valiant display. And, hey. and, and Ricky, even the off-field, off-court chats they have with the English, with the Sri Lankans, will leave them in good stead going forward, as you said. It's a, it's a learning experience. Uh, that's how you learn. Yeah. Good diving. Is she safe? Is it given out? I thought uh, she was home. That was a great effort uh, to try and get into the crease. She was a bit slow off the blocks. Oh, probably out nice this, uh, at the end we feel that the decision by the umpire was a good one. Yes, I mean, uh, like you mentioned, it's very important. Uh, during breaks, during off days, you, you well, talk about the game, speak to others, try to maximize their knowledge, you know, you, for everybody. It's the same, whether it's your the players, the coaches, the officials, uh, us commentators, you know, just uh, chatting to players, uh, just uh, getting, their, well, getting their views, understanding it, it helps, helps, uh, helps quite well. a lot uh, to build your game around. Uh, and uh, there are so many players with a lot of experience in this court as well in indoor cricket. So these girls, the boys both uh, could learn from each other. So it's another minus, minus 28. This is the worst they've had so far. And the one win they had, Ricky, was on court two against Sri Lanka Dev. And perhaps the pressure of having the game covered Thank you. might have also Bye, been so a four. Yeah, maybe, but I, I, I don't know if they've probably taken that into their heads uh, too much. Probably not. Side. Uh, Try again. <laughs> probably they, Try they are just playing it uh, as they are. Thank you. Probably a bit of luck Rebel as well. Thanks. You never know, but yes, uh, probably that uh, they know that the highlight is on them. Maybe affecting them. But they should not bother about that. Just go about, play the game. Yeah, don't absolutely. worry what happens. A uh, flurry of dismissals here in the finals skin, undoing all the so hard work done in that second you find it's about that far short, in mate. terms of having a potential you can recovery. Check the if you want. When Sri Lanka come out to bat, it will be interesting to see how they go about Why? it. I feel they should have their best bear batting in that second skin to get that 16. You know, because uh, they have to get maximum Sorry. points. If they lose out a point in that uh, second skin, you know, all this hard effort is in vain. That point is crucial. So uh, probably Nilo oh, maybe should try and get uh, coming back and get the maximum. You go away for your least face up before Another you start your run up. It's just uh, now going through the process, trying to finish off the overs. Four more balls left. Thank you. Play. As you said, Ricky, anything less than a clean sweep for Sri Lanka here would be considered a disappointment. Not out. One. Aiming at the wrong end there. Skipper is uh, quite angry. She's very animated. Uh, these girls have played a lot of outdoor cricket. Skipper Manodara, Nilu Mendis, uh, Gayatri Lenagi, as I mentioned, uh, they've been around a lot, played a lot of outdoor cricket in their day. These, uh, the other ones, the uh, younger ones too, are playing a bit of outdoor cricket. So they, they have yeah. that uh, natural skill in them to bowl and bat and feel. Unlike the Singapore girls who are very limited opportunities. Two. Last ball next door. No doubt about it, Viren. You have enjoyed the commentary in this Indo cricket, isn't it? Huge difference from what we have been doing in the last couple of weeks. It's been amazing. Amazing, Ricky. And being alongside you, Michael. Holiness and Laxasi, it's been an honour over the past few days. Hello. And it's been some good cricket all around. And it's nice to see emerging teams like Singapore really making a name for themselves in this format. It's been tough going for them. But as we've kept saying on air repeatedly, it's the experience that counts. So there you go. The skin is over. 
39 minus. So they have just got 16 plus in that uh, one over the second skin. Beg your pardon. Other three are minuses. Sri Lanka will have to uh, come and get those runs. Uh, I mean, uh, that 16 is what they have to uh, look forward to. They cannot falter in any way. A lot of runouts, uh, indecision in between, calling. There's so much to work on. But uh, most of all, I think, uh, hoping that they have enjoyed the game and uh, enjoyed their visit to Sri Lanka. That is what's uh, important. Uh, even, even just touring the, uh, another country is an experience itself as a team because it's not like we go alone or with family. You know, you're coming with a team, coaches, physio, doctor, management. You know, it's all a process. You know, working towards time or scheduled practice, whatever, warm up. So all those are experiences uh, of a life, actually. Sport is is experience of a life. And uh, you learn so much more. We know lose. It's a part of the game. That is also a learning experience. But uh, around that, there's so much to learn. Uh, you know, you play a sport. And I'm sure these girls uh, will gather so much uh, when they go back to Singapore. As you said, Ricky, traveling as a contingent, being in a cricketing bubble for the past four days as well, matches at regular intervals, it's never easy. Not but forgetting the weather. Exactly, yes. Hot. Yeah, it's so hot and humid in the morning time and suddenly comes afternoon, we have thunder showers. <laughs> <laughs> so those, those are experiences is itself, uh, uh, different weather conditions. Uh, so you have it all. You come down to Sri Lanka. That is uh, what uh, this is a great country has to offer. So there you go. Sri Lanka will come out to bat in this uh, run chase in a short while. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die? Ah! And through death become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Out. Thank you. Thanks, Kirish. That's a poor start for Sri Lanka. Anyway, they need, they have minus 15. So for them, the second stint, uh, One. second skin uh, is the uh, score to watch. 16 runs uh, scored by Singapore girls. Minus 39 uh, is the total got by Singapore. Once again, uh, that could be a leg side. So two more runs and that's a no ball call going out of the uh, So two more runs uh, to the Sri Lankan total. The Singapore bowlers got to bowl into a good line now, uh, Michael. So There's no chance of defending this minus 15. Like side. Yeah, the Sri Lankans should uh, send in their best pair there if they want to win all Plus, five, boys. Plus. They need to win all the four skins. 
what is important uh, yes as you said the second skin is the most important skin Over. Singapore has plus 16 already Sri Lanka coming into the plus side Nilani Manohar on five Lakmani Rajpaks are minus one not a bad over for S Singapore Five three, thank you just four runs going off it Shamali second over the first skin Hi Shamali thank you Shamili Data. All they got to do is bowl a good line, good length. That's nicely Two. slapped into the ground. Sri Lankan batter should bat sensibly, Michael. Ball pitch and one, three scored. Well, there you are, nine runs on the board. They got to get going now. Well, they can win this first skin uh, without any problem because Singapore got minus 15. Not out. They got Two. to win all four skins in this game and the game. They got to get maximum points of this. Singapore at this stage might be looking to win this second skin somehow. That might be their target. One. But remember, they beat the Sri Lankan development squad in the first uh, round game. Well, after that win, they never came up to that standard, Michael. They played two games yesterday two. after that. Lost both badly Last and now today tomorrow. again, minus 39, their total. It's exactly, they started very badly, then the next game they won a skin and Two. the following game they won against Over. Sri Lanka development when after that they dropped down again. So they got to need to do a lot of practice, no doubt about that. Bye, Trey, thanks. So Shami Thank you. 12 right ending place. her over. Dilani Manohara on 11, Lakmali Rajapaksa on 5. Pitch. And again, and it's straight four. down the Six ground forward. this time, and I shot. <coughs> Runs are coming for the Sri Lankan pair. This no, is the third over, no five ball. balls two remaining, 22 okay. on the board. Yep. So 11 more balls remaining in the skin. They need to get at least another 10 to 15 runs. That's chopped off. Yeah, that's and uh, dismissal, as we were talking about it, took the outside edge, didn't get hold of that shot properly. Fairly decent catch, Michael, there. That's right. Bye, Sineshka. So the score dropping down by five, 17. One. Oh, that is a it's definitely if she got a direct hit, it would have been problems for the Sri Lankan batters. There would have been another dismissal. See the Sri Lankan men's coach sitting there right behind the net. Asela Patrana. Two. Drop. 
Live out of uh, Indo cricket in Sri Lanka. Done a lot of hard work. Four. Last ball by Sneska. Twenty-four on the board for Sri Lanka. One more ball remaining in this third over. Sri Lankan gap batters getting their runs easily. That's stopped again Two. nicely. Allowing enough and more time for the non-striker to reach the safe end. It's two more runs to the total. Again, you see this goes. Uh, Lakmali Rajapaksa has caught Dilani Manohara this time. She's on 15. And one or on level. Sachin Akkord, one for ten. Not a bad over, Michael. One for ten. Thank you, Paishyari. Two runs to start the over. Jyoti. Or Jayoti. Lakmali Rajapaksa and Jalani putting a good partnership for the first skin. So you're talking about Michael. The first skin is pretty important. That will give confidence to the rest of the batters. Well, now this. So. Now this. Uh, Two batters have put on a good start that will give the confidence for the second skin which Singapore will be aiming at. They got plus 16 in the second skin. If they can get a couple of dismissals in the second skin, that will give them an opportunity of winning it. That's played straight down. That's a good hit Seven. again. Seven there. That was a very good hit. Timed it well. Again, chopped down Two. nicely. Last ball. One more delivery to go. 39 on the board. That's a good start, Michael. This is after dismissal two. There could be a mix-up again or poor right. fielding by the Singapore I girls. Losing that opportunity. So 39 in this first skin. Lakmali Rajapaksa 24. Dilani Manoharat 15. They Jayati finishing off with uh, 9 for 12. So 39 uh, Sri Lanka in the first skin. Winning the first skin. But Singapore got minus 15. So now this is a skin that uh, Singapore will be trying to win around. They got plus 16 in the skin as we have, we'll have a change in voices for this next skin. DS versus Manam. 18th one day encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on Buap at thepapare.com. Let's get into it.
This is Hits Now. Where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time. A good start for Sri Lanka remain in this uh, chase against Singapore. Singapore, of course, uh, getting only minus 39, so uh, no pressure there whatsoever. But uh, I think the only uh, skin with a bit of pressure for Sri Lanka will be this one because uh, Singapore scored 16 runs in this uh, skin. So uh, it's important that uh, Sri Lanka gets to this uh, 17 runs without any hiccups in this uh, second skin. This is the most important Sorry. skin of the game, Laksisi. Coming into this match, Sri Lanka knew they that a clean sweep would be beneficial for them given the context of the tournament. I'll show you shots. Nilu Mendis and Imashi Asara out there to get the job done for Sri Lanka. And Singapore will give it their all in this game. Yes, the game has run away from them, but if they get a point of, out of this game, luck to see, that will be a very, very good result for Singapore. And also, uh, an update from the game happening in quarter number two. England Lionesses have uh, won the first skin against their senior team. Oh, they made 71. That uh, second skin, uh, they got only minus five. So, England with an easy job in that second skin. But uh, the third and fourth skins will be really competitive because uh, England Lancers, they have scored 25 and 32 respectively in the third and fourth skin. So, uh, let's see how that uh, goes out. Yes, a brilliant second half in their innings. 57 runs in those final two skins for the England Lionesses. Right, yes, I'm on the ball and an, an opportunity there, half chance. Two, and over. Uh, so far, so good. Six runs from the uh, first two. Uh, Nilu and uh, Imashi, the two batters for Sri Lanka. Isha giving away six runs in that over. Bye, Trey, thanks. Saloni Gupta in operation right. for Singapore. But I think there's been a boy change. I think Rachel Nanaraj <laughs> realizes that this is a crucial skin and brings herself on. Right, Rachel. Now you can see the uh, coach Bikash giving her some uh, clear instructions before the over. Good start from Rachel. Very good start. They need to uh, try and get at least a couple of dismissals in the next two overs before going into the last one. We're in. I think uh, that will do them a world of good uh, defending this uh, 16 runs in this second skin. That's the beauty of this game, isn't it? Like to see it's in the ground. Very close, out. very close, but the uh, umpire doesn't agree third that that's a dismissal. But third a third ball. ball situation created by Singapore, and that bowling change, the last second change, uh, clearly paying dividends to them. Uh, let's see whether Rachel can uh, create that first dismissal. Uh, lucky, very lucky for Sri Lanka. Managed to find that outside edge, but uh, luckily it went away from the uh, keeper. So Sri Lanka survived the third ball situation, but uh, just a one run from this over so far. It's been brilliant. I, I, it was nice to see the senior partner, Nilu Mendis, giving Imashi some encouragement. Ball, pitch. As I was saying, Laksi, that's the beauty of this game. You have one big game to play for, but you have four sub games that give you four different opportunities to make a mark in and take points out of the encounter. Slapped away there Three. by Nilo. Playing it safe, Last playing it right right Just as the doctor ordered for the Sri Lanka women's team. Now, as you mentioned, we're in um, on this uh, overall game. You have four sub games there. And the best thing about Indo cricket is you can even lose three of those uh, four sub games and win just one and go on to win the overall match. That's the uh, amazing thing about Indo cricket. And especially with an outside, we saw that in the previous game, Singapore Masters and India Masters. India Masters could have won three skins in that game. 
and still would have ended up losing it because of right. absolutely brilliant outlier for Paris Singapore. Energy, Ray, for the, field, the first kiss of that game. Got the clock off. And we talked about the that uh, the team we need to win the game. Right? Yeah. And uh, there's a good chance yeah, that might happen in court number one, where England lands us with three skins. But uh, England winning that cool. one skin right. to get the uh, whole result in their favour because England lands has scored just minus five in that second skin. Dead and they have managed to create Sorry, a yep. huge gap in that second skin alone. Uh, they have a 43 Why? runs so far. Yes. Each and every point will count for both Sri Lanka and the England Lionesses to try to get that second sp spot in the final against the England women's team. Third ball, Third ball. So, Viren, I think this is the uh, seventh game for Sri Lanka women and the last game will be against England Lionesses. So if somehow England Lionesses do manage to get out the line against uh, Sri Lanka in that next game, England Lionesses, they'll have one more game remaining. One. That. So that's the tricky part here. So that's why Sri Lanka, they need to make sure that they get all the seven points. Because uh, they don't want to um, go to a risky position where they won't be there in the final. And it's going to Changing be all in the final in this uh, women's category of England Asia Cup 2024. And I reckon that final game for England Lionesses is against Singapore. You won't want to rely on other teams to get you over the line. You need, as we kept saying, you need to control the controllables. And that's just what these two are doing out there. They have to bat sensibly. Just three shy now. With nine deliveries left in this innings. But one dismissal, Luxy, can put the cat amongst the pigeons here. For Sri Lanka. Oh, and that's close. One. A brilliant game awareness there by Nilu Mendis. Calling for Yasara to take so the run off that overthrow. Place. But that was very, very close. No, be up I think it was well, uh, Jody with that uh, direct hit. Uh, yeah, thank you. Close in uh, field. Changing sides. That was really close. But uh, as you said, good awareness uh, from the highly experienced Nilu Mendes there. It's Saloni against uh, Nilu Mendes. One. And it's to uh, keep it down to just one. Last ball of anxiety. So two runs away from taking the lead in this second skin. Seven deliveries to go. No, no dismissal so far. Oh, That's the best thing uh, for the skin. The tension is palpable out there. Then everyone realizes that this is the skin with the most significance in this game now. Over. And with an over left, Sri Lanka need well basically one run to tie this, and they'll be fine with the tie. Because they'll carry that point forward to the next skin where Singapore oh, ready. registered a total in the negative region. So Rachel. And uh, oh, Rachel bowling all her two overs in this all important second skin. Can she uh, create a dismissal here? So, so Sri Lanka going to the lead in this uh, second skin with those two runs. And now it's about playing it safe, Luxy. Avoid a potential third ball scenario. And then just see it out. And that should be the clean sweep in the bag for Sri Lanka if they bat sensibly in the final two skins. Two more runs added. Dismissal. A dismissal is uh, the order of this over for uh, Singapore. Was down the court, Imalshi doing really well not to uh, go off the ground there. And you can see Nilu's experience looking at the scorecard, making Miles the calculations the in, in the head. Thank you. What's required? Three deliveries left. If they get a, a if they get off a single now and rotate strike, they can just see out the final two deliveries without facing a third ball scenario. Rachel brings herself Two. on, realizing that this. These next two deliveries will determine the outcome of this game. Whether Sri Lanka walk away with a clean sweep or whether Singapore are able to at least get one point out of this game. Ball off the pitch. Do you like a rebound? No? Okay. No re uh, Nilu Mendes from the non-strikers then. Last ball, Rachel. 
not calling for that to be rebuilt, showing her experience once again. Yeah, so Sri Lanka, they have uh, cemented the win in this second skin as well, well defended by Imazji. So uh, Sri Lanka get through that uh, tricky skin as well. So uh, it looks like they will uh, get a clean sweep in this encounter. Let's see. Let's see what happens in the third skin. Gayatri and uh, Mihidi, I think, the new batters for Sri Lanka. Brilliant, brilliant batting in that second skin by Marcia and Nilu. Doing exactly what was required of them. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now. <laughs> where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. So star right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get... All right, Spice Bush. So now it's uh, Gayatri and Imalchi. Wide. Out, stamp, that was out. And they got a wicket. So minus. Sri Lanka have to be careful. You cannot afford uh, to give unwanted wickets away. 39 and 23, they're done with. well so far. In the two skins, winning both. That was a wide. A wild swing as well from Gayatri. That was uh, not what nice, they nice required uh, to start off this game. So they have a lot of work to do. Good big of wicket kick in there, Ricky. Yes, sir, okay. certainly. That's better. That's true. Well, Bat coming in. from top to bottom. That's the way you need to play it. Uh, cannot, uh, you know, sort of slice it up in the air. Try to hit those elevated shots. You need uh, the bat coming from top to bottom even in that first skin the first ball there was a run out and ended up getting plus 39 so we'll not oh. didn't hit it that a catch? so oh still okay. on minus three they need to get into the plus and the match already basically in the bag uh, yes so it's just these uh, two skins because uh, that two is easy because Singapore are minus so even if they get just one, you you're home. Do too many things. But what is this? This is, uh, uh, this is uh, just uh, trying to be too, uh, what do you call it, too uh, flashy? I would too, say this uh, is, I would call it stupid betting. Like yes, uh, just irresponsible, just irresponsible, isn't it? Let it bounce uh, off. You know. Just uh, push I it push. forward, take a run. Why do you need to just go and throw your wickets? Trying to go for the back net, you know. Just get the tools, whatever is on offer. Nevertheless, it's a good over for Singapore. They've got two dismissals. Very Credit good to over. them. And they held on to their catchers. Uh, that catch and a stamp in. It's a good work by the girls. Pitch. That's way down the leg side. Over. Probably falling about an over behind on time as well. So Might the hustle a little. Over. There you see. Three for minus two. It's Mehindi and Gayatri both are minus. Saloni is uh, about to bowl. Bye, Trey. Thank you. Thanks, Saloni. Ball, pitch. No ball. Side. Once again, very wide down the leg side. So a couple of extra runs making it easy for Sri Lanka. Well, changing sides. Tenth over. Saloni has to get it right, to get it straight. There you go, much better. Two. Down and up into the net. Much better betting. 
so there you go Sri Lanka now once again back on track I guess no situation there Oh, strategic sides! Again, uh, coming around the wicket. That's much better. One! Oh, I spot that side. settling down this one thing is good about this indoor cricket the ball of wide or no ball there is no extra ball isn't it uh, Michael I, I just could imagine if there were extra balls uh, to be the ball had to be reballed the delivery had to be reballed thank you well there he is if uh, it's, it's if a it's fourth the over but yeah. uh, it hasn't dragged on for long uh, in any way very seldom we have seen that happen but if there was a general rule that you had to reball it Imagine how long uh, the uh, game would have taken on uh, when uh, these young girls were playing. Side. We stick to that uh, time frame. We extend the time limit to at least uh, one hour for inning. The game would have not ended, uh, uh, Michael. But then again, the situation would have been different. Probably Singapore would have not been here then. So that's how it is that the game is created, the game is designed to give opportunity to all to play the game, enjoy the game, learn from it. And uh, even though you make mistakes, you certainly can get out of it uh, as well, the way it is uh, structured. You're not harshly punished, uh, uh, we would call it like in the outdoor cricket. Uh, even now, you, you even in uh, professional cricket, you get 10 ball overs, 12 ball overs sometimes. Ball pitch. This is what I was talking about. Uh, she chases behind that and one and hammers it. Scored. Still given as a no ball. I wonder when the free hit will come in to Indo cricket. Yeah, you bowl a no ball, you get the free hit. Well, but the right, and, and uh, you you will not get out of the next ball. Right, so it's a free hit. There won't be any. They say you'll have to try to go for the back net. Yeah, you I don't go think for the back. Come, uh, into this game. Back gate or whatever you want it, but you will sure. not get out. I guess there are no things called free hits in Indo cricket. You're right. Dead you ball. Never know, never know. The game keeps evolving. All the sports, the game keeps changing. Jay, so the 14 off. is what Sri Lanka yeah. have got. Two more deliveries left in this over. Slight injury, is it? Uh, to a player. There's a break small break in indeed. So small hold up in play, waiting for some uh, instruction that the play is injured. You see uh, Rachel uh, having a chat with the umpire behind the stumps. Thank you, Paishamali. Two deliveries left in the 11th over. It's the back net. Uh, mix up, mix up. Stay out. Given out. So minus for Sri Lanka there. Run out. Good work by Singapore in the field. Hesitation uh, by uh, the batter. Hit it hard into the net. Uh, the non striker guy to the fight. She was waiting. 
Last right, by Shamali, lost ball. One. He's over. That's the end of the eleven. Seventy-one now. One run. Right, three on twelve. Easy. Minus two. Pies ready. Pies ready. Go to sing the new bowler. from the other court ring the Niners is getting 71 good and England now 93 so game uh, two happening uh, at the moment uh, England versus England uh, Linus is uh, happening on uh, the other court England Linus is, uh, will try to pick up a win try to pick up some points from that game to stay in contention uh, for a final place of the ladies category Gayatri going across the line, a big hike, gets away with it. Run! So they have won the first uh, skin. Uh, okay. We'd love to have that scorecard on our screens as well, if uh, possible. There's four balls left in uh, this uh, third skin. So again, down the left side. Again? Mahidi, do you want the ball rebolled? Rebold the ball, thanks. <laughs> Again down the leg side. It's a 13 at the moment, four deliveries left. All Sri Lanka need to do is uh, block these couple of balls, uh, just avoid being dismissed. But they've gone for a run. One. Safely through. Might as well get whatever you can. It's three to go. Have a convincing win. It's already convincing, uh, Michael, because uh, 76 plus you have to get the minus 39 as well. So, so sometimes maybe the runs uh, that you score, the difference also might come into equation if you have a tight situation. Side, do it again. The leg side again. Yes, rebound, So two more deliveries to go after this. Sri Lanka once again. We had to just start hustling as well. Torn really starting to become a problem. Thanks. There's nothing much to talk about the shots or the fielding because most of it is wide snowballs. It up in the air. One. That was a chance, but that put down. Gets away with another one. There's no need of uh, doing that. Uh, everything covered. Two more deliveries, just defend it. Get a run. Chops down on that one. Last ball. It's the last ball. So all she needs is uh, to get through here. There you go. Hey, so over. Sri Lanka managed yeah. to win that skin as well. We only need you to start really hustling. Work with me here to get through the time. Decent place. one for them. They were in a trouble uh, at the start to get four for that one. So they land uh, that skin on Final uh, Bay, the uh, court one place. Let's go. In the end, a guy at three. So last skin to go. Sri Lanka well in control. Please. Catch the excitement real time. 
be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Ball, dead ball. Can't run off and it's hit the, hit the roof. Place ready, place early up. Ball off the pitch. So, uh, Danuji. And, uh, please, Anushka, did you work with me on the time, player, please? Shulaka, Shulaka, well ahead in this game. On 87, about to uh, try and get to that 100 run mark in this uh, final. No, you don't get clock stoppage for that. Well, they you should be able to do it, Luxus, because uh, three pairs. just another 13 runs away. It's not and really if they bat sensibly. And the skin also, it's minus 26 for Singapore. So they should not give those wickets away. Three. Bat sensibly and get up to a good score. So three more runs they added to the total. Take them on to 90. Yes, sir. Uh, if they get on to the 100 run mark, they'll be a very confident side after that. A lot of confidence will go into their batters. Oh, off the pitch. That's another no ball. So runs are coming quite easily. 92 on the board for Sri Lanka. Nine on this can two more deliveries left in this over. Oh, what's the again pitch? another might be a no ball. Last yes. Uh, luckily it's not the last uh, over. So uh, they don't have to reboot that uh, Singapore they have uh, given away a lot of extra runs uh, free runs uh probably in this uh, throughout this tournament. So uh, I think uh, but they can oh, uh, off the pitch. another delivery uh, hey, that goes out of target. So uh, I think while if they are coming back here next year, oh, I think, uh, they can clearly map things out on. We're starting to really need push to it now. They yes. need to uh, improve on the batting department. We're starting to really push time here when they play with the straight. That's something that they can improve, and also the fact that um, the communication aspect has not been there for Singapore. So that's something that they need to improve, and also the bowling. They are getting it on the right target, pitching on so the right length. I think uh, they need to do that because they have three, four good players. So they need to make sure that they build around that core to make sure that they build a good unit come next year. Yes, also, Laksila, I feel uh, they should have a better understanding of the game. That's exactly what they got to do. And playing on this kind of, in this type of tournaments, they'll get to know oh. and they got to learn on this. That's what is needed. But uh, Singapore, we saw them started off very badly, giving 186 runs. But then in the next game, they want a skin to build up their confidence. In the following game, they beat the Sri Lanka development. But after that, they've been falling apart. That's the sort of state of it. Sad Christ. state of it, I mean. One score, they have the Christ. So, uh, they have gradually uh, improved in certain aspects of uh, the game uh, with the uh, tournament going on, Pali. Uh, so uh, I think they'll be a bit happy. They'll be happy that uh, they got this experience playing against good sides. They played against England. They played against the Sri Lanka national side, they played against England Lionesses as well. And that win against Sri Lanka development will be a huge deal because those players, they are the ones who will go on to represent Sri Lanka someday. So they won against the future stars of Sri Lanka. So uh, Singapore, they'll be happy in certain aspects as I mentioned earlier. But uh, there's a lot of room for improvement uh, going forward for them. Yes, definitely. There's a lot of room. Please, they please. got to understand the game, Time. especially while batting and uh, even fielding. See the throws, some of the throws going on the wrong ends. Those kind of dismissals which they can easily take, they have missed. So it has to be a good Two. understanding of the game. Yeah, they they see that. The throw should have come oh, to the ball of A quick one would have put the batter on trouble. So Sri Lanka crossing that 100 run mark. They're 103 now. One more ball remaining in the 14th over. Yes, it's a learning curve, no doubt, for Singapore. And they got to learn fast. That's what is needed. Yes, as you said, uh, next year they'll Two. be back. Hope hey, to see over. a much improved performance from them. Well, you're gonna go over. When they come back next time. 
Thank you. You see, Anush Kapreda on Lebanon. and Tony Chipanandu also on Lebanon. Dazzers in positions, please. The fielders so are ready. Good combination. Ready. Especially uh, the short selection that scenario. Thank you, Mike Sala. Uh, making sure that they're prepared to play the down and ups because that's the uh, key stroke in this indoor. Thank you. Playing the down, uh, down and ups whenever you have the room to do that because most of the time the bowlers tend to bowl it short in the indoor cricket. And uh, just like that, so you can uh, use that uh, stroke to perfection to get some quality runs. You can get two runs anywhere if you are capable of uh, playing the uh, down and up uh, usefully. Yes, that's what I said, Lux. I said they should have the understanding of the game. To play that shot, they should know this shorter delivery. They should not go try to go straight or play straight. They should slap it into the ground and slap it hard so that it hits the top net. And oh, leaving enough starts. time for the other batter to come into the safe side of the crease. So that is what uh, the understanding of the game is also Ball needed. A lot of practice on this, uh, which is needed and for the Singapore scored. girls. Yeah, because, uh, clearly, there are instances when they try to go for the uh, down and up, but rather than try, that they're slapping it really hard onto the ground. Ball they're playing with starts. the horizontal bat and they're, they're playing it straight towards the net, which. Uh, really gives the chance for the fielders to uh, catch, catch it off the rebound. So that's something that we saw quite a lot in this uh, tournament by Singapore. So uh, um, if they do analyze all of that, there's a lot they can find out where they need to work on going forward as a unit. So uh, this is the penalty with over eight more deliveries to go in this uh, encounter. Brilliantly played Seven. there by uh, Danuji. A good stroke down the court. As for Asawa. You're talking about that the best way to improve luxury, I think, is to get a recording of these matches and uh, show the players and the coaches got to analyze that and show them the mistakes what they have done and uh, so explain to them what they right. should do. The ball. Thank you. That's the way normally we I'm have up. in coaching camps and things like that. Watch the recordings Start and then analyze that. And I'm sure Singapore will do a lot of those things when they get back. Penalty, Singapore, five runs. That's why this is a, this is such a huge platform for them. Getting the experience playing with all these good teams. And uh, also, the fact that uh, these games were streamed live. So they have the opportunity to get the recordings out of this game, as you mentioned, uh, Polly. So they have the room to analyze all the games that they played here in court one and go back home and analyze it really well and find Thank out you. what they can do to improve. Bye, so, um, all in all, it's uh, such a great trip for them, a huge part of their learning curve to uh, become a good side in Indo cricket. Not out. Appeal, a good appeal there, but uh, unfortunately, Danuji, she was uh, well back uh, within the ground. So uh, five more deliveries to go in this uh, encounter, Sri Lanka. In a very comfortable position, 41 runs in this uh, final skin, the best skin so far. Very well played by Anushka. Sorry. Plays the uh, down and up uh, to perfection uh, most of the time we have seen in this uh, skin. Four years ago, Isha. Well, Isha one of the uh, better players in this tournament for Singapore along with the uh, skipper Rachel and uh, Salon. I think uh, those three, uh, they, they really stood out. Right the others, uh, I think... Uh, to uh, take a le leaf out of their books no. and uh, improve you. themselves because uh, they have examples in their own team uh, to uh, work on their game to improve their game. Yes, definitely racial is a plus point for them, no doubt about that. She had a good tournament. Oh, and, they uh, there is uh, didn't hit it. The people are caught behind by the umpire says he didn't hear at all. So the score remains at 128. Two more balls remaining. Singapore coaches will definitely analyze a lot of uh, the in this tournament. Side, do uh, again? A lot of training no. needs to be done. No. The fitness levels, uh, everything needs Pass to be improved. Session. And definitely, when they come uh, the next time, they'll be a much better team, gaining from the experience what they have learned Side. in this tournament. Do it again? No. So uh, that's Thank the you, end of the game, Sri Lanka with a comfortable win against uh, Singapore ladies in this uh, women's open category encounter. Sri Lanka one step closer to <coughs> that final in the uh, women's open category. Sri Lanka winning by 176 runs. A very good performance uh, from them. Hey, definitely that's a huge margin. A win by 176 runs. Winning all the four skins. Giving the maximum points and a clean sweep for Sri Lanka.
the Kenzo 39, 23, 21, and 49, whereas Singapore was minus 15, 11, minus 14, and minus 26. You see the highlights of this uh, game. Sri Lankan innings has started off well, and a good catch taken there. That was a dismissal in the first can. From there on was the Sri Lankan batters gained in confidence. And that is another dismissal. There again, there. Uh, that was definitely an opportunity missed. Uh, these are things uh, Singapore got to learn fast. And there you see the handshakes going. So that is the end of the, this game. So the next game will be England versus India in the uh, men's open category. An important game for both the sides. England, of course, beating India in that uh, first round. But now the second round game is the most important one. India, they have played six games, three wins, two losses and one tight game. And England, six games, three wins and three losses. They lost to Sri Lanka development yesterday, which was a huge dent in their progress towards the final. So uh, the two teams, they have played the same number of games. But India, because of that tight game, they also have uh, managed to uh, get 1.5 points from the final result points. So they are 5.5 points ahead of England. So England, they need to make sure that they, s that they get at least six points out of this encounter against India if they are to have any hopes of uh, going into that uh, final encounter. Well, I think uh, Laksa say they got to get a clean sweep because if you get allow one point, drop one point, India will get that point and then India will be again up. So they need to get a clean sweep. Uh, so uh, if England do get six points here, they'll have 27. And uh, because India will get one, they will have 27.5. So a 0.5 difference there. So as uh, Polly mentioned, a clean sweep is what England needs to make sure that uh, they get ahead of India going into that last round. Because uh, that uh, last game for both the teams will be uh, really tricky. Because uh, this result will play a huge part in the whole tournament of uh, the Open Men's category. Because uh, the last two games, the last game, for these teams are uh, India they will play against Sri Lanka development who have managed to uh, find um, a new life in this uh, tournament after yesterday and for England it's going to be Singapore so uh, it's going to be really close this match will most probably decide the fate of uh, these two teams in this category so we will go to a short commercial break and we will be back with the action from this encounter between England and India in the open men's category of England Asia Cup 2024. Stay tuned to Sri Lanka's sports channel, the Papre TV. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. TS versus Mahanama. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dial on View app at thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. 
Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. Jatika Kandamut, Kridakin Visia Taktilinakala, Nelson Mendis Mahata, Mama Yojana Karano, Ape Demopian, Cricket Band Gano Uninang, Yan Ekamatanata, my Lasanta, Amarsing Mat Magi, Chan Sports, I tell Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is center in Bakramulla, your number one sports center. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Oh, welcome back. Uh to this third game of the day between uh, India men and uh, England men. As uh, I say, a good morning to Gamni Pagra. Hello, Michael. Hello, everyone. How was your match, Gamni? Good? Yeah, thank God. I'm sitting at the moment. And, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, after a match. But here, it's, it's a massive match here. It's the penultimate match for both these sides, uh, Michael, and they're hanging the balance to make it to the final. And well, 
safe to say Vina goes through? No, or it's not, not yet? necessarily, no. Uh, Danushi is on strike. Straight away. Two on the offsides. So they've opted to uh, open the batting with Danush and Karthik. Like I said, because of the importance of this match, it's mighty vital to get control of the game early. Looking for an extra sp extra speed this time. It's a no ball. Yeah, this is a two-piece ball, um, uh, Michael. It's not easy to control. It's, it swings left a lot. And... Uh, Much better delivery straight at the stumps. Length was good. He's bowling to a field, uh, two on the leg side, in the front court, one on the off side. Every dot ball is, uh, um, you, you're under pressure. Yeah, poor, poor follow up delivery. Yeah, he'll be very disappointed with that. After getting a top ball, he gave width and length outside the off stump. So that was a bread and butter shot for Karthik down and up on the off side. Kavdi, when you uh, explain the field, would you call it like on the off the cover field or the cover point field and the square leg field, or you just uh, call it the front four or whatever? Yeah, it's 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 the front court, and a lot of teams apply the uh, tactic of having two on the leg side. Last and try and aim at the leg stump, between the leg stump and the tramp line on the leg, leg side. So right now he's giving too much of width outside the off stump. He need to rectify his line. There again, oh, that was, it was there to be put away, down and up, but Karthik just couldn't get the height on it. Eight of the first over, India in control. Fraser Bartholomew, he was up here in the commentary box yesterday with Green, enjoying themselves, enjoyed the commentary and I think they enjoyed the cool, the AC that was here. I don't think anyone will uh, say no to coming inside the comm box because we are fully air conditioned and down there, there will be at least 15 to 20 degrees difference uh, down inside the court. And even outside, it's 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 a steaming day, it's a scorching day in um, Colombo, and you, yeah, you feel you, know, you got a feel for these sides, you know, messieurs and the doctors and the physio, they are all in action right throughout the day to keep the players fit. So second over, Danush is on strike. Good delivery, length was good around that knee height. Last few days, Gavini, I think uh, afternoon rain has cooled down the area a bit. Because earlier, about a week ago, it was really hot. Oh, there was an opportunity directly needed. One. Bringing out the dive early. It's one run. Yeah, when I was on the mic yesterday, Michael, I mentioned, you. you know, how these direct hits play a big part when it comes to the result and uh, definitely back stumper, although he fielded cleanly and broke the stumps, but because of the dive, it saved the batter. But you need direct hits. Again, brilliantly bold. Good change of speed and lovely area. So batter had to decelerate his hands to get access on the onside. But you, he got, he's bowling to the field, Green. So far, it has been a terrific over he has landed every time where he wanted just slightly outside the line bit of a relief for the indian batter there was pressure that was there. it was building wasn't it that also you need to be smart know which one to let go well, sometimes if it's too close you're not going to get it good cricket all around Good length, good line. Karthik had to wait for it, adjusted his hands. Didn't have the height. There was a slight opportunity for the fielder to slap it back onto the stumps. Just didn't have the direction. 
Again, the accuracy of the throw. That is now the over. Probing over that. Over. Everything was happening. So, dot ball to finish. Just the five runs. 13 after two. Well, the good thing is not lost any wickets, given away any minus uh, runs. So. Yeah, the dangerous side of the coin uh, is, uh, Michael, when you don't score enough runs and suddenly you lose a wicket or two, you're, yeah, yeah. you're in all sorts. And uh, so it's, it's, Although they have not lost a wicket, it's even Steven. So this is where good sides will capitalize and take the opportunity. And you, you get a wicket here. They're back on single figures. So to the third over, India would have been happier with close to 20 runs after two overs, but they need a good finish in order to take control uh, uh, in this first skin. But I think uh, saying that, Dami, they shouldn't panic. Yeah. They've done reasonably well. Just continue this, try to you know, build it maybe 26, double this, or maybe 30, as long as you can not give any free wickets away. Yeah, good start for Indians. Karthik getting some length and width outside the off stump, down and up on the offside to start the over well. Tanush will have to uh, come to the party and follow that up. Line was good. Again, as you could see, uh, the ability to transfer your weight from one leg to the other in this game, to play all the angles, play the field, that's exactly what Danush did then. From pressing forward, transferred his weight onto the back foot and played a high hand shot. Oh, that's bad bowling. Very disappointed, England. Those are free Up. shots, free runs. Okay, another question. I'm sure most of the viewers who are not very familiar with this game. Does the toss play a big part uh, in this game or, or is it normal like uh, winning the toss, batting first or batting second? In general, I'm saying. I think 90% of the time during a tournament competition in this nature, Again, drag this length. Easy pickings for Danush at the moment. Yeah, you know, you would like to bat first every given opportunity and put runs on the board. It's all about pressure, having control. So once you get around that 80 to 100 mark in these conditions, um, you know, you're you in for a very long way. But um, if this was a last round, let's say, oh, full delivery, yeah, that was a golden opportunity. Karthik. Missed his shot, anticipating that he'll get some bat on it. It just charged down the track. Direct hit needed. Yep. If this was the last, the last game of this uh, the round robin, if you're short a few points, then you'll be looking to bat second and try and win the, the skin as well as the match. And, but here, I think the win is important because both there's not much when it comes to the uh, again good f jump from Patel on the leg side. So two dot balls and there'll be a lot of pressure in the next over. Third ball situation. So you reckon at a, at generally at the start of a tournament, most sides who win the toss will uh, like to bat first and you know get some runs on the board? Yeah, 90% of the time. Yeah, because anyway, you're, for each innings you're using a new ball, so there is no difference in that as, uh, either. And then this is all carpeted, so there is no thing of a new setting in or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so no such thing. And, uh, it's all about your strengths and how you'd, you'd like to play the game. So this, this is an opportunity for the Lions. Third ball situation. Last two for this batting pair, Danush and Karthik. Three on the offside uh, in the front court. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. Full toss. Down and up, straight to the back net. That's a five. Big moment that. Holly Green just overcooking his length. Have a look at this shot. Just went through it, through, presenting the full face of the bat. Well, well. Immediately asking for the re-ball. So now, 
they've doubled that score, Garmini, from 13 after the two overs. They're looking to go into the 30 plus. If they get that, they'll be really happy. Yeah, it's a pretty vocal game, this uh, Indo cricket, uh, Michael. Every, every player needs to be on the eight ball to encourage each, uh, each other. Well weighted, uh, Karthik. Down and up on the off. And sometimes you've got to feel for the umpire because I think all eight guys shouting, appealing, can put a lot of pressure on the umpire. See how in a, in a blink of an eye these two have scored what 17 runs off the last 10 balls or so into the second over they were 13 weren't they? Yeah, last. Yeah. Oh, he would have been disappointed with that. Oh, uh, anyway, it has. Yeah, no ball signal by Andrew, so no ball plus. The two. Plus one. Yeah, no ball plus one, so three runs all together. Oh, that's a big advantage here. I'm not quite sure why the no ball was signaled. It wasn't off the pitch, was it? See those two fielders up at the front on the offside, Michael. Dalla? See dotted dotted circle there. Yeah. Fielders cannot. Oh, inside edge. Lucky not to get bowled. So those dotted lines, the fielders cannot cross that line. If Field you cross that line, bold. yeah, if you have any part of your body over that line, umpire will call it a no ball. So that is only the wicket keeper is allowed. Because the keeper also cannot come uh, beyond the wicket uh, at, the p at the point yeah. of delivery. So, till the ball is delivered, they can't cross the line. That's what you're saying. Yeah? Brilliant shot. Down and up on the leg side. I got umpiring this game might be a ni nightmare. You need about four eyes to come and see whether your fielders are crossing the line or, you know, because when it's a close game, they want to get as closer to the bat. So, suddenly 35 on the board. Now As you can see from the body line, from the Lions, you know, they were there and thereabouts in that in those first two overs, anticipating an opportunity, but suddenly these two have taken control. I think this is a very good score, Garmini, for the first game. Massive score. 37 from where they were after the second over. So the final ball for this batting pair. To let that go. Yeah, as you can see, Anish Patel, the most experienced player in this Lion side, uh, Michael, calling his troops in because they need to find someone or they need to find one of their team members to put up their hand and come up with some sort of brilliance to get some momentum into this game. So four overs done, 37 for no loss. First skin for India. This is a crunch game. A crucial, crucial encounter in the context of this tournament. A potential knockout, a potential semi final here between England and India. Is this the last game uh, for both teams? Uh, they have one more, they I think, isn't it? They have one more. But yes, I think. Uh, they have to uh, try and win this game. Definitely, uh, the Indians. Mm. 
very sensible batting down and up on the leg side. Two runs added to a total. The two batters for India, Arjun and Suraj. 41 on the board. There was definitely a single on there. Both batsmen stranded at the non-strikers and Suraj didn't respond to Arjun's call. And England get the dismissal that they've prayed for so long. Yes, uh, important one starting off uh, with that dismissal straight away into the minors. India need to try and win uh, this game, win all these skins. So uh, very important uh, for them. Much better calling on that occasion. That was it. An easy single. The offering. The batters could have easily rotated strike there. Cardinal error by the non striker Arjun. And it seems as though that's the second dismissal for India. So what happened there, uh, Virin? I reckon that was for caught behind. Ricky, there's some uncertainty. Deliberation with the umpire, Andrew Hall Villiers. So India have uh, one more game uh, left uh, today. They have to play the Sri Lanka development team as well. So they have uh, one more game now to go. And then uh, batters, this is third ball. Sri third Lanka ball, playing the Singapore batters. currently in the other court as well. And if I'm not mistaken, England third plays Sri Lanka ball. dev again. Ricky and England have to play Singapore but that's the game uh, remaining so both these teams have one more game to go so we have to see what's the uh, points difference uh, and the skins I think are going to be very very crucial uh, carrying forward so yes uh, both these teams will fancy winning their next two games against Singapore and the, the development level so this game is crucial yes who takes maximum uh, points are out of uh, this is what we have to wait and see we're in but we saw what the development 11 the development team did against England last evening pulling off potentially the opposite of the tournament thus far yes I most certainly so it won't uh, be easy for India in that game so they know they have to try and get maximum out of this probably England have the better pathway they messed up by losing to, to the development team, but yeah, they will feel that uh, they have a better chance against Singapore. And in the reverse fixture, England beat India and came away with six points. A brilliant run out there. Captain Nav Patel getting it off the rebound and a direct hit. Fantastic work by the skipper. Yes, just right away, quick reaction. The underarm throw coming in. He had to dive in, but just not enough. No, no, thank you. I Players ready? That's the skill of the player. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jayesh. Thank you. No, so you're that putting great. that underarm thrown blindly. Play. You have to get it uh, close to the stumps. My apologies. Oliver Green was there. Keeping it up. Brilliant combination. Now, Patel yeah. and Oliver Green. And another dismissal. And over, over. All of India's hard work and the brilliant start over. they had in that first skin being undone here. England are bouncing back very strongly. It's a certainly. You could see the uh, running between the wickets. Uh, no coordination, no, not a clear call. Probably there was a run in that one, the, the striker. He didn't think so. With two overs left, Ricky, three dismissals in the skin. Two of those 
will run out due to haphazard calling. It's England uh, will forget about that first skin. What they will now be concentrating is on the Why? remaining three skins. Keep it a minimum as possible. And certainly they have a chance here if they bowl well in the remaining two overs. You know, to keep India to a low score in this game, which will be gettable. Some interesting games coming up today in the women's segment as well. Sri Lanka have to play the Sri, uh, England Lionesses. They have to try and get maximum points out of that game. Because the Lionesses have another game against the Sri Lanka development team as well. So Sri Lanka have to do well in that game to stay above and uh, stay afloat to keep in, uh, in that second place. Yes, it's moving day as they say at the England Asia Cup business end of the tournament Ow. that is fantastic work by Nav Patel leading from the front the third run out in this particular skin the fourth dismissal overall in the skin this is brilliant work by the captain pick up and a direct hit on this occasion the batter had no time at all. He had to come around the uh, field as well. Bye. He was uh, stranded. So England have stepped up in this skin. You can see their fielding has a certainly, you know, sprung a step. They're not let anything at all get away from them. I mean, it's your captain leading from the front. It was outstanding once again by now, Patel, and the batters didn't want to risk taking a run there and getting now Patel to have another attempt slash shy at the stumps. And we have a third ball situation. Pressure is being piled on these two batters. Over. Well negotiated over. by Suraj and Arjun. Excellent over by Tom Clark. Minus two there, picking up that wicket. So Suraj ready and uh, Malik Arjun. Anish Patel, now the skipper, will be doing the bowling. Anish Patel bowled brilliantly two nights ago against India. Was the pick of their bowlers in the reverse fixture. And Ricky, we, when, when you have a positive outline in that first game, a brilliant score of 37, you just need the other batters to bat sensibly. But this pair have come out and there's been some reckless calling reckless running between records it's the most certainly no, 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 get to no, get two no, more no, no. they need to end this on a positive note here India still uh, minus one they have to try and get uh, at least uh, eight. Oh, that was a close one as well just could not hang on to it uh, on his uh, follow through Patel they managed to uh, put it down to zero but this is uh, a skin that England will uh, definitely I feel take away no. No, no, no. two missed opportunities almost almost diving effort just could not get his hands under that one but what was that shot what was he trying to do he was trying to hit the back neck he just could not hang on We hope Connor off is all right. I need to get a train that was a yes, I thought he hit his. Uh, he landed on the floor quite hard, isn't it? Uh, uh, we in, uh, I thought he sort of jammed himself. It's probably that was uh, that impact would have hurted him. Certainly a bit of pain. We hope he's uh, not uh, done any damage to himself. The players will uh, have a water as well in between. Uh, have a chat. Good time to regroup. England will feel they've bounced back really well in this second skin. 
Yes, I certainly. They need uh, every point possible from this game. So does India. So even two balls left if they can get another four runs. Yes, they may lose the skin, but they add on to the total. <laughs> Good to see Connor back on his feet. Following receiving some treatment. The magic spray coming in handy there, Ricky. In a potential knockout match, you can't afford to have skins like this if you're in the Indian camp. Batters, this is now third ball. Not troubling the scorers ball, thanks batters, to those dismissals. Ball. Last ball of the over. Final delivery. They'll get two. That is two so they'll end up on just two. Excellent stuff by England. Tremendous skin. Their bowlers have, fielders have done brilliantly. India will be very disappointed because they had two of their better players, uh, Malik Arjun and Suraj Reddy, but uh, they didn't uh, do their best out there. 39 after eight. So India, just uh, two runs in that uh, second skin after a good first skin where they scored 37. Beginning of the uh, third one, Fraser to uh, bowl this over. And for India, it's uh, Vijay and Afros who will be the uh, batters in the third skin. Garmini, not the best of uh, second skins for India. of fielding well it's a totally different ball game after that first skin um, Lux you see 37 runs were scored without the batters being dismissed once but um, the second pair lost four times and very early in this third skin that's a terrific piece of fielding just jumped in time blocked it non striker was halfway down the track a lot of pressure being applied by a brilliant piece of fielding from from the Lions As you can see, even in that second pair, some of the batters, because of the pressure that they're under, um, they're looking to go towards that back net with some flat bat shots, trying to force it. Even Afro's at last delivery, looking to hit down the, down towards that back net. Tot ball suddenly. That's Fraser again. Afro's, there's the uh, down and up, and uh, they get uh, runs there. It was uh, James Baker. With that uh, fielding effort to uh, force the dismissal, uh, Garmini. Yeah, the England fielding, they uh, actually took it to a next level in the second game, didn't they? With the direct hits and everything, they were red accurate. Just a bit too short. Vijay had enough time. Get his hands high enough to force it on the onside, down and up. Feroz likes the back net. Whenever it's pitched up, he will not be afraid. Navi, again, terrific piece of fielding. And over. There's not much in it. Over. During that second skin, Navi Patel with a brilliant direct hit, started the rot. Well, have a look at this one. Oh, the bat was up in the air. 
But this is, you know, these are 50 50 decisions for the um, umpires. No, it's never easy, particularly uh, on this side, the third line. And, um, but I take nothing away from Patel's effort in, 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 um, from that position. So just two after one over. Uh, now Patel, with a great effort. They are all pumped up uh, and they, after that uh, very good second skin where they managed to get the momentum back to themselves. And a very good first over where they managed to get a dismissal as well. So just two runs on the board. Time for the uh, second over. Hesitation, hesitation, but uh, they somehow get that uh, run. Two runs added. It's uh, Connor Ruff, the bowler for England. Vijayan strike again. This time picks it on the full. Now Patel, not able to uh, collect it there. Two more runs added. So a good start to this over, Yeah, these are the types of things that uh, will get you back into the game. That first delivery just went all along the ground, but they had enough time to cross over for another si on the, the other side. Oh, opportunity. Wow. Completely misjudged. It can happen at times as a, as a back stumper. Because when the ball comes off that third line on the right-hand side, you really need to get into a position and anticipate that this ball will end up there. Now, this had... See this? It's coming from the corner. And it just went over his head. Had he stood where the stumps were, it would have been an easy catch. But, uh, you know, uh, you can't do much about that one. So suddenly, eight runs, nine or ten runs, the first four deliveries. In fact, 12 runs. 12 runs in the first four deliveries uh, for India. Penultimate uh, delivery of this over. Well bolt, a dot delivery. They needed that. Uh, Last ball, thank you. Last ball. A dot delivery. 12 runs on the board for this game, 10 runs in this over, just two in the previous one. Yeah, good recovery from this pair. Need to finish off well this second over. Well, went for another over. huge over. shot towards third the ball, uh, back net. Brilliantly bold though, took the pace right off. So it could be a third ball situation the next um, over. If England can grab one here, they'll really set the cats among the pigeons back again. Because all those runs that they have scored in that over will be wiped off in no time. Uh, Froze up. As Gavini mentioned, someone who likes to uh, target the back net, trying to do that, uh, trying to. Uh, Hit a big one uh, down the court, but missing it completely. So the third ball situation. Can England uh, force a dismissal here? That's close, really close, but uh, very well done. And they managed to uh, steal another run as well. There was uh, no one to uh, recover yeah, that's the ball. That's a bad result for the Lions. Third ball situation. Face tie, full toss. No ball plus three runs, so five runs. That's massive. Now Tom Clark, the bowler, sweeps it away this time, uh, Vijay. So getting some good runs uh, very early in this over. Seven runs already in the first two deliveries. So those uh, three runs given away by uh, Tom Clark, clearly giving a lot of momentum to India in this third skin. Ten deliveries uh, these two have. Very well done from uh, Froze. The down and up played to perfection. Two more runs added. It's very similar to that first pair. Didn't start well, but the last two overs in that skin, they came with some very good shots. And uh, these two have done the same thing. That's a good shot. Three. That'll be three. We've seen a lot of teams, the thir uh, third line players, are fielding around that yellow line. That's a line that you use for futsal. It's nothing to do with the Indo cricket, but uh, because of the high tension of these nets, I've seen that they, they like to stay back. They'll stop there on the offside. Last ball. So, rare dot, dot ball for the um, Lions. Last ball. Last delivery of this uh, third over of the third skin. Very well played by Afro. So, uh, they had two ball. more runs uh, to the board. 26 runs. Uh, the third skin for India. Tom Clark, 12 runs in that over. 
An expensive over. Jay on 13, Afros uh, 13. And an update from uh, court number two, uh, Garmin in Sri Lanka. 115 in their fourth skin. Sri Lanka, of course, uh, unbeaten in this tournament in the open men's category. 27, 29, 45, respectively, in the first, second, and third uh, skins for Sri Lanka against Singapore. Yeah, that, that, that game uh, resulted in irrelevant, really. Like you mentioned, Sri Lankans are already in the, um, in the final, uh, into that uh, grand final. But this game, it, it's like hop on the seesaw type of game. The typical Indo cricket test match. Slightly shaped. Wow. It's just a little fumble allowed Afros to get back. So, you know, the momentum was with the Indians early in the first uh, pair. Then suddenly England came back with some very good piece of fielding. And then uh, early in this piece, in this third skin, no, it's the call. Um, England picked up a couple of dismissals, but suddenly now 28 on the board and total 67. It's looking a lot more respectable. So good recovery by uh, these two. After that uh, disappointing second skin where they got only two runs after four dismissals. This is good. One more run, uh, 20 run, 29 runs on the board. Three more deliveries to go. 68, the overall score for India. Very well played by Afros. The uh, skin score go, goes up to 31 with the uh, two runs. Very well done, these two. They are playing the uh, down and up uh, to perfection in the uh, last uh, couple of overs. Garmini getting some very useful runs 33 runs on the board, one delivery to go. This time, switches to the uh, fuller length and uh, not the best of uh, throws there to the non strikers end. So Garmini, 34 runs in that uh, third skin. A good recovery for India after that a disappointing second one. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, it's a funny old game really. A typical Indo cricket test match. The momentum shifting from one side to the other. But uh, this, is, this is the important part now for the Indians as well as the Englishmen. You know, two skins have been dominated by the Indians, one by the Lions. So this fourth important last pair, Davik, and uh, Josh Doshi. So we'll have to continue their good work if they want to keep this momentum to the ne to Fine, their next ready, innings. Thanks, Nav. Stay healthy. Come to Australia. Tagline I once read: There are three important things in life: health, family, work. Health, family, work. Take care of the first two, and the third work will take care of itself. I'm here at the Australia Sports and Leisure Centre. We're seeing some brilliant indoor cricket here on court one. As Garmin said, the pendulum swings back and forth in this game as captain Nav Patel brings himself on. Would they be looking at the triple figure mark as a potential target, Garmin? Well, Viren, in this game, you play the next one as it comes. You can't really uh, pinpoint a target on the back of your uh, mind. You, play, you take little periods, you take ball by ball and see where you are in the next one. So two, just two scoring shots in the first three deliveries. Beaten for speed. Patel is easily the quickest uh, in this Lions lineup. And he's operating from around the wicket, creating that angle. And aiming at around that hips and the rib cage. And when you think too far ahead, as you said, Garmini, we saw the result in that second skin where India third threw that early initiative away. Ball, we have a third ball scenario third here. Ball. 
Well, there you are. Over. That's exactly what the doctor ordered for the Lions. A Over. wicket early in the piece. Yes. In this fourth pair. As, as a batting pair, uh, Viren, as you walked in, the last thing you want is to get into a third ball situation in the first over. Because pressure can do wonder, wonder, wonderful things in your mind and uh, as a batter it can be very painful and cruel at times. So that, there was an opportunity but the thing is you still had to execute and you had to grab it and that's exactly what the Lions did. And all those runs that were scored in that first over is suddenly been wiped off and now they're minus one. So, you know, good old scoreboards. Uh, now, the, the technology is very good these days. The good old scoreboards, when you have minus, it always used to blink. So the, that's, that's, that's the side that batter don't want to see. Yes, it's using a golf analogy. It's like being in the black region in, your sc in the scoring. You want to be in the red zone. So As you said, Garmin, early on when you come into bat, you don't want to put yourself under undue pressure. And that's exactly what these two batters did in that first over. That's a better ball. Right in the block hole. Around that leg stump. Baker, it's very important for him to f follow up that first over from Patel. That's not the area you, can, you, have, you need to bowl. Length and width outside the off stump. These batters are so experienced playing that down and up on the offside. They are going to hit that ball every day of the week. And when it comes to aiming at the leg stump, Garmini, you've repeatedly said it's the leg stump line that is the most conducive. What would be the ideal length around the chest region? Something short? Yeah, it all depends on the speed. Speed of the bowler. You know, a lot of taller, fast bowlers with a bit of zip. They'll probably target that uh, rib cage because as, as as for the teams from this, see straight away you can see Davik is not comfortable with that length Hi and that. he's looking to get inside the line of the ball to uh, try and hit it on the offside. And so half. 16 and, and, and um, that's uh, how many runs Baker has conceded in his two overs, 14 overs. Two more, two more to come. 81. This pair is, is still on seven, so there's a lot of pressure. So. It all depends on the speed and the release of the uh, faster bowlers. When you get bowlers from Australia, South Africa, uh, New Zealand for that matter, they, you know, they, they are pretty tall and against the subcontinent size, they, they target that area. Because, you know, you're not the tallest and it's very difficult to get your hands high enough. Full toss, very bad ball to start from Patel. Three is the result. So those are the similarities between indoor and outdoor cricket when it comes to those bowling attacks. Anish Patel comes in. Two. A lucky ricochet there for the batters. Able to rotate strike. This is a very important over for both sides. Patel needs to come up with some good deliveries to keep the momentum. In the same token, Indians have scored off the first three deliveries. Again, high risk shot, down and up on the offside, off the stumps. But the execution was there, that's all that matters. And as we've kept saying throughout our broadcast, it's important to play it late. And get as much use as possible out of those dunks. Nearly paying the price for hitting it straight back. Anish Patel. Yeah, Patel, uh, I'll tell you what, Viren, that, that's not far off. Patel fielded it off his own bowling. The striker was coming, coming halfway down the track. But the umpire needs to take into consideration whether he shifted his line or not. There was not a lot, was it? Uh, was there? And uh, I think from where he was, he turned around. Has he shifted to cover the throw? Uh, that would have been out. That would have been the first in terms of obstructing the field. Again, there was not enough power from that leg side field. Rough. He wanted to slap it off the net towards the stump, so 
Indians got through it without any hiccups. Suddenly, 17 on the board for this pair. So good enough for we'll get that total to uh, three-figure mark. And uh, psychologically, uh, Indians will be feeling pretty happy. And when they won the toss just before, they would have taken it. And they've used it to perfection. At the start of the skin, I asked if the triple-figure mark would be the target, but they've taken it a boy at a time, played each boy on its merit. And that's what they've got to do in this final over. We've seen many teams throw it away in the final over of the innings. Players ready, please. Fielding side is in position. We are stopping the clock. No time penalties and play. Well bowled by Green. Oliver Green in operation. Leg side. Yeah, that's been called leg side, so he'll have to re ball that according to the batter. Very often to ball the final low for every batting pair, you need a, you need a good accurate bowler who has got who's got good control. And that was my question to you, Garmini. In indoor cricket, when you target the final over of each of the four skins, is it usually the case where you have your best four bowlers operating in those four overs? All depends. There is no such thing that you are going to target this bowler to bowl this over or that over. But uh, pretty much uh, when it comes to the last over for that batting pair, you need someone who's got good control. So just the one. Great fielding off his own bowling there. Oliver Green. So it's a lot to do with pressure. You know, as a batter, you talk about pressure. As a bowler, you're under pressure to bowl that last over because every bad ball, or if you miss the line, you'll have to re-ball that. That's... Oh, well. That's an error. Green left it, and the ball ricocheted off the stumps and back... You know, the two sides of the coin. I, 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 Green would have probably fielded that ball. And... Uh, in the same token, back stumper should have been up on the stumps uh, to prevent that from hitting the stumps because the batters were not running. See how see how he just stood in one place? There you are. He had to take one more step and uh, try and cover that ball from ricocheting off the stumps. So massive result. Five. Oh, has he left it? Has he left it? A huge appeal. In Indo cricket, the only time you can get LBW is if, if you don't offer a stroke. That previous delivery, Tom Clark was the fielder in question. Three over we wanted the triple figures, innings. and they get the triple figures, Garmini. And as you said, a psychological edge for India as they come out to defend this. The momentum in this game swung in both directions throughout that innings. But India will come out of it feeling slightly more confident. In a potential knockout game, Garmini, that scoreboard pressure right there. Yeah, like I said, a lot of stakes um, are high for this game, for both sides. And um, don't forget that both these sides will be playing later on as well. Uh, England playing against the... Um, Singaporeans and uh, India will be playing in the Sri Lankan development team. So whatever that they can gather from this game will take them a long way to being there on that final day. So 102 on the board. Well, like I said, they would have taken it uh, um, at the uh, start. But uh, there was a time that the uh, game was going to swing towards the Lions. But uh, credit to the uh, third pair and the fourth pair, they've um, got through it and um, they've got into a very commanding position. Yes, Garmini, it's been exciting stuff here on court one. As you see the highlights, Danush, the captain of India, came out to bat with Karthik and posted 37 for that first skin. There was watchful, cautious batting. And then in the second skin, that's where India let the momentum swing in England's favor. A lot of indecision, miscommunication. And that cost them four dismissals in that second skin. India only posting two, 
and they managed to get to the positive end of the scale in that final over of that second skin. And then Vijay and Afros came out and helped India recover in the third skin. And they posted 28 in the fourth. We'll be back with you shortly for the run chase. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialog View app, and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. Jatika kan diamond. Kriya kein visya tak tili nagala. Nelson Mendis Mahata. Mama yojana karna apy demo pian. Cricket band gan no one nang yan na ekamata na ta. My Lasant Amar Singh Mahatma ke Chan Sports. Aitane. So uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, the live action from the uh, chase of England. India batting first and. Uh, getting over 100 they got 102 37 in the first skin 2 35 28 in the rest of the skin so uh, that second skin the only real disappointment for india michael yeah they must be really regretting that if they had got uh, at least 50 20 runs that total would have been a massive total for england to chase yeah what that uh, skin did is uh, that uh, skin gave sh gave england the chance to uh, have a real crack at this total this uh, overall total because uh, those three points will be really, really vital uh, for the whole uh, tournament because uh, both these teams they'll have one more game remaining after this, and uh, that will most probably decide which team will go through. Won't be easy. Uh, Let's like see, 102, 103, the target always uh, scoreboard pressure, and here you lose a wicket, you lose minus five. Not easy to get that back. Well bowled, brilliantly bowled there. Third ball, third ball. Third ball scenario. Third ball. And that's the first dismissal. England. Losing their first dismissal in the very first over of the first skin. Rough. Just uh, the left little deft touch there and uh, straight to the field. The close in field and uh, they did it quite comfortably. Green didn't have uh, enough time to uh, get to the strikers and Dan Green. So uh, some recovery. There was a change of pace also. So you saw the batsman had to wait on it. So a recovery job in their hands straight away for England uh, in this first skin. <coughs> no ball as well. 
So uh, two runs from that over. Daivik with a very good first over to begin the proceedings uh, for India in this all important game. Connor, the batsman who got dismissed uh, on minus one, and uh, Dan Green on three. So a good start uh, by India. Just giving away two. Make sure they got a dismissal back. Arjun, the bowler. Thank you. Thank you, Arjun. Spike. Very well done. A good start to the uh, second door as well. Putting the English batters under pressure. The Indian bowlers here. Arjun. Can he continue that? Can he uh, bowl in the same manner he bowled in that first delivery? Once again, another dot. Corner of under a lot of pressure. Batters, this is the Very impressed the way he's bowling, uh, Luxus. You look at him, you think he's a left arm bowler, but uh, comes from way from that side and then bowls right arm around the wicket. Quite a lot of hip work there. Needed a direct hit there in there. But uh, England, they uh, managed to uh, get away from that uh, third ball situation. Four runs on the board. Three more deliveries to go in this uh, second over. India with 37 runs in the skin. Looking really good here to uh, get the win of this uh, first skin. Another dot delivery. A lot of dot deliveries in the skin so far in the first 10 deliveries. England feeling the pressure. Dan, Ro Dan Green and uh, Connor Ruff unable to uh, get the Indian bowlers away. A lot of indecision after that run out. Dan Green touches it brilliantly ball. and uh, gets the run. Two more runs added, six runs on the board. Still not enough for uh, England. They need uh, some big hitting in the remaining two overs if they are to get close to that uh, 37 run mark of India in the first game. Brilliantly done. Over. Arjun Over. with a superb over. Even uh, without a wicket, he has given away just four runs. That's how good that over was. England struggling here in the first game. I don't think they'll be looking at uh, going for big hits. I think they'll, what they just need is uh, the tools just to get some sanity to that score. Try to get closer to that uh, the team clear. total. Thanks, Josh. Josh Do Doshi. Thank you, Josh. Play, please. 37 is a big ask. But if they can get at least up to 2025, 20, that's helping the team cause. Uh, the England bowlers so far they have been spot on. They have uh, not given them the room uh, bowling short outside off stump for them to uh, just uh, play the uh, down and up uh, with relative ease. And uh, they have targeted the uh, leg side. They have targeted the legs of the uh, English batters, and they have bowled it really full. They have bowled the Yorkers here really well in this uh, first skin so Big far, side. and that time going out of target. Also, India going. Hard at uh, the two opening bats, a uh, lot of pace, and now you see bowler with not much of pace, so it'll be easier for the batsman. You've seen so far. You see there, Michael targeting the legs, but corner off. He's a tall lad, so because of that, he has the ability to uh, just uh, push it towards the leg side uh, and uh, get the run. That's brilliant once again. A Yorkerland delivery. An absolute piece of a delivery to Dan Green. And uh, that's another minus five. Look at that. He got some bat on it, but uh, after hitting the uh, back foot, it uh, went straight towards the uh, stumps. Ball creeping underneath the bat in that uh, instance. Trying to get that uh, down and up Last shot. Ball. Another great over so far for India. Four runs and a dismissal as well. Just ten runs on the board. England feeling the pressure very early in this game. And uh, that looks really close. But and the uh, official over. thinks uh, Prof made it in time 
So India uh, putting up a real good display of bowling and some uh, top-notch fielding as well. Yes, the replay. Oh, that was close. The dive saving him, but uh, they should have dive, put out that dive a little bit earlier. So 11 runs on the board. They'll want to uh, end at least on 20 here, England, in this first skin. Otherwise, uh, they'll be too far behind. Because in that uh, second skin, they have the opportunity to catch up. So uh, they have to make sure that they get as Five close three, as three, possible three, in this uh, first skin. Karthik Subramanian to bowl the fourth over, the final over of this first skin. Better start uh, to this over for England. An appeal uh, from behind the sums, but uh, the umpire wants his head. Three more deliveries to go. Karthik is bowling well as well. Good run taken. Three runs on the board. Looks like three left. Great sure, job. they must be targeting something. The region of 20. Start. Don't think they'll want to go, to go for the big hits. Maybe tempting to go. But I think it's better just to look at maybe 2022. Two more deliveries to go. 17 runs on the board. Well played by Dan Green. Two more runs added. 19 runs. So the uh, all-important last delivery. Last two more runs will uh, take them to 21. I think uh, they'll be happy with that after considering two dismissals in this first skin. England. Oh, well, well bowled. Well bowled and well oh played God. as well. Yeah, he managed to keep it down. So end of the uh, first skin. England. Just 19 runs. Uh, they have scored after the first skin. A lot to be done in this second one. And in India, they just scored just two runs, so they have a good opportunity to get the uh, point in this game and uh, get themselves uh, back in this game. <laughs> Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. So important uh, skin for England, this one, they have lost the first one, but that was the highest in, they got 37, and they got uh, 37, 35 and 28, three very good skins, England have a lot of work to do, but they need the point out of this skin, definitely, and need a bit of catching up as well, oh that's out, it was off the glove isn't it, very unfortunate there, the batter seems very surprised, he probably is pointing at his arm. We'll take a look at that one. That was very, very close. To the glove. Yep. Yeah. He's probably saying it was his wrist. But probably hitting that piece of uh, the glove, the uh, top part of the glove. And as you said, Ricky, England will want a significant buffer in this skin. They'll need to do some serious catching up because India's third and fourth skins were really competitive. They posted competitive totals on the board. Third ball, batters, out of there, third ball. 
and the Indian fielders on the front court making their presence felt. That's a good shot. That's well played. Playing late into the uh, surface and up it goes. They need to just keep doing it as much as possible for this four overs. A fantastic first and over in the uh, second uh, skin by Vijay. And India well and truly on top here. Yes, uh, minus two that one. England have three overs uh, to do some catching up work. They're still in this game, no doubt about it. All they need is, uh, they're looking at winning the game overall. You know, all you need is, uh, what, 19, uh, 21, 23? 23 of these next three overs, you know, to catch up. Because this skin is so low, they can even catch up on the last one if they bat sensibly. You, you, exactly. you have 18 deliveries, and all you need is uh, 23. So nine of those has to go for two. So it's uh, not complicated if you break it down and bat sensibly. Uh, and if you look at it in that perspective, it's, uh, it's not easy to do, like uh, we say, but uh, certainly possible. A 84 of 65 legal deliveries. And that is gettable in this form because you have so many opportunities for down and ups to get those twos and threes. It's a good ball in the India up to the task. Now uh, they have to get uh, 21 if they are just uh, to go and be in power with the skins. Third ball now Third ball coming up. So he played two dot balls. I thought uh, one of those uh, should have gone into the net. Foot. Finally gets away One, off the blocks. To break that momentum. That's a no ball. So they're plus three now. The Indian bowlers are having a stranglehold on proceedings in this second skin. Well played there by James Baker. Well supported there by Tom Clark. That's good batting. That was uh, had a bit of bounce in that delivery, but uh, played it well at the end. No ball too. So Clark is uh, looking good. 15 of that over. 75 needed of the next two and a half skins. They need to break those down, do the necessary calculations. And this game will be a very very close one but they can't afford to lose wickets at regular intervals that will peg them back significantly players ready please thank you Josh play so if they can get another 12 here they'll be really happy with their performance I, I would say and it's uh, mostly gettable there you go very easy Easily done, uncomplicated. India posted 63 in their final two skins. Yes. So if they get 12 here, as you said, and get to 40 by the end of this skin, England too will require 63 to win. So Exactly, they will cover up uh, the first two skins. Uh, they cover up the deficit in the uh, first one to uh, win. 35 is not going to be easy to get. So they try, must try to get maximum in this skin now as uh, they're in a very good position. Bacon strike. <laughs> Attempted slap on leg side. But brilliantly fielded. Batters, this is third ball. Third ball batters. Third ball once again. Third ball batters. Third ball. To those uh, who are not to 
a way of playing the cricket. You, if there's two dot balls and then you play the third ball, you have to get off strike, get a run. <coughs> you see, they have to run, and uh, they have got home. So comfortably done at the end. And if I'm not mistaken, if the third ball scenario results in a wide or no ball, and the scorecard keeps ticking, that's the only scenario in which you can get away. So it's a run, uh, basically, that has to change uh, the scenario. It cannot be a dog ball in any way. Uh, that was down the leg side. I think he's uh, got away with that one. Ricky, this is the most animated I've seen the Indian fielders throughout this comp. Yes. They know that this is no. the big game. Two and over. So 15, there you go. After seven overs. So this is a much better batting by this pair, Clark and uh, Baker. 12 and 3 apiece. Clark doing most of the Just damage. Of, uh, yeah. Ricky, India will rule that it's missed opportunity in that second skin. An additional really 20 or 25 in that second skin. And they would have posed an insurmountable target for England. So Vijay Gauda is uh, going to do uh, the uh, bowling. He was really good in that first over he bowled. They know this is an important over. That's why they bought him here. So the fourth over is a of the uh, skin is uh, very important because if you bowl wide, so no balls, uh, the batter is able to ask for a re -bowl. Yes, Vijay bowling both his overs in this second skin. A bold decision by Captain Danush to bowl him out. If there was Third better backing up at that end. Ricky, that could have been an opportunity for third India. Ball. Most certainly. But once again, it's a third ball. One. Sensible batting. Set They've ball. got to 17. Yeah. I hope you have. So you can get another four here. They will be in par. With what India got in the first Very two nice skins. Still, they have a lot to do in the last two Eight. skins. Okay, thank you. Both okay. sides putting their bodies Five on the three. line there as Baker and Danush collide. Five. It's good to see them on their feet. Body. Body. Trying to hit it into the uh, on side, uh, up and uh, down and up, and to hit it hard into the uh, ground. Didn't get c any contact at all. Vijay has been excellent with the ball, no doubt about it. And coming in with that angle, very tough for the batsman to negotiate that. Third ball, last ball. Fantastic bowling. Third ball, Tom. Just a one ball left. And two consecutive third ball scenarios for England. Is it up? Mr. Stumps will get a single. So they land on the 37. A good over by Gouda. England needs 66 to tie the game, 67 to win. That's an average of 33.5 per skin. It's going to be tough, but it's one skin apiece. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant.
all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. So England, after getting the upper hand in that uh, second skin, now they have to uh, chase down 36. But the problem here is there's uh, still a gap between the two sides. India, they won 39. England, they are on 36 at the moment after two skins. So it all comes down to uh, these two skins, uh, Michael. Well, this third skin, England will have to bet out of their skin to get to 36 and if they can do that then that total of 103 that they need will be much more easy and I feel uh, they have the two perfect batters to uh, chase down something like this they have the highly experienced Anish Patel who's at the strikers in now and they have Oliver Green as well so uh, if uh, there's anyone who can do it that can get to 36, it's uh, these two. So, uh, England, they'll still have their hopes uh, about this duo to uh, go all the way and make at least uh, 40 runs at least in this uh, skin because they need all the points. They have already dropped one point after losing that uh, first skin. Okay, so 40, 40 is uh, quite a good uh, total. Uh, so they'll have to really bet well. Because, Michael, uh, coming into this game, there's a difference of 5.5 between the two teams when it comes to the points table. So, uh, England, they need to make sure they get at least uh, all the six points possible because if they do get five points, they'll still be trailing. So, uh, that's why it's so important for them to make sure they get the points. They get the point in this uh, skin too. So, a very good... Uh, Spell of bowling from Daivik, just nine runs in his uh, two overs. He also uh, took a dismissal as well. So seven runs uh, coming from that first over. Ideally, going that uh, manner, they'll end up with 28. So they have to bat a little bit better. My side. runs to the total. Suraj ready. <coughs> That's the problem. Uh, unwanted there. Not good uh, communication between the two batters. Ollie Green it was all already halfway there. Is the replay? Problem is that was going straight to the fielder. There was early call of no, but uh, it, it was too far down. The problem was is, uh, Lexus, you have to turn and come back. That split second had a good throw like that to the back stump end is uh, always Why? hard to beat. And the problem is that wicket will uh, pick them back quite a lot. Two runs uh, that time because now they'll have to uh, depend on some big hitting they'll have to uh, try and get some fives or sevens uh, in the uh, remaining uh, 15 deliveries looks like uh, there might be a small hold up it's that line marking on the top net uh, has uh, come off They'll need someone to go up there. Guys, can we just and get the ball into the corner, please? Stick it up the there. Is. Guys, can you just put the ball into the corner wherever it's gone? Uh, it's over there. That's fine. No, no, that's fine. Sorry, guys. Sorry. So, uh, we'll go to a short commercial break until we uh, sort out the uh, issue with the uh, Indo net. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. 
But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Aladak Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now, <laughs> where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on View app at thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan. 
Western, and Chinese cuisine at a restaurant. Book your getaway now. Jati ka kanda yaman. Krida kin visya taktile na kala. Nelson Mendis Mahata. Mama yojana karano apy demo piyan. Cricket band gan na one nang yan na ekamata na ta. May lasant amar singa matna ge chance sports ayatane. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain. So uh, welcome back to uh, you, Pro Talwad Goda, as we are all set to uh, resume this uh, men's open encounter between England and India. We um, had a little uh, issue with the uh, side net and uh, it's all sorted now. So, uh, three deliveries to go in the second over. One dismissal so far in the skin. Six runs on the board. It won't be easy, Michael. They need 30 more runs and they only have 14 deliveries to go. So, uh, probably these two will have to uh, try and get them uh, close to somewhere around 60 65. And uh, hope the last pair can uh, do something extraordinary to get them the win. We might see a shot or two at the back net. They had time to regroup and uh, over, over. have a discussion of how they're going to face this. Yes, uh, nothing to lose here for England, um, Michael, because if they do lose, that will be curtains for them uh, completely because uh, India, as I mentioned earlier, if they win this, uh, they have the advantage of that uh, tight game against uh, Sri Lanka. But for England, nice they shot. lost both the games to England and they lost to Sri Lanka development. So, um, that uh, loss against Sri Lanka development, it was a hard pill to swallow for uh, England. I think, uh, I think that completely changed everything around for them in this England Asia Cup campaign. Yes, yesterday, they lost two matches on the trot, uh, both to the two Sri Lankan teams. And I, like you said, the development squad would have been a shocker. Sometimes it's hard to come back from uh, a thing like that. Yes, you're mentally really strong. Ten more deliveries in this uh, third skin. What a delivery. Great delivery there. Third ball batters, Completely third ball batters, uh, managed ball. to beat Anish Patel. Acknowledging the fact. Played well, played the down enough to uh, perfection there to get two more runs. Two more deliveries to go, 24 runs to get. That uh, seems to be far away now with just eight deliveries to go. No, in this uh, skin, uh, Michael, the Indian bowlers really up their game, didn't they? They bowled brilliantly. I mean, only one dismissal in this skin, but still. England, they have scored 14. I mean, even if we take those five runs, just 19 in three overs almost. Not many runs. I think in this whole innings, if you look at it, not a lot of dismissals. Just maybe one for each skin. But they have bowled really well. Now they have made sure they didn't give uh, them the room to free their arms and try to hit it down the court. And also, they have not given them the room to uh, play the down and ups. Because uh, they have bowled the Yorkers well in this game. They utilize the Yorkers well. That's uh, something that we didn't see teams uh, doing often in this tournament so far. But India, they have uh, sh shifted back to that plan of bowling Yorkers. Well, that way, if you miss it, you're definitely going to hit the stumps. It's not easy to play that down and up shot. So the update from uh, court to Sri Lanka with a comfortable win against Singapore by 90 runs. Sri Lanka scoring 134 and uh, Singapore scoring 44. And it's a clean sweep for Sri Lanka as well. So uh, Sri Lanka was a great, great uh, first round for them. A good uh, round robin stage and uh, now it all comes down to the final for them. And uh, they still don't know. Finals. Well and truly in the finals as an unbeaten team and uh, they still don't know which team uh, they'll face in the final and from the look of things at the moment it looks like it's going to be in there but never say never England they still have an opportunity well both teams have another match each but, uh, while Sri Lanka I think they'll have a good rest 
good uh, half a day rest uh, until the finals tomorrow. Sure, most of the players might want to get into the pool, chill out, get a massage, and be fresh for tomorrow. Small, small niggles. Well, because after playing so well, that oh, yeah. final is the most important one because how well you played in that round robin stage doesn't matter if you lose in that final so a must needed break for Sri Lanka and they'll be all charged up coming in uh, to the final tomorrow I think being unbeaten uh, a lot of boys the boys will have a lot of confidence third and whoever batters, comes ball, into the batters, final that's to see knows that they've been beaten out, twice by this ball. team and they know that it's not going to be easy so you're going to start under pressure get some Last decent ball, runs there too. So he has uh, still just the first, the beating only the second skin in the, uh, England. This uh, is also going India's way. Thank you, uh, as for a re-ball. 21 runs for the last delivery to go. Will Anish Patel try to go down the court? Will he try to go for an uh, for a shot down the uh, court here? That's the big question. Or will he just settle for two? And that's brilliant. Over Very well there. bowled. Over Coming in towards there. the right-handed batter. And that's a dot delivery to end the uh, third skin. India well and truly on top in this game. England, they have a lot to do in this uh, fourth and final skin. Fraser and now. Uh, they have to uh, better off their skins to uh, get this game in the favor of England. 46 runs to get in this uh, final skin. So at the Australia Sports Center, the center, Mbakar Murda, your number one sports center. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. This is the final skin of this game. When Duncan Norris, the chairman of English Indoor Cricket, was with us yesterday, he spoke about the aggressive nature of Nav Patel's game they need 44 to clinch this 44 yes, but uh, what they will be concentrating is uh, I think on that uh, 28 that's what they will want to end up if they can get 29 27 more required I think that's their target uh, it's the third ball now third ball. they'll want to take clinch uh, Two of these, two of the uh, skins, uh, definitely. No. One. Will we see a complete reversal of what happened in the first game between these two sides? England walked away with six points, only losing one skin. Thank you. And if England fail to get to 28 here, or fail to get to 29 here rather India will walk away with 6 points out of a possible 7 so most certainly the remaining 2 games for these 2 teams are going to be very important when England plays Singapore Sri Lanka plays the Devil, uh, Sri Lanka development team plays India those will be uh, much important for both teams get there safely if England lose this, they'd be hoping that Sri Lanka Dev <coughs> replicate their performance that we saw last evening. Good over by Pasha. Approach Pasha. Just the five runs. Fraser Bartholomew and Nav Patel. A lot of work left uh, for them to do. 24 required. 
24 runs are required of uh, three overs. Twenty-four more for England to clinch the skin. Forty-one more if they want to go for the target. Very well bowled by Suraj. With that line, these Indian bowlers have been prolific. Once again, brilliantly bowled by Suraj, but this time, Bartholomew is able to get off strike. They batted well so far. They have to keep up that uh, momentum now. They're picking up the, the ones and twos frequently. They're doing a decent job. Nine already they've got straight off the leg. A valiant attempt there by Jash, but even if you call it, I reckon there was no bet involved. Straight down the court. And a brilliant dive by Bartholomew. Great cricket all round. It's a lot happening there. Good throw directed to dive in. All for that one run. Every run counts now. Two hours remaining after this delivery. Over. Over. Just a dot ball. So that was a good ending. Much needed for India. Suraj ready as always. Uh, just the six runs. How can the umpire do a BW from up there? Yeah, I mean, I can how BW here. So I was watching the two walk back. I'm going to adjust the height. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. Can you up? Players ready, please. <laughs> Down the court again. Three. And a brilliant dive by Bartholomew. It's been his go to in terms of shot selection. That's fine, the skin. And well stumped the now Patel looking for an expansive stroke. And he missed it. That was well flighted, and there was a brilliant stamping. India really applying the pressure now on this final pair. Looking to walk away from this game with six out of a possible seven points. Which will negate their six point loss to England in the reverse fixture. Indecision, but they managed to get away with it and had three runs to the total. Sixteen more for England to get their second point in this game. Eight balls left in this innings. Thirteen needed of seven, Ricky. 
i til i gælderbad. They need to just knock it, each and every ball into that net. And uh, oh, that's our pitch. That's out. Over. That was good bowling. Now that was a uh, good cricket. Overall, good ball by Pasha. Good anticipation. It's slightly playing on the up. I think he was trying to hit that onside net. There you go. But just didn't get it uh, enough. Now that is uh, going to cost uh, England dearly, that wicket. Because now, what do we have? They have to get 17. 70 to tie this game, but 18 to win it. Of six deliveries. Play, Thank you. So over. even if you get uh, those uh, all two, still you're not enough. So ball. you have to have something special. That should be curtains in terms of the skin and the game, unless there's some really wavered bowling by Suraj in the final over. And provided that there are no exceptional circumstances here, India will walk away with six points. And that should also potentially seal the deal for them in terms of securing a place in the final with a game to go for both these sides. And I've, and I've just gotten confirmation from our stats team here that an Indian win with six points will definitely see them facing Sri Lanka in the final tomorrow. So there you go, five deliveries left. So India on the verge uh, of uh, cementing their place uh, in the final. That's why it was very important that England try to win all these skins in this game to take maximum points, but unfortunately they couldn't. There you go. England needed the maximum points uh, out of this game, or at least the four skins. Uh, if you want the four skins, means you win the match. But uh, they needed at least three. But unfortunately, uh, it's not gone their way. And India have uh, done really well. Uh, a good comeback by India after losing to England the other day. Since that win, England have gone downhill, isn't it? The wheels have come off, yes, Ricky. They look brilliant on day one against India in that final game of the day. But ever since then, the wheels have come off for England in their campaign. Out. It goes from bad to worse for the English. And that loss against Sri Lanka dev yesterday would have been demoralizing. So I think that's where things slipped away. They would have expected a win there. That win certainly cost them. Fix the base plate too, please? Another dismissal, Can that was of course out. Too, Can you fix the base plate, please? Thank you. Two balls so yes, play. we will be seeing an India versus Sri Lanka final tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a game like no other. Stop the left. Last ball. S the South Asian Last rivalry continues tomorrow but for the English they'll be well represented tomorrow the England women's side one of two teams that are unbeaten in this tournament yeah, so they have a chance of both teams to qualify for that final in the women's segment two. Sri Lanka have to Over. play the England yeah. Lionesses yeah. later yeah. today that's yeah. going to be a decider as well uh, like this game so two to end but uh, India have done well they have prevailed Danush Bashka finishing off uh, well now Batel and Bartholomew's just unable to get to that uh, 28. They fall short. They win only one uh, skin. England, uh, India won three skins and the game. So well done to the Indian team. Uh, England have one more game left against the Sri Lankan development. And they'll want to win that and uh, try to stick to their th third place. That's going to be a big one. In the meanwhile, Sing India have to play Singapore in uh, one game as well. 
later today. So those were the dismissals. Some poor shots, poor running between the wickets didn't help. And uh, this has been uh, hard fought, though. I England trying their best. But uh, England, uh, India, I thought, uh, battered much better, especially in those uh, two or three skins that uh, helped them uh, dearly. The bowling was sharp. The ball on the spot. And uh, Danush bowls the googly as well. We saw him... Uh, Ball the leggy, we saw him ball the googly, yeah. and he outboxed the batters. So there you go. That's the end of that game. England uh, losing and India winning. We'll be back in a short while for the next game coming up. It is uh, over 40s. Yeah. It's the Sri Lanka Masters taking on. Taking on Singapore. <laughs> Should be a cracker. Picture this. A majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is center in Bataramulla, your number one sports center. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View App.
and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> We now have the game between uh, Sri Lanka Masters and uh, Singapore. It's definitely going to be an interesting game. Bowlers change it over the wicket. Sri Lanka Masters needing to win this game. And Singapore really One. wanting to get on to a good start. Three runs on the board for Singapore. Just three balls remaining in the first over. <coughs> it's nicely played. Two, two. two more runs added to the total. Aruna is the bowler. White. That's outside Last the off star, wide away. Wide being given. Two more runs Thank added you. again to the Singapore total, takes it on to seven. Over, over. Singapore captain TC opening the betting with. Uh, Gaure Gulati. <laughs> Seven runs in said. the first over, exactly what which is said, a no. decent start. Players ready, please. Thank you. Why? Javed Farouk is the bowler this time. Nicely played by the captain. One. Just a single there. Dead ball. Well fielded by Dead the Sri Lankan fielders. Ball Taking dead. the Singapore score on to eight. I've oh, there the is uh, something like a cramp for the uh, Singapore captain. I've already stopped the clock. Thank you. A little bit of medical attention given. Singapore Facio is on the court. Eight runs on the board. Just a ball gone in the second over. Singapore will want to put up some a decent total against the Sri Lankan Masters. Sri Lankan Masters too trying to win this game. Eight runs on the board. We'll just uh, go in for a commercial and we'll be back once the play resumes. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. Ah! And through death become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. DS versus Manam. 18th one day encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on view app at thepapare.com. Let's get into it. 
This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star show right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. remaining in this over play yeah it's a continuation now of the game as we come back Singapore starting off well with eight runs we're in the second over of the first skin four more deliveries are remaining that's uh, the follow uh, bowling that delivery wide outside the off time but no ball being called Two more runs added to the total. Well, Michael, definitely uh, Singapore may, might be wanting to have a good start. Yeah, Polly, definitely they'll want uh, as One. much as runs possible. Eleven now in uh, the second over. Just two balls left. Well, injury to the captain has brought in a new batter into the Singapore. middle, Michael. That's just Singapore. Just changing their players around, trying to give everyone a game. That is the over. 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 Quiet over. So, Third two overs gone. The score is on Third 11. Ball. Please. So now uh, it's a Viraj is uh, Players ready please. Play third partner ball. Viraj uh, Swarup is partnering Gautar Gulati. As the two opening batters for Singapore. Nicely played on the two. offside. Thirteen runs on the board. We had a decent start without any dismissals. Sarangali and again it's a bowler. That's Viraj on strike now. Again two. slapped onto the ground Thank and you. onto the net. Two more runs to the Singapore total. Check them on to 15. Runs coming quite easily, uh, Michael, for the Singapore team. Well, one now they have, be, they have settled down, uh, Polly, and uh, getting it uh, this time just one run. This is the third over in this skin. So just two balls left. Uh, still a long way to go in this skin. One more over remaining. If they can add another well, 10 well, runs, they'll uh, have a decent start. That's a decent no. delivery by That's Saranga. Over. Over. So three ball overs gone. The 16. And a third ball situation created by the Sri Lankan bowler Saranga Lee. And again, gave away five runs and it's over. Gulati is on 11. Chris Chom on five, but... Uh, He's not the real batter on the field. No, 
it comes off the bottom wire and that's then that's batting with the number five thing. jersey uh, interesting to see whether Viraj just uh, innings finishes and whether TC Players can continue ready. the uh, next yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. Yeah, I'll fix third it. ball situation. Yeah, I'll fix it. If uh, TC Players is ready. going to continue playing, third definitely ball, he'll, to, he'll have to come with another partner. That's nicely put away by Two. Gulati. They get a run. Two added to the total. Is the bowler. What is important in Singapore batters is they're not going for big shots, just concentrating on getting Thanks those Gaurav ones and two, pitch, please, which is important Gaurav. for them. The the if they don't lose a wicket, put up a 20 plus uh, score in the Thank first God. kill. Garaj, would you like a re -bowl? Thank you. So that's a leg side. So two more runs added to the total and the bowler will have to re-ball it because it's the last over of the skin. The Masters uh, right on top. Singapore right at the bottom. No, keeper. So just in case of uh, the Masters wanting to uh, keep that winning streak going. Three left, you're up. They lost uh, to the legends in a game. And they must be wanting to continue winning the Sri Lankan Masters. They have done very well up to now. Oh, that's a good delivery. Batters, this is ball third moved ball, a little, creating batters. another third ball situation. Ball of the third needs to get on top of that. Uh, Singapore needs to get on top of this situation. It's nicely worked away Two down the leg side and over. they get it through. And pair. Two more runs will be added to the score. Taking uh, 23 on the first skin, which is a decent so total, Michael. Yeah, very decent uh, total. Not giving too many dismissals. Batters in the second skin is uh, Gopalaswamy and Vikas uh, Gupta. So 23 runs uh, which came on the first skin. It's a fairly decent total for Singapore. That is, this is third ball. Third ball. Third ball. It's uh, Mohammad Nasim. He's a bowler. So 
So 20 that with uh, with that uh, dismissal, the total has been pulled back to 20, and Five minus three plays. on this. Zaruk Nazim is a bowler. Cash, I can say your name, Mahalingam, I, I'm not great at, so I, I apologies. Sorry. <laughs> I got it now. All good. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Play thanks, guys. Two balls remaining. That's nicely played straight down the ground. That's a good shot. Like that. Seven. Uh, six runs. Last ball. Taking the score on to four and the total on to 27. That was a good hit. To the straight net. Over, over, they over. Get the poly. After that dismissal, they're getting those runs back in the next delivery. Say so Gopal and Gupta. <coughs> so the sixth over about to commence. The first two won the second skin uh, with a dismissal, so they would have produced nine runs, but uh, Gihan net Gihan amount is four. Thank you. Players ready, please. Thanks, Gihan. So it's uh, Gihan Gunatelika. He's a new bowler. I think he's trying to ask for. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Gihan. Play. Score on 27 now. Three. Again, well played. Three runs added to the total. Taking the score on to 30. Seven runs coming on the second stint at the moment. Singapore must be wanting to strengthen their performance in the second skin. They got 23 in the first. Again, hit down the ground. Oh, there could be a dismissal. Here's a run out there. The second one in this uh, skin poly. Well, earlier we saw the run out and then a six, a seven. Will we see the same thing repeated? He was just ball watching after going down the track. Good awareness by the Sri Lankan fielder. I think, Michael, the non striker should have gone on with the run. Well, it because it's difficult for the fielder to hit the ball at end stumps. But it went to the straight to the fielders. I think he would have said no. Thank you. If we need to, we can try and look and see what we can do. Play. That's the good delivery. Me. Well bowled. Just two runs still on this skin. Second over about to be completed. Two more deliveries remaining. I thought that was off the bat. I had it off the knee. Third ball batters, I had it off the knee. Third ball situation created. Third ball. That's nicely pushed away. Nope, didn't have the ball. Was well home. completed. Over. One more run added to the total. Three on the board. And this skin. Kihan Gunatelaka, one for minus one. The Gupta goes to minus two. And uh, Gopala Swami gets five. Net total is uh, three. Players ready. The body, the seventh over, about to begin. Uh, that's Sri right Lankan out, costing them a lot of. Uh, Whereas they could have been two runouts in this uh, skin. Ten runs uh, minus been around 36. Well, the Sri Lankan masters might be happy with their performance up to now. Ready, please. By dealing the Singapore team to 26. Thank you. After is over. Over. So what happened there? Players ready. No. No. It's not third Just ball. A dot no. ball. It's only one dot. Play. It's money Sean. Now Went it's third down ball. the leg side. Third ball. But uh, 
Third ball, Third ball situation. Ball. It's a dot ball counted as a dot delivery. Two good deliveries by Manisha. Plum, one scored. They managed to scrape through with a single, Singapore. That was bold dead straight, Polly. If not for the leg, that would have been another minus five. So four on the board. There's Manisha. Manisha, here on three. Down his crease. Two. That's nicely hit to the net. Get two in that. I'll say it one more time. The batter was out of your crease. So it's not a no ball. If Total you're on 27. The skin yeah. on four. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. But that two it takes on to 29. And the skin on to six. That's yeah. a bit of hesitation there, but uh, the Sri Lankan fielders. Managed to capitalize on it. Gets so that run out again. So this pair Last not ball. Uh, doing the calling properly. So now it has come down to 24. Maha. Last ball. Well, two hours of this skin gone. Still one run c uh, being added to the total Nobody in this skin. Please. Thank you. Play. Final ball. One more ball remaining. In the third over of the skin. Oh my goodness. Could be a chance again. Well, that it the went to the wrong end. Over. Came to the back stump and it would have been another run out. So that's the end of the third over of the skin. Manishan finishing off with one for minus two. That's good bit of bowling by the Sri Lankan bowlers. Keep in Singapore for just one run. Three dismissals in the skin. Total of play 24. Ready, they you. started off well with a 23-run skin. Ready, play, play. Most importantly, the score is also on 24. Yeah. Thank you. So Lakmal, the bowler. One run. Ball's turned around the, the wicket. Over. Around the wicket. The last over in this uh, second skin. Singapore needs to do something better. That hit stared down Three. the court. Well stopped there by the Sri Lankan fielders. Three runs. Taking the score to 28. Again, a bit of hesitation, poor throwing by the Sri Lankan field. Otherwise, there would have been a definite chance of that. Just a run added, taking the score on to 29 and the skin total on to 6. Should have just uh, lobbed that to the keeper's hands instead of uh, trying to go for that uh, ball. He was not sure whether to go to a direct hit or to throw it to the wicket keeper. Pasper has no wear, Polly, so he could have just lobbed that into the keeper's hands. Four. One time both were at the same end. So four more runs there. Now, Lakmal Vijay Ratna. Not out. That time. Last ball. But, uh, a bit of calling by the non-striker. Quick call allowed the time for the batter to get back into the crease. Thank you, Bigash. Uh, these ball. type of uh, ones are very crucial, Michael. If you get out at this stage. Over. So that's Over. the end of that skin. Absolutely. Just 10 runs on the board and uh, 33 the total. Whereas the third ball situation is also created. Lakmal Vijaratha finishing with none for nine. Welcome back, Viraj. Yeah.
Yes versus Mahanam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dynamic View app, and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports. Jati ka kanda yamat. Krida ke invisia takti le nakala. Nelson Mendis Mahata. Mama yojana karna apy demo pian. Cricket band gan no one nang yar ne ekamata na ta. Mai Lasant Amar Singh Mahatma ke chance sports. Aitane. ಜಾತಿಕ ಕಂಡಾಯಮಟ ಕ್ರೀಡಕೇನ್ ವಿಸಿಯಾ ತಕ್ತಿಲಿ ನಕಲ ನೆಲ್ಸನ್ ಮೆಂಡಿಸ್ ಮಹತಾ ಮಮ್ಮ ಯೋಜನಾ ಕರನು ಅಪೆ ದೆಮಾಪಿಯಾನ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ ಗನ್ನ ಓನೆ ನಂ ಯನ್ನ ಎಕಮತ ನತ ಮೈ ಲಸಂತ ಅಮರ್ ಸಿಂಗ ಮಹಾತ್ಮಗೆ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಯತನೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಬೀಚ್ ರೆಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಡೈಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಸರ್ಫಿಂಗ್ ಕಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಚ್ ವಾಲಿಬಾಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೂಲ್ ಸೈಡ್ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations experience unforgettable dining with sri lankan western and chinese cuisine at our restaurant book your getaway now 33 on the board after two skins Luxy out of the entire Singapore contingent the Singapore Masters have looked really good being able to compete against all teams they faced one two games both against the India Masters as well uh, yes indeed we were in uh, the best uh, Singapore side uh, on tour the uh, Masters team and uh, it has a lot to do with this keeper i believe uh, TC as uh, led by example is uh, such an animated character such a guy with uh, who can um, completely uplift the whole uh, momentum of a team single handedly and that's another dismissal so uh, yeah they have been good but uh, the last two skins i mean this skin and the uh, previous one uh, not so good for them so when it comes to the points table uh, we're in uh, singapore they uh, have won uh, one game so far after three uh, yep. games and i think Fire they uh, they Bye. played a game today morning or no yeah so yeah singapore they played a game today morning and uh, they managed to beat uh, india in that first game uh, of the day and so they have two wins after four games uh, singapore that's and what i thought yes i was a bit worried that i had had short term memory loss there <laughs> luxy like but so yes two good. wins both against india but uh, the moment uh, oh. sri lanka masters uh, they have uh, it's going to we're going to stop the clock yeah i think uh, yeah, yeah that's why i was worried three wins out of four games sri lanka and masters and uh, so india check. just one win and uh, sri oh. lanka legends they have three wins as well you wa- you wanna try so uh, singapore as you mentioned uh, they have Give been good minutes, they yeah. have been really good in this uh, masters uh, tournament but still probably it won't be enough uh, for them to uh, qualify for the finals tomorrow yes the singapore physio hard at work we've already seen tc cap the captain hobble off viraj here it's too late for us all right players ready Needing now a bit please. of a breather before Let's we resume the play. play thank you like side the masters have been Marvel. prolific the sri lanka masters have been prolific throughout this comp alongside the sri lanka legends both the sri lankan teams in that division only losing one game and that was against each other wide and over even stevens over. across their two fixtures yeah that uh, highly possible finale between the all sri lankan sides uh, i think uh, that will be a treat to watch i believe the sri lanka versus was a sri lanka legends uh, final So and if that's the case luck to see out of all the six teams featuring in the finals tomorrow half of them will be from the Sri Lankan contingent so that be brilliant with the Sri Lankan men's team guaranteeing themselves a place in the final no yeah, most probably it will be uh, more than half maybe because the uh, Sri Lanka women's team they have a good chance of qualifying for the final as well So uh, four out of six, Thank most probably, or oh, at least three out of uh, six. Anyway, so uh, yeah, a good campaign for Sri Lanka as the uh, host. And uh, the only thing that could prevent the Sri Lanka women from featuring the Open Women's Final is potentially an All England 
an all English women's final with England potentially taking on the England Lionesses. That's, that's, that's still the category that's quite open. Like, that's as the this moving day progresses, it's moving day because it's the final day of the round robin stage here of the England Asia Cup 2024 at UPRO Colombo. Swinging away at that, but there's been some brilliant bowling by Sri Lanka in the second and third skins. Singapore with Gaurav TC and then with Viraj chipping in for TC. Laying a solid foundation with 23 on the board, but as has been the case with quite a few teams in this comp, you have a poor and second and third skin and all your hard work in that first skin is unaccounted for oh, yes indeed and uh, talking about the Sri Lanka Masters uh, Miren, uh, Nuan Dinesh is the uh, best contributor he has contributed 48 runs uh, as a batter he has scored 37 runs and as a bowler is uh, the runs he has given away is in the minus over, side over. minus 11 so uh, Nuan Dinesh uh, is having a very good tournament and uh, Jalita Pereira with a contribution of 45, 64 runs with the bat, and uh, he has given away just 19 runs with the ball in hand. Right, and uh, the third uh, best contributor for the Sri Lankan Masters, Nishant Kumar, he has uh, contributed 40 runs uh, in this uh, whole tournament. 67 with the bat and uh, 27 with the ball in hand. So, uh, a good tournament so far for the uh, Sri Lankan Masters. Very much so. The individual performances backing up what they've done collectively as a team. Play is ready. Thank you. Play. With two overs left in this third skin. Nine on the board for Viraj and Ankush. One. and runs added in this uh, third skin uh, 11 more deliveries to go at a minimum they'll be hoping to double this over the next 11 deliveries of this skin and that's a direct hit brilliantly yeah, yeah. done I think uh, that was uh, Arjun for Sri Lanka with that uh, direct hit fantastic stuff and you've got to hit aim at the side nets here, Laksasi. You're looking for a aggressive stroke down the court and you pay the price for it with some brilliant Five feeling ready, by Arjun. Thanks, Anko. You should be ready to strike, please. Thank you. Five's ready. Now that uh, bounce and it uh, didn't Thanks, hit the side net. It actually strike, uh, hit the net Five. above and uh, it uh, landed uh, straight back towards uh, Arjun. And uh, he just had to aim it uh, straight towards his arms. One. And this time uh, the throw is not oh at yeah. the right end, the uh, non striker. He was uh, a bit hesitant to get going. So six runs, just six runs on the board, nine deliveries to go, 39 runs on the board, 23 in the first one, 10 in the second one uh, for uh, Singapore. That's tight. At that fielder, it was uh, Aruna. In fact, uh, made for mistake uh, when we got the team cards and we brought it down that one you did, so it was it Aruna anyway. the yeah, field yeah, that one ball definitely hits the yes our apologies there yeah. Aruna Nishanta wearing number Aruna Nishanta wearing number 77 for Sri Lanka That's where delivery of this uh, third over. Last ball, thank you. Last ball. The very well ball once again. Yes, it's it's Arun Nishanta wearing number seventy-seven for Sri Lanka. Leg side and over, over. End of the uh, third over of this uh, third skin. Eleven runs on the board for this. Uh, Third pair from Singapore Masters and uh, Zaruk Nazim. Look at that uh, bowling figures. Uh, just six runs going away, two wickets uh, he has taken. And an update from uh, 
sport number two, Sri Lanka legends struggling a bit against uh, India masters, but that uh, final skin managing to uh, give them some uh, momentum back 13, minus 6 and 2. A disappointing uh, first three skins where they had only 9 runs after the end of the first three skins and uh, that fourth skin doing the uh, repair work. Shire this time, sir. Close call. Yes, luck to see Sri Lanka Legends managing to salvage something in that final skin. And Singapore here on court one. Looking to build a decent foundation for their final pair to come in with. That was a quiet second skin for them, and it seems as though it's going to also be a quiet third skin unless they manage to get at least five or six runs of the next four deliveries. Yeah, yes, indeed, uh, we're in. And going back to the points table, so uh, just in case if uh, Sri Lanka Legends doesn't get the win against India and England do get six points out of that game, they'll go to 19, and uh, Sri Lanka Legends, they'll only have. Uh, 13 points if they do win at least one skin in that game so uh, that opens up a route uh, to India Masters actually to uh, think about a possible position in the final so Sri Lanka Legends need to be a bit careful here if they are to um, finalize that uh, spot in tomorrow's all important last game of the uh, Masters category so uh, things are getting really interesting here at uh, you, Prothal Vadgoda. So if you are on the vicinity, make sure to uh, pay a visit to uh, see some top quality indoor cricket action. As uh, 14 teams are battling it out for three titles in this uh, England Asia Cup 2024. Five teams in the men's category, five in the uh, women's category, four in the masters category. And uh, so far in the men's category, we all know what the final is going to be tomorrow. It's going to be Sri Lanka versus in India. And in the women's category, we still know about one finalist and that is England, the England senior women's team. And the uh, second side will be either Sri Lanka senior team or the England Lions as the England development team. And uh, in the Masters section, as I mentioned, still we can't guarantee which team will go through alongside the uh, Sri Lanka Masters. So uh, everything to play for, for all the four teams in this uh, Masters category so far. Last ball, thank you. Last ball. Yes, I see. That was a good break down. The tournament thus far. Play. Just have one delivery left here. In this third skin. That'll be one. And they managed to come out of it unscathed. Do the Singapore batsman. A very, very quiet third skin, Luxy. And for Singapore, it's important for them to finish on a high in this tournament. This could very well end up being their final game, but they've put on a brilliant display over the past four days, giving us a lot. Just be wary. I don't want you to, to write home about. Ones, okay? They've so with me here. beaten with India me. twice in both Thank their you. fixtures Close against ready. the Indian Masters. Let's go, guys. And they've Come looked on. very, very competitive in all their games. Oh, there's a penalty brewing. Players ready. Play. Play. And we have the final pair at the crease now, Akash. Two. Batting alongside Satya. Akash bowled a brilliant spell against India 
in their opening game today. But he needs to contribute with the bat. Satya did the bulk of the scoring for Singapore for their final pair in that game against India. But it's important, as you said, Lux, contributions in this format. You can't have a poor contribution with the bat and look to salvage it with the ball. You need to complement your performances with one skills in one skill set with the other. Because all your hard work with the ball can easily be undone with a few dismissals with the bat. Unlike in outdoor cricket, where one dismissal is the worst that could happen to you in an innings, as we've seen today, you can lose two or three wickets with hesitation, miscommunication, ball watching, just like that. There was an easy single on the cards. Satya, the non-striker, was already past the striker by the time the ball was gathered by wicketkeeper Farouk. And Singapore can ball ill afford that at this stage. They only have 41 on the board. And just have 20 deliveries left in their innings. Sri Lanka Masters some, uh, getting some good uh, momentum just before the final tomorrow where uh, we're in. Now for Singapore, this will be their last game uh, for the Singapore Masters. So, uh, for unfortunately for Singapore, they'll be the only team without a representation in a final tomorrow. So, it's very unfortunate. But the Masters team, they uh, battled out really well. They managed to beat India in both their games and uh, fought really well against the uh, two Sri Lankan sides. But uh, just uh, couldn't stay in the uh, right side of the result, unfortunately. But... Uh, Provided some very good entertainment, the uh, Singapore, main, uh, Singapore Masters side in this uh, England Asia Cup 2024. And uh, I have to correct something that I said earlier. The uh, finalists are confirmed in this Masters uh, competition. It's going to be Sri Lanka, uh, Sri Lanka Legends versus Sri Lanka Masters. So, uh, so fitting all Sri Lanka final. But I don't really mention for the Singapore Masters, like say, as I said earlier, out of the Singapore contingent on tour, They've been absolutely brilliant. Well led by Captain TC. And they'll be looking to finish on a high. As you said, two wins against India. Brilliant feat to write home about. And as much as was the case with the men's side and the women's side, Luxy, it's also a good experience for these masters to mingle with... The Sri Lankan so and Indian teams, countries that have played indoor cricket for longer. And we Thank hope you. that these masters go back to Singapore alongside the men and the women's teams and continue their progress. As we were saying on there yesterday, the only way Singapore will continue to improve as a side is by gaining more exposure and playing a lot more tournaments of this stature. It's Two. been a long week. It's been four days of Apple. intense cricket with not many breaks in between games. So kudos to all the contingents for giving us four days of riveting action. Over. Over. And it will only get better from here, Luxacy, as we approach the business end of the comp. As it is, uh, just uh, three games to go today, we are in, and uh, as we, as I mentioned earlier, the, the last two games of the Masters uh, competition is uh, happening happening at the moment, and uh, the uh, three games, the six games uh, that we uh, have remaining for the day, yeah, three games which we will uh, bring you the live action of, two of them will be uh, from the uh, women's open category and uh, one from the uh, men's open category. So here are the uh, remaining games in the round robin stage. Coming up next, uh, we will bring you the live action of uh, Sri Lanka development versus England game. And uh, Sri Lanka versus England alliances will happen in court number two. And then in the men's open category, India versus Sri Lanka development will take place and uh, in Singapore versus England game will happen in court two. And then uh, England alliances will take on Sri Lanka development in court number one. 
while Singapore versus England will take place in court number two. So uh, those are the uh, six games that will happen. We will bring you the live action of three of them. And then, of course, tomorrow at 9 a.m. we have the Masters final. 11, a 11 a.m. we will have the uh, Women's Grand Final. And then, of course, at 1 p.m. the Men's Grand Final. So Fly. a Thank lot you. of uh, mouth-watering clashes Thank coming your way place. on Sri Lanka's number Thank social, Fly. the Papare TV of uh, the England Asia Cup 2024. Speaking of riveting action, Luxy, that was a brilliant catch there. And the dismissals yeah. keep on mounting for Singapore. It's been an inauspicious start to this fourth skin. In the negative region Flies now, ready, Akash has Thank to you. back up Satya. Yes, he's in the side for his bowling prowess. But as I said Fly. earlier, all of his bowling prowess will be discounted with poor batting like that. Ball watching again, stranded, both batters stranded at the same end. And it's important for Satya to provide some mentorship and to lead this partnership. There are nine deliveries left in this innings. And Luxus is speaking about visibility. It's not just for the Singapore contingent. Why? The Sri Lanka development women's team haven't featured on court one yet. And in our next three, two of out of our next three games, we'll feature them on court one. A brilliant opportunity for them to feature live on the Papua TV, Sri Lanka's Five. number one sports channel. Last ball. And they have two very good and arguably the toughest opposition the yet. They have to face Last England, ball. the unbeaten side in that division on court one. And that will be an experience for them to over, cherish. Over. So one more to go. Javid Farud. A great uh, spell of bowling from him in this encounter. Has given away just one run and has taken two Fields dismissals. Course, from Singapore. Ball, a lot of uh, hesitation that we have seen from them in this uh, fourth skin. There we go. Thank you. A better throw there, Luxus, and that would have been curtains for Akash. No ball, keeper exclusion zone. The Sri Lanka Masters would like to have a clinical performance here, Luxus, no like to carry it forward through to the final tomorrow. You've got to bring your A game tomorrow, and as you said on air earlier, you can have an unbeaten run in the round robin stage. You can have the runs replicating those of England. Ball. The English women's side and the Sri Lankan men's side. You can come in unbeaten, and if it's not your day, and if you don't bring in your A game to a final and fall short, that will be unfortunate. So it's important that you continue and sustain this momentum going Two. forward. It will be interesting to see whether England resort to resting a few players in that game against the Dev women, Sri Lanka development women's side next or whether they stick to a winning combination to take with them through to tomorrow. Satya here knows that it's One. up to him to up the ante now and to take Singapore to a respectable total. If Akash bats sensibly, all he has to do is get Satya back on strike for the final two deliveries. Well played by Akash. Two. Sensible batting there. He'll rule those runouts earlier on in the skin. But it's Singapore have recovered quite well. They were in the negative region. Off the pitch, please. No, a few deliveries ago. Place. But Satya predominantly has taken them out of that rut. With a delivery to go. And the update from uh, court number two. Sri Lanka legends uh, struggling Excuse against me. India. Excuse India. me. Excuse they me. They have... Uh, Almost you, you, managed you to uh, get the win in, the in this the uh, first Thank skin, and uh, won't be much of a problem in the remaining skins we're in. Uh, I think that fourth skin will be the one uh, which will be a bit hard for yeah. India Masters to uh, get the point in. Over. And uh, I feel Over. that uh, they might be ending this tournament in a good note by winning this game against Sri Lanka Legends. Yes, that'll be good for India. And if I'm not mistaken, Laksisi, India are yet to win a game in the Masters division of this comp. But once again, Akash 
caught slacking there with the running between wickets and that cost Singapore just eight runs in that final skin post 52 which is a below par total here at the England Asia Cup 2024 they started off really well with captain TC Gaur and Gaurav who've been very consistent throughout the competition for them unfortunately TC had to hobble off injured and that might have put a dent in their scoring rate well, here are the uh, highlights from that uh, Singapore innings just uh, not getting it right from the word go uh, Singapore those uh, run outs the run outs uh, kept happening from the uh, first skin uh, we ran and uh, they just couldn't stop that uh, that is their problem um, in that uh, last game of the tour tournament and exactly. Uh, no, they actually been a lot better in the previous games, but uh, something seems to be a bit seem to be a bit off uh, in the Singapore Masters side in this last game. Probably the injury to uh, their skipper might have played a part in this. Yes, it can be a combination of things, Laxasi. But as we said, you have to be clinical with your running between wickets in this format. And if you aren't quick, if you aren't proactive, if you don't make early decisions in terms of making the right calls you will be penalized heavily and that was the case for Singapore and they just post 52 on the board should be a fairly straightforward chase for the Sri Lanka Masters on the on route to the final as in the Sri Lanka Masters they need 53 runs to win this uh, game the uh, last set of games uh, in the uh, final before the final of uh, the Masters category of uh, England Asia Cup 2024. So we will go to a short commercial break and we will be back with the uh, reply from Sri Lanka Masters. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. Jati ka kanda yamata. Krita ke in visi hatak tili na kala. Nelson Mendis Mahata. Mama yojana karano ape demo piyan. Cricket band ganna one nang yanna ekamata na ta. Mai Lasant Amar Singh Mahatma ke Chan Sports. Aitane. world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals, by your side. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is center in Bhattar Mulla, your number one sports center. Welcome back to your pro in Talwatukudahia in Sri Lanka. 
as uh, the second half of the Sri Lanka Masters was a Singapore game. Sri Lanka Masters needing 53 runs to win this game. So this <coughs> so it will be interesting to see how Sri Lanka is going to pace their innings. Their target. Two needed, 53 needed to win this game. The uh, skins of 23, 10, and 11, and 8 in the last skin. The lowest has come in the last skin, Michael. So they've been improving little by little, and Singapore have been going down little by little. You see the court two Sri Lanka legends uh, managed to get only 43. And India are 37 in the second skin. They got 26 in the first. So they are off to a good start. While here in the court one, Singapore got 52. Sri Lanka Masters are now four on the first skin. Just two balls remaining on the first over. Poor show by the legends, doesn't it, Michael? Well, uh, they're not uh, playing their full side, uh, uh, Polly. It, uh, Garmini Perra, Krishanta Piris, the skipper, all taking a small break, trying to give uh, the bench strength some game time. But Three I thought uh, Sri Lanka legend bench strength is also good enough. Three or four uh, changes. That was the first dismissal, so Sri Lanka Masters uh, down to minus one. That would have been in. Well, basically, both the Sri Lankan Legends and Masters in the final. Tilna Sirivardhan and Lakmal Vijayaratna. So this is like a, just a practice game maybe just trying to give the others a game it's uh it's uh, quite good to give the bench strength an opportunity to play in a game like this Akash, yeah. that's a good bit of fielding done by the bowler himself the third ball situation created again so Sri Lanka Masters have to come through this. They're minus one, their total. It's a tossed up delivery, easily put onto the net. They get two. So Lakmal Vijayaratna is on strike now. One run for Sri Lanka Masters. So 23 seems a little bit of a long way the second over in the first skin well and this uh, ball uh, poly they play with a new ball every inning so ball will also swing in the air I can understand the ball swinging Michael because there is a bit of shine in it and uh, it can swing but to turn that ball it will be my, my very difficult because that we slip two-piece ball poly the new ball is also not that uh, tough, uh, not like the leather ball. Balls are lighter. Lighter again, uh, might swing in the air, but uh, gripping the ball, which is uh, a bit difficult for a spinner, uh, even unless they get hold of the seam uh, really well. No, it's, it doesn't, it's not slippery as uh, like a leather ball. The leather ball has that uh, water, uh, like, a coat of varnish, but uh, this doesn't. Uh, it's not a big issue. It's just that you should be able to use your fingers and uh, get that turn. I see a lot of his ball in the leg spinner. The leg spin is the one that's easier to get a lot of turn. The off spin, you don't see a lot. Uh, you see uh, some of the fast bowlers, the medium pace is just using. 
even on the, the fingers leg, to do the cutters even on the leather ball you will not see much turn on the off spinner unless it's a really a turning track but uh, it's a leg spinner that's going to turn because it's a wrist spin so eight runs on the board for sri lanka masters that if you are good at using your wrist you will really enjoy bowling with this uh, ball because you can do a lot of things as long as your wrist position you have good control of that it's definitely even uh, the swing you got to move it from the wrist a lot of wrist work for the swing bowlers too and of course uh, there be a lot of assistance for the swing bowlers in this ball i would love to see I've seen a lot of bowlers moving it in the air. Someone like Alaja and Chamin Dawas bowling with this ball might be unplayable sometimes because it will swing like mad. Just think of uh, when I think of bowlers like Rajiv Benedict, my God, left arm. Chamin Dawas too is a left armer. This ball has really swung the ball, Jayanta Vikram Surya. Jayanta Paranathala. Some of the great swing bowlers Sri Lanka has produced. Had the presence of mind not to lift his foot. And now it's a third ball scenario. Sri Lanka Masters, 10 runs on the board. Two deliveries remaining on the third over. A little bit of misunderstanding there, this uh, field does. Allow the Sri Lankan batters to cross over again. Taking their total on to 12. So it's one ball left in the... Uh it's third over. Yeah, see the replay of that. Yeah, see the fielder was taking it easy there. You see. The ball is not dead. You can keep on running. So that's the end of that over. Anush uh, Verma finishing with none for four. Sirvodhana is on 11 and... Uh, Vicharatna is on one. Twelve on the board. The Gulati, Gaurav Gulati is going to bowl. Well, it uh, looks like this skin is not going to be easy for Sri Lanka. They need 11 more runs, 12 more runs to win the skin. Just six deliveries. Now it boils down to five deliveries. I think for them it's a matter of just winning this match and, and not... Uh, conceding more points so as Third far as ball the situation created <coughs> as far as the tournament is concerned they are already in the final and there we see code two scores Sri Lanka getting 43 and now 38 by the Indian legends Reball requested in that delivery, which was going down the leg side. That's nicely played. That's nicely played. So that's four. Runs. So now they have some idea. They saw that gap. And now they have the opportunity to get on top of this skin, and that's a dismissal. Oh, that's a bit surprising. I will look at that replay. Even I thought that was off the edge of the bat, but uh, maybe played onto the ground. Well, maybe umpire seen, would have seen something else. That's close. Hard to say from here, Polly, but yeah, uh, that's what I say. Uh, it's close. Mind have been a bounce ball. We never know. So twenty on the board. Two more balls remaining. They need just that two twos. Sri Lankan batters think of that. Be quite easy to get that. That's down the leg side and a re-ball. That's a gift 
for the Sri Lankan Masters, taking the score on to 22. Two more deliveries remaining. Now they will on course to win this uh, skin as well. well. That's a good delivery. Singapore still fighting. One more delivery remaining. And all they need is one run, Polly, because uh, the next uh, skin just 10 runs. So if they get that, they get the second point as well. That's nicely played. That's down to the straight down. That's the end of that over. And that's gone four. So Sri Lanka will win that first skin. Sirivodhana 23, Vijayaradna 3. Glad to finish with a uh, none for 14 in that over. So with the score at 26, uh, we're going to bring in the second uh, skin with uh, some change in voices. Experience world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals. By your side. The tricky skin is out of the way for the Sri Lanka Masters. 23, the most dominant skin for Singapore. And Sri Lanka takes that skin point. It should be a clean sweep from here, provided they play some sensible cricket. And the reason I jumped to the, that conclusion is that they've played very sensibly throughout this campaign, just losing one game. And that was against the Sri Lanka legends. So uh, two runs, Sri Lanka winning that uh, first skin where Singapore scored 23 runs. And uh, after that, uh, everything just went downhill for Singapore. So uh, Sri Lanka Masters uh, probably looking at a clean sweep here, Viren. Something that will give them a lot of confidence uh, before that uh, final. Meanwhile, the update from uh, Court 2. India, they have uh, managed to win the first two skins, but the game still hangs in the balance as uh, Sri Lanka giving a very good fight in the last over of the skin. They made just two runs in the third skin, and India, they are on one. So it's a very close skin. With India still being winless in this division, it'll be good for them to end their campaign with a victory under their belt as Aruna Nishanta and Manishan. Are at the crease. There was a nasty ricochet there off the net. But Arun Ishanta seems to be all right. At the end of the first over of the second skin, Sri Lanka adds six to the total. And as you said, Lakshasi, a clean sweep here will give them a lot of confidence and momentum going into the next game, especially because. They're coming into this game off a loss against Sri Lanka Legends, ending their unbeaten run. Just a reminder, out of all the teams here at this comp, there are just two teams that are still unbeaten, the England women's side and the Sri Lanka men's team. Yeah, out of all the 14 teams in the three competitions, it's uh, Sri Lanka and England uh, women's, as uh, we mentioned, the two only unbeaten teams in the... Uh, England Asia Cup 2024. So, uh, and also, uh, when it comes to the uh, three divisions, there's only one team without a win. Just one team. That is the India Masters team. And they're looking good at the moment to uh, register that uh, first win as well. But it's still really close. Yes, like I said, as I said earlier, they'll be looking to 
end their campaign on a high. But as the tournament has worn on, especially as this day has worn on, like we see a lot of players playing through niggles, starting to feel the effects of this very intense tournament. It's been four days of sustained cricketing action. We've got we've had some brilliant cricket on display yesterday when Garmini and Duncan were on air. They spoke about 70 slash 80 being a pass score. We've been blessed to see many games with totals in the realms of the high 90s to the early 100s. So that has been very good. There has been great cricket on in all three facets, batting, bowling and fielding. And there's been great energy on the court throughout the day. And uh, meanwhile, the latest update, uh, Virin. Sri Lanka legends, they have actually managed to defend that skin after scoring just two runs with uh, India Masters scoring minus three. So uh, India Masters just uh, making the job a bit harder for themselves here. Need 15 runs in that last skin. It was this skin that uh, made Sri Lanka recover. They scored 34. Yes, Saksi, and kind of explains why they have been winless thus far. When you have a skin target of two, those are gimmies, like to see, and you have to take them, you have to convert. It's the cr golfing equivalent of a gimme, the tennis equivalent of missing a smash, and the footballing equivalent of missing an open goal. Yeah, exactly. I think... Uh, you can't put it in a much way, any, any better way than that, what you mentioned. Miss out a golden opportunity there. I mean, uh, there was a clear chance for them to make it a clean sweep. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, they're just making the job hard for themselves. And uh, hopefully, Skipper Prasanna, who's uh, out there in the middle now, will uh, make the job a bit easier. It's one of the better batters uh, of the Indian Masters team. One of the most successful players of the uh, tournament so far. Meanwhile, uh, in here, in court number one, Sri Lanka Masters, they have slowly gotten into the lead in this uh, second skin. Yeah, with nine deliveries to go, they've already achieved the target. As long as there is no careless batting from here on in, that will be the second skin's point in the bag. And with targets of 11 and 8, Unless they miss the gimmies as well, like the India Masters, it should be uh, a clean sweep that they take with them through to the final tomorrow morning. Just a gentle reminder to all our viewers, tomorrow is finals day here at the UPRO Colombo. We'll have the over 40 and Masters division final, the women's final. And then the men's final to wrap up proceedings. Left bat and leg. Two. Over. Over. Yeah, the term over. Asia Cup uh, most of the time when it comes to cricket uh, ends up being a final between Sri Lanka and India most of the time when it comes to cricket. So uh, tomorrow in this England Asia Cup, Sri Lanka and India will clash it off in the uh, men's final. And... Uh, Hope it will be a competitive game. I know it's the England Asia Cup Laxisi, but let's take England out of the picture for a minute. In the outdoor Asia Cup final last year, it was a day to forget for Sri Lanka. And in the indoor version this year, we'll be hoping to make amends. Yeah, that's finally something that I've. I have completely removed from my memory, so there's no need to talk about that. <laughs> so, uh, 41 runs on the board. Last over in this skin. The good thing is, a dismissal here can bring uh, Singapore back in to a position where they can uh, defend this uh, below pass skin total of 10. I mean, these two battles, they have been very cautious. They have been um, very uh, patient when it comes to the, uh, the bowling department. They have uh, managed to pull things back and uh, give a very good fight to the Indian Masters. 
a really soft dismissal here, Laksasi, of the penalty mat delivery of the innings, which has opened the floodgates again for Singapore. Another wicket here of this delivery, and they'll win the second skin. So it's just important for Arun and Nishanta to just see this out. That's all he's got to do. Just missing the outside edge there, Ankush. That was a brilliant delivery by Ankush. Nearly finding the outside edge. And that would have been costly for Sri Lanka, but they come out of it unscathed. And that's the second skins point in the bag. So 11 runs, Singapore got in the third skin. It's where they need to get 12. And uh, Sri Lanka need 14 more runs to get ahead of the uh, overall total of Singapore in this uh, in the final encounter of uh, the group stage in the Masters category. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has a long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. Ah! And through death, become the city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. So, we raj the new bowler, Mohamed and Farouk, the two batters, <coughs> Sri Lanka winning, the Masters winning the second skin, and on course to take this match, but now just 11 in this skin needed to take this skin as well. Good afternoon, Polly. Good afternoon, Michael. Definitely, Sri Lanka will be wanting to... It's a narrow shave in the second skin, but Sri Lanka will be wanting to continue that trend. Very close calls, 26, 13, 23 in the first skin for Singapore, 10 in the second. Sri Lanka replying with 26 and 13. At the other day, that's what matters. The skin point has come your way. Well, if you get the skin by just even one run, you get the four skins and the win, then uh, you... Make a clean sweep on the points, which is offered for the game. So that's exactly what Sri Lanka Masters might be wanting to do, to make a clean sweep in this game. Uh, Singapore, if you see the skin totals, they have been dropping in every skin. Instead of getting just one run more on the third skin than the second. The performance of the first skin was pretty good. As one more run to the total. Five runs on the board uh, for this skin and 44 for the total. Sri Lanka batters taking it easy, taking their own time and getting on to this game. Nicely played that time. Three more runs. Taking the skin total on to eight and the team total on to 47. So they just need to make sure that they cover the skin. And if they cover the skin, they'll also get the team total pass. The Singapore total. You see Farud on six and Azim on seven, uh, five. Gupta ending his quota with uh, none for 17. 50 runs already on the board for Sri Lanka Masters. So now the 10th over. They see on court two, very close game. Just uh, six balls remaining. India on top. Legends Winning. Will, uh, the Legends will need to take, pull it back uh, 
probably that leads uh, two minus fives would help the cause. But so far, on court to India, Legends doing it uh, nicely. Well, India has won the first two skins, uh, Michael. And Sri Lanka Legends are fighting back. They won the third, fighting for the last one. Just six more runs needed in there for the final skin for India to win that. That's quite here. Two. The Sri Lankan Masters are piling on good runs. 13 in the skin. Probably in that court too, the third skin. Just getting two runs and managing to win that. Uh, that would have been a great effort, no doubt about it, by the Sri Lankan legends. But they didn't uh, get it, uh, enough runs, 43. There you are, the Indian legends. 32 on the board, one ball remaining. They need another three runs to win this uh, last uh, skin. It'll be interesting there. They finished off at 33. So Sri Lanka gets that skin because uh, 33 runs. One ball left. Okay, one more remaining, maybe a re ball there. So while here, Sri Lankan Masters getting 19 on the third skin. They're very much on top of it at the moment. 10 overs gone. Two more overs remaining also in the skin for Sri Lankan Masters to add on. So they see that code 2 game has ended uh, with a minus on the last ball. So 28 it has dropped down and the total dropping down to 57. So India uh, won that game but Sri Lanka Masters uh, winning those last two skins. Well, they must be definitely happy with that Sri Lanka legends. Two more was remaining in this uh, third skin here in court one. Singapore getting just 11 and Sri Lanka on 19 at the moment. I mean, this skin also basically in the bag, but uh, two more was left. Yeah, only thing the Sri Lankan masters batters should realize they should not get I any dismissals. That will pull their team total and the skin total back. If they can manage to bat the next two overs without giving any dismissals, then they're through with it. It's Viraj Leela Kumar. It's going to bowl on the 11th over. That'll be a no ball. That's a better delivery. I think this Viraj Leela Kumar is uh, playing as a substitute for the captain who got injured in the very first skin. I think in the very first two over itself, Michael, if I remember right. That's a wide. 62 on the board. I think it was the second over that uh, he pulled a hamstring and uh, bowling all over the place. Anyway, if he's part of the team, part of the squad, he should be able to bowl any time he will be called to bowl or play, even if he's going to play in the game. So, Viraj got to, that's a better delivery. Two. 
two more runs to the total. Sri Lanka Takes Masters won't mind it uh, where we bowls, uh, Polly. He's bowling those extra. Those wide there, no balls, uh, they'll take it. No sweat for them. Just one ball left in this 11th. So one more delivery remaining in this over. Two more runs to the total. Taking the score on to 29 in the skin total and the team total on to 68. As we come to the final over of this skin. Yes, you followed on 12. Nazim on 17. The two batters. The skin also well and truly under control. Only way the Sri Lankans can uh, lose this game now is uh, at least uh, they got to be dismissed at least four times, Michael. If uh, they, Singapore needs to win this game, they must uh, dismiss the Sri Lankan batsman four times in this over to pull back the total. So the Sri Lankan batters might be very much aware of it. They are well within winning this skin too. Oh, there could oh, be no. a dismissal there. Yes, they are. So one dismissal in that top now. Well, there was early call of no by the striker. But the funniest thing is the non-striker was running to the danger end. And it became... He had to turn back and run. Shankar Shank he called early. Well, but the batter has gone right down the... The striker had only to uh, respond to that call. So coming down to 63. Uh, down and up shot. Safe shot. Three more dismissals like that only can pull the Sri Lankan masters down. And they'll really have to bat badly, Polly. Three more deliveries remaining. That's oh. close again. I think he was in. Looks like Sri Lankan masters want to give it through. The way they are batting. Don't understand what the hurry is. It's going straight to the fielder. No additional runs needed. Just bat those two deliveries. That's down the leg side. Runs added for that. 28. So that's the end of that. Uh, one more ball remaining. 28 on the board for uh, Sri Lanka Masters in so this skin. 67 the total. This skin also wrapped up. So that's the end of that over. A third ball situation created, but uh, the fourth skin will be started with a third ball situation. Followed on 14, Nazim on 14. There is no for a third ball situation for the new skin, Polly. It's only for that skin. So there is no third ball situation. So 67 for Sri Lanka Masters. They're already on the lead in this game too.
It's the final skin in the Sri Lanka Masters run chase. Gihan Gunatilaka and Saranga Leonage, the two batters. The game is well and truly in the bag. They've exceeded the target by 17 and just require six more to clinch this skin. For those tuning in for the fun, is carried back to the third skin. And since Sri Lanka won that, they'll get two points. So it's safe to say that Sri Lanka Masters are truly on their way to another clean sweep in their final game before they return for the grand final tomorrow. And there's been an injury. Australia Sports Centre is centre. Mbakar Mulla, your number one sports centre. Talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. It's now the best. It's been an overly, it's been a very, very intense tournament. For all the teams and all the stakeholders here in this England Asia Cup, it's been brilliant cricketing action throughout the past four days. Bowlers end had to be replaced. They've achieved the target required for the skin within a span of four deliveries. It's unfortunate for Singapore that the wheels came off in this game, Luxy. I was looking forward to seeing them end their campaign on a high. They've been brilliant throughout the past four days. Losing their captain to injury was also a major setback. Captain TC has led his troops brilliantly for the Singapore Masters throughout this tournament. And it's unfortunate that he can't contribute anymore. Yes, it's the last game for the Sri Lanka women and then the I England Lionesses play the final game here on court one against the Sri Lanka dev team who feature next against England women and for the England, wim and for the England women's side it's, it'll be their final round robin game before they take on, before they return for the final tomorrow. They've been unbeaten, they've been absolutely outstanding. In this campaign thus far, small correction there, England will return for the final game to f and face Singapore. But for the English women, as I said earlier, one of two teams in this entire tournament to remain undefeated. 
if, and for both England and Sri Lanka, like to say, going in, Sri Lanka men, of course, wrapping up their round robin stage earlier today. And if the England women's side can hold on for two more victories this evening, being the unbeaten side going into that final would be a huge psychological advantage. Luxury, luxury, you're going to upset a few Indian fans here. Speaking about tomorrow, it's going to be three brilliant finals. Yes, like to see. On that, continuing the discussion on unbeaten runs and not being able to convert in a final. If I recall correctly, in 2012, in the T20, sorry, in the 20, 2009 T20 World Cup final against Pakistan, Sri Lanka had an unbeaten run through to the final and we lost out to Shahid Afridi's men at Lord's. It was a painstaking final for us Sri Lankan fans. And And yes, another example that comes to mind is, and Indian fans, I hope you bear with me on this, was India's 2014 World T20 run. When they came in as the undefeated side, and that's a final that Sri Lanka will never forget, winning in Bangladesh. Just over 10 years ago. So yes, Luxor, there have been countless instances where unbeaten sides have come. Luck has gone against them in the final. And, sp and you need to be ruthless. Speaking about ruthless teams, Australia at World Cups were absolutely outstanding. Go to 2007, 2003, 1999. Unbeaten runs that resulted in them winning the final as well. So, to just wrap up that discussion, England the Sri Lanka men's team won't be complacent going into their finals tomorrow. They'll want to continue to ride this wave of momentum and see off their campaign with a trophy in the bag. Thank you. The update from facing England Lions has in this all important encounter. A very good uh, first skin for uh, Sri Lanka, the senior women's team. Meanwhile, uh, Sri Lanka Masters registering a 32 run win against uh, Singapore, their last game of this tour. Well done to the Sri Lanka Masters side. And it's lovely seeing Singapore still being spirited. It's been a memorable campaign for them. Winning two games against the India Masters teams. The India Masters team, rather. It'll be a campaign they won't forget. And I hope they take with them memories to be cherished for life. And the same applies for all contingents 
who've come down here to Sri Lanka, India, Singapore, and England. We hope they've enjoyed their stay in Sri Lanka. And this was a comfortable run chase for Sri Lanka. It was just that first skin that was a tad tricky with Singapore posting 23. And after that, it was just going through with the motions and making sure they came out unscathed. So that wraps up proceedings for this game. We have three more games for you over on court one and the next game features the Sri Lanka development team taking on the unbeaten England women's side. We'll be back with you shortly. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to the way we die. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Sri Lanka development uh, women's team versus England women's team, the uh, national side. England, of course, uh, they have already registered their place in the beaten run so far. A dominant unbeaten run so far from them. Amy to take strike, which has been really good for India, in, for England in this uh, women's category. So, uh, they are pursuing with their normal opening duo, Roth and Amy. Eight runs in that uh, first over, Asangi Ayodhya, bowling that opening over for Sri Lanka. Yes, uh, this is uh, England, uh, uh, anyway, sort of uh, qualified for the finals. This is the England uh, senior, we could call it the uh, senior team. Well, uh, in normal terms, you could call that a double wide. That was uh, pitching way outside the, uh, on the surface. Well, I'm surprised that nobody uh, told this girl to come around the wicket. She's bowling left arm orthodox. She's uh, running in from an angle. And uh, how is she going to bowl at uh, this time uh, is a uh, uh, surprise to me. And that's uh, four runs, three onto the net. Isn't it, uh, Lux? It's, you know, somebody should coach at the ball from uh, left arm over the wicket. You know, coming left arm around the wicket, the natural angle. She's coming wide from the off side. So it's, uh, it's almost uh, imbalanced at the crease. Yeah, exactly, Ricky. Yeah, those are the things that you need to uh, work on. Work on. I think uh, the coaches have to do a lot of work as well, teaching these girls because they are young. They're still learning. You can see this uh, is a quite a young girl who is a bowling out there. A good start by uh, Ruff and Amy. Twelve for Ruff, ten for Amy. So these two, they have been very consistent uh, when it comes uh, to this first skin uh, for England. They uh, scored 44 each in the two games on day one. And then um, I think they had a 50 plus uh, opening skin as well in one of the other games. So uh, they have been really good, Roth and Amy, in this uh, whole tournament. So 
So we have Milin the ball in the second over. Quite sweaty out there, the heat. So it's indoors. Uh, it's very warm and humid. That's uh, quite easy uh, for the two openers. Uh, they'll, they'll just put them away all day, Ricky, if the length and that line need to uh, be a bit more fuller. They're just bowling it a bit too short. And uh, with their speed, when they're bowling at that length, uh, they'll just... Uh, That's uh, hammered away. Powerfully, I think there will be a five or a four that wins. Yes, another four. Well, uh, we must remember the development team with the swimming team were beaten by Singapore as well. Uh, Singapore, they, uh, the Singapore team, they struggled a lot. But uh, it was a big moment for them beating uh, the Sri Lanka development side, getting a win on this tour, I think uh, that uh, certainly did a world of good uh, for their confidence in yes, Indo certainly cricket. For the effort, they deserved it. Trying to get a win under their belts. And uh, the Sri Lankan development team will be looking to uh, try and uh, if they could just bring a surprise here. Like the boys did on the England team. Sri Lankan men's development team uh, yesterday beat the England team. So can the girls do it as well? Last one of the skin, 36 runs on the board. And uh, they have scored them without any uh, trouble whatsoever because uh, the Sri Lankan development bowlers, they have uh, failed to put any sort of pressure on these uh, English batters. It's they've been very short. Uh, it has been very easy for the England batters. They've been able uh, to uh, keep rotating the strike regularly. Already it's 40 on the board. Finally a dot ball. one going through the overs quite quickly two more levels to go in this uh, first game and that's a dismissal Amy trying to uh, play that uh, down and up trying to play it really late and miss it completely a straight delivery yes uh, she'll be disappointed because they've done so well just two deliveries left in the Goes down to 36. Kanchana Pereira, the captain, having a chat with the umpire. So, uh, end of the first skin of the uh, England women's innings 38 runs on the board and uh, one dismissal for Sri Lanka development. Harshi Vikramaratna, the new bowler for Sri Lanka. Skin, 40 runs on the board already. The unbeaten side here, pointers. And they'd be, as they look to sustain this momentum in the lead up to the final tomorrow. Sri Lanka development also a good opportunity to play against a good opposition. And uh, do they have an outside chance of coming into the final? No, unfortunately not. But as you said, Poynas, 
It's not often that you get to play world-class opposition in your home conditions. So this is an exp England. You see how she recovered at the nine for none. Frank Colwood on five, Ruby Millington on four. Justin Pierre. These pairs understand each other's instincts and calls. There has been no hesitation, miscommunication whatsoever. They're able to respond to their partner. And these, a, and these are lessons that the Sri Lanka dev team... Exactly, exactly. Is. That's the most important thing, the understanding of the partner. And batting together in pairs, give them that understanding. And that's exactly what England has done right throughout, maybe even at practice, they bat together as pair. And they've aced all the basics. We hardly see them doing this in terms of conceding extras. They don't give the batsmen or the batters any width. They keep sticking to that leg stamp line. It's a cauldron of fire for the Sri Lanka dev team. But they need to put the result aside and put in a performance of note. That's exactly. They got to keep on fighting. They might not win the game, but the experience they gather from these type of games is huge. And pointless, it's the first time that this team is featuring in con to be able to review these performances. It's a great opportunity for these youngsters. No doubt, they got to review this. They got to see where they have made the mistakes. And even the coaches will want to review these type of uh, videos because uh, they can learn a lot from these. During our playing days, we didn't have things like that. But today, all the players have these opportunities to review their batting performance, their bowling performance, how they maintain themselves in the field. All these things can be seen. And they're also then able to conduct a gap analysis against the opposition, see where they went wrong. For instance, when two batters are stranded on one end, you've got to convert and take those half chances. But there was a slight delay in the field. And the, and Ruby Millington and Calwood are able to get away with it unscathed. It's poor understanding by the Sri Lankan fielders there. You see, they got to understand this. They got to see how they can uh, rectify those mistakes. This is a good experience for them, no doubt. Opportunity to watch the videos and learn a lot. There you see, and again, I must have lack of concentration. They're too often, they don't understand one another in the field. Caught ball watching. Once again, there you go. Turning their back on the incoming throw. These are the basics that you have to grasp and grasp very quickly at this and level. And this is what I feel. You got to watch the ball where it is and where the batsman when trying to steal a single or two. That's where what is important. Keep an eye on the ball. Not allow the batsman that amount of chance to get those runs. And you have to be quick on the field too. If you're playing this type of cricket, this is not outdoor cricket. You have to be very quick and very agile. So end of that over. 68 on the board. One more over remaining in this uh, skin. This new ball is Kanchana Pereira. And kudos to the organizers, to UPRO, to Hiran Dimel, and the rest of the WICF delegation for putting together this England Asia Cup, giving teams a lot of visibility. You have Sri Lanka, this young dev team, given an op opportunity. You have the Singapore delegation, the whole contingent, given multiple opportunities on their televised games, games that can be watched from all parts of the world. And watching this video, especially the Singapore team, can learn a lot, uh, Viren. Well, they came good against the Sri Lanka. Unfortunately, that was played on the second court. But uh, had they looked at that and compared their performance on the other games, they would have been uh, wondering, what have we done? What went wrong with us? So Ex these things are a great experience for them, no doubt about that. Exactly, Pointless, and you stated something brilliant. 
it's even good for the coaching staff to conduct that comparative analysis. Second ten. England doing pretty well at the moment. Not a single dismissal in this ten. That's nicely played. Good bit of understanding between the two batters. So two more runs added. 38 in the first and 37 in the second. Skarchina Pereira finishing with seven for none. Ka 75 on the board and... Uh Paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. 75 runs on the board uh, for England against the Sri Lanka development in this uh, Open Women's Category game of England Asia Cup 2024. Stanley and uh, Dean, the uh, third skin for uh, England in this uh, encounter. That's a loose delivery down the leg side, but uh, she decides to go for the uh, down and up uh, behind the stumps. Takes the single. Thirty-eight and thirty-seven. So England really running away with this. Uh, so far, Sri Lanka need something in one skin at least uh, to uh, try and pull something back. Try to get some consolation. Uh, Stanley on strike against uh, the uh, Sri Lanka development. Uh, That's uh, Metmi Yasansa, the left arm spinner. Yeah, that has been the line that she has bowled uh, even in that last over uh, outside the leg stump away from the uh, batter and uh, it's a very too, too short too slow as well so they have ample time to hit it wherever they want onto those uh, side nets no pace in it so then you cannot afford to bowl that short you need to get it up uh, this time was it outside the off stump and uh, but then again Ricky that's two shot for two overs uh, Dean on five Stanley on three England uh, already through to the finals of this women's segment so they're playing could accumulate more points here and uh, Ricky yes didn't go to hand Been a bit steady. <laughs> Managed to bowl uh, a couple of dot balls and third ball now. Coming up. Oh, well bowled. So they get a stamp in. Beautifully done. Third ball situation. She had to get better ball. Sri Lanka managed to get something out of it. Getting uh, a wicket. Beaten in the flight. <laughs> she was nowhere there. That running down the track. Right, right. Goes to the uh, Sri Lankan bowlers. The development bowlers creating that third ball situation against this uh, English lineup and uh, getting a wicket out of it. That Good was uh, met, met me Sandeepa, Sandeepani, the bowler. Eight runs on the board, the total for uh, England, and uh, that's a poor delivery. Uh, a no ball. So 
न्यू बॉलर हर्षी विक्रम रत्ना एटी टू नाउ Again, uh, slow through there. Lots of time to go on the back foot. Punch it wherever she wanted to. Picks up uh, another four. Three off the net and run. Hammered into the ground. Down and up into the net. Up on it. They'll get to one, I think. Yes, it is. Ten more levels to go in this uh, third skin. Harshi more in this... Uh, Third over of the third skin. That's good batting. She's bowling. Uh, she bowls it short. That will give them a lot of time. Maybe too much time to play the uh, down and up. Uh, and that's what they have been doing. The English uh, batters in this encounter are trying to bowl these leg spinners, Harshi, uh, but uh, just can't get that uh, speed needed. To uh, create any problems. And neither the direction, isn't it? She's bowled wide outside the off stump or down the leg side. So nothing to fear for the batters. That's much better, but still lots of time. Lots of time for them to hit it into the net and cross over. So the two uh, batters are very comfortable. 18 so far, one ball left in the 11th over. A slightly better skin for Sri Lanka so far, this one. Dot ball, that's gold. Yeah, with that speed when she uh, away, so I uh, think uh, that's a last over, that's a second over, so she has given it to it. So just 18 runs in this skin so far in three overs. Sri Lanka, they'll be a bit happy when it comes to the uh, total that uh, this third skin has scored because uh, they scored 38 and 37 in the previous two skins. Yes, of course, uh, coming to you from uh, the uh, UPRO Indonets in uh, Colombo hosting uh, this event, uh, the England Asia Cup, organized by the. Uh, bowling the uh, last over of this uh, third skin, and it's a third ball situation straight away. That's a wayward throw uh, there. We need to make sure the uh, throws are spot on. I mean, uh, that's an area that they can uh, certainly uh, improve the Sri Lanka development team. Way out. Oh, gets a bit of turn. And some extra bounce as well. <laughs> Put in a lot of effort into that delivery. Let me, uh, Gunasinga. Oh, that would have played plum in front. Another, another good day. delivery. <laughs> another good yeah. delivery. If there was uh, no ball, uh, LBWs. So third ball. And uh, not the best of deliveries there, but they somehow get there. Not the best of deliveries, but uh, the better. For England pointers. Yes, Sri Lanka didn't do badly in that uh, previous game. Just 23 runs given. But the total has gone up above 100. Three more runs to the total. And the skin total moves on to five and the total 103. Once again, caught ball watching, turning their back on the throw coming in. And with the experience of Nikki Patel and Marish Bardo Short, they convert with that overthrow. Now, this is the difference between the England team and the Sri Lankan uh, team. The England team is so smart, they keep on their eyes on the ball. And the slightest mistake the Sri Lankans uh, make, they are ready to take that advantage. It's the ultimate test for the young Sri Lankans. Poynas up against a world-class team, a world-class outfit. And they need to play for some pride. You see how they call with the shot. They're on the move there again. There you see a bit of misfielding. They are very quick with their second run. And the worry for Sri Lanka is they're repeating the same mistakes 
being lethargic on the court. I know 15 runs off this over with a delivery to go. And also, we're going to see a difference in the English batters and the Sri Lankan fielders. The English batters are really enjoying the game there in the center, right? Whereas the Sri Lankans look a little lethargic and a little bit nervous also. Yes, it could be the caliber of the opposition they're facing, but it's important for them to relish this moment. You won't get these every day. You don't get an opportunity to face England every day. So yes, it might be very, very challenging, very, very testing. Y you might be pushing yourself out of your comfort zone in terms of your own game, but you need to enjoy being out there. That is what it's all about, that enjoy it when you're playing it. Two more runs added to the total now. Skin total moves on to 18 and the team total to 116. That's a huge total at the moment. Well on course to posting an insurmountable mammoth target. Just about 16 deliveries remaining in the innings. They put on another 20, 30 runs. That will be a big score for Sri Lankan ladies to chase. Sri Lankan development card. Playing their final game in the league stage. They have a one, one more game to be played. That will be played on court two, is it very? On court one as well, that will be their final game. And it's good to, that they have two games on a court that is being covered live. They weren't featured on this court in the opening three days. So that's the opportunity given to them. And especially play, playing against this uh, very strong England side. They can look at the two differences. How the England side manipulates the game and how they are up to against it. And after this game, they go up against England Lionesses. So you're going up against two international teams consecutively. A good learning curve. Definitely, definitely. So that's the end of that over. Seneca Hassan, they're going with one for 11. Mallory Bartosh on uh, eight and Nikki Patel on 17. Nikki Patel, the captain of the England team. Milindi as the bowler. Bowling the 15th over in the innings. She's led her troops brilliantly throughout this campaign, Nikki Patel. And provided everything goes their way, they should be the absolute favorites when it comes to the final tomorrow the outright favourites. They've been a class apart in this division, Paulinas. Most likely they'll be playing the Alliances in the final. Either the Alliances or Sri Lanka. And that game is progressing quite well on court two and Sri Lanka on top in that game. England Lionesses just posted 24 Paulinas in their innings. So Sri Lanka have an opportunity to not just get the three points for the win, but if they get a clean sweep, that will guarantee their pathway through to the final and we'll have an England versus Sri Lanka final tomorrow in the women's division. That's great news because uh, 24 runs only scored by the England Lionesses. Sri Lankan fans might be eagerly waiting to see the result of that game. Uh, and if Sri Lanka do go through, we'll have Sri Lankan representation in all three finals, with one very likely being an all Sri Lankan final in the Masters and over 40 division. But kudos to the England Lionesses as well, going up against an international side. And they've done really well throughout this tournament. And at the men's group, uh, Sri Lanka might face uh, India. They are the favourites to come in there. That will be a inter very interesting game. Most probably that will be the last game for the tournament. 
Sri Lanka versus India final with the word Asia Cup in it. For us, we've had bad memories of the outdoor final. And Sri Lanka will be looking for redemption tomorrow. Well, this is a different type of game altogether we're in. Got to keep your hopes on the Sri Lankan lads. Of course, whichever team plays well, they deserve to win. Not that the Indians have played badly. They have done well in this tournament. They tied the first game against Sri Lanka on 99. And the skins too, they got two each in that game. And they beat England comprehensively in their last game. But a word of note for the Sri Lankan men's side. Unbeaten as well throughout the campaign. And when Laksisi and I were on now earlier, we spoke about teams in the past in the outdoor format who've had unbeaten runs and taken that momentum with them through to the final. As we see confirmation of the court two scores with Sri Lanka well and truly on top, Polinus. It's definitely very poor skins there. 10, 1, 14 and minus 1. England Linus is managing just 24. Now when you see a board like this, Sri Lankans should uh, think about just getting their 1s and 2s not giving any kind of dismissals. They should play the way Nikki and Mallory are going about things right now, Pointers. And with a blink of an eye, they've already posted 47 in the skin. And a good example where, where you see them just slapping it down into the net and get allowing the other batter also to time to cross over. That's what is important, getting twos. They're not going for a shot straight down, which is rather risky. They've done the risk-reward calculations, and they know that this down and up on the offside, in particular, and leg side, as you said, gives the other batter ample time to get to the other end. So 21 for none. Kanchana Pereira, that's the end of the innings of England. They got 149, 51 in the last skin. That's a big total, isn't it, Virish? Yes, Poinus. Three very, very impressive skins. And if you're in the Sri Lanka dev team, you're sending out your best pair for that third skin. 23 is gettable. And if you can take a point out of England, that is a huge, huge boost of confidence going forward. Yes, exactly. That is the type of planning you should do. Well, you've got the scoreboard, you can see the skin marks, the totals got on the skins. And then, yeah, you're right, best to pair should be coming at the third skin, where the chances are more of getting uh, some points on that. So there you see the highlights of the innings. England batters starting off well, some good hits straight down also. Sri Lankans getting a couple of wickets. Pushing a little bit more. 38 runs they got in the first skin. And that was a dismissal. Very bad dismissal. Poor batting there, I thought. Completely missed the ball there, Poinus. But then this pair, Nikki Patel and Mari Bado Short, came in and batted brilliantly in their four overs. So 51 runs scored in uh, by these uh, those two batters really took the game away from the Sri Lankan development squad. So 149 to win this game for Sri Lanka. And uh, until we get back to the start of the game, let's go to the studio and have a, a commercial and we'll be back with you soon. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Those ways die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. 
get it sizzling hot off the turf. Here, the experts break it down, dig deep into the nitty gritty, be inspired by their greatness, relive all the scintillation. There you go, the Sri Lankan development ranches. A lot to get. 38, 37, 23, and 51, that last uh, skin. <coughs> so they will be targeting that, that third skin, especially 23. Started off uh, there, no ball. We have a four on the board. It's a trade to the field. Uh, on court two, England. Lana says uh, 10, 1, 14, and minus 1. So Sri Lanka have done uh, brilliantly. Already in that uh, first skin, uh, their progress to, uh, to 15. So well ahead, Sri Lanka will be looking to take full points, maximum out of that game, and uh, cement their place in the finals uh, alongside England, <coughs> which will be played tomorrow. Tomorrow we have uh, the open, the over 40 finals, followed by the ladies finals and then the open finals now this will be a good challenge uh, for the Sri Lanka development team Ricky a target of 150 that is uh, but uh, that third skin I believe they can uh, get a point out of this game uh, chasing to 24 that's uh, something for them to take forward to Trying to uh, finish a fourth place in that uh, points table. So first over completed eight runs, decent start. Laurentine was the bowler. Kanchana Pereira and Yasangi Ayodhya, the two batters. So uh, no dismissals in that first over. Already a better effort than that first game against England because uh, in that game. The Sri Lanka development side struggled a lot against um, England women. And uh, Stanley to uh, bowl this uh, second over face, Stanley. Ooh, down the leg side. Leg side delivery. Kanchana Pereira, the skipper for Sri Lanka development, would want to give the team a good start here. So far, so good from the uh, duo. No, they're just uh, keeping things simple, Ricky, not taking uh, any risks here. Just uh, getting those twos whenever they are available. So they haven't uh, done anything uh, fancy so far. <coughs> so that's good batting. You know, that's very sensible batting. I just wonder how they lost a game to Singapore yesterday. If they batted sensibly like this, I'm sure they would have got home. Fourteen runs on the board. Still in the second over. A good, loud call from the captain uh, to the uh, non-striker to not come for the run. Yeah, good start so far. So they don't want to give it away. The dismissal here. Last ball of the second over. And uh, Kansan Abera goes down the court. And uh, that's seven. Brilliant striking from the uh, Sri Lanka development skipper. Yes, that was a good hit. She had to reach for that one and uh, played uh, outdoor cricket in shot probably. She saw the field as a bit in. Sort of uh, thought she clears them that will uh, go off the top net and it did so. 21 after two overs. Sri Lanka on course here. Uh, Lux is here. All they need is uh, to bat proper now. 
and they may pull off this uh, skin off uh, if they don't get dismissed. Ruby Millington to bowl the next one. And they just need to uh, repeat what they did in the uh, previous two overs in the next two. Yes, sir. Uh, but normal cricket. That's a no ball, I feel. No, Kanshra Pair are taking the responsibility to uh, make sure they are on course. That's uh, something really good to see. It's 24 now. You see, they're just 14, 15 uh, behind. Easily gettable. When you have uh, eight deliveries, uh, or bigger about 10 deliveries, 15 runs is uh, certainly gettable in this format of the game. So, uh, Ricky, in that uh, previous match against uh, England, Sri Lanka development scored only 47, and uh, England scored 188. So, there's already improvement, 149 only certainly. that England could score. Third ball now, this is crucial. I need to get out of this, uh, need to make sure this is not a dismissal and uh, <coughs> well played, a good single taken, two runs added. Thirteen runs to get, eight deliveries to go in this uh, skin, more than possible here. If they uh, don't give a dismissal away and Kansuna Pereira once again. And uh, that's a dismissal. I think she had to pull the dive out there. She thought she was comfortably home. Given out, run out. That's a big moment uh, for England. They needed that to drag the score back. Oh, here's the replay. Well played into the upper net. Yeah, that was very close. Very close indeed. No, tradition that can go either way, Ricky. Yes, uh, certainly. Umpires, uh, the umpire went in favour of the field inside. Decent over, good one for Middleton. So 21, final over coming up in Sri Lanka. Have a bit uh, to do here. That was because of that dismissal. If they had that uh, five points, this game would have been much closer, this, uh, this skin. Because if he, she got home safely, the score would have moved to 28 because they won 26. So the uh, last over of the first skin, Amy, to all this, takes it on the full. This time misses the direct hit. One run added, 22 on the board. Five more deliveries to go in this uh, first skin. That might be uh, white. Well, it is a white delivery. Yes, it is. It's a 24. Four deliveries left. Oh, missed out there. Should have hit it hard into the ground that it would go over the fielder's head into the net. Unless uh, Sri Lanka pull out a couple of sevens here, be a couple of fives, they'll find it difficult now to win the test set from here onwards. Another dot ball. So third ball coming third up ball, now. Yep. Third ball situation here. It's a decent effort, no doubt about it, by Sri Lanka. Just that one dismissal that uh, cost them, I would say. Goes for a big stroke there. It's home safely. This is uh, Yasangi out there. So uh, Kansana and Yasangi, they'll be a bit happy about this effort, to be honest, because uh, they have scored 26. I think uh, that dismissal, if not for that dismissal, I think uh, it's a very, very good uh, skin for Sri Lanka development against England. Yes, sir, certainly. I just hope that uh, they will be able to get uh, in that uh, get over the 23 in the third skin. Probably this is uh, their best bear when it's come to batting. So they have got 26. Decent uh, effort that one dismissal certainly would have cost them. Ferreira 16, Ayodhya 10. 
So there you go. 37 is what they need to get in the second skin. Let's get into it. This is Hits Now. <laughs> where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. So star right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. A brilliant first skin there for Sri Lanka development against England. Yes, they may have lost that skin. But if you told them prior to them coming out to bat that they'd post 26 in that opening skin, they'd, they would have taken it. Fantastic signs of progress, pointers. Yes, definitely. They would have had 31 if not for their dismissal. They played very well. And now it's uh, the second skin they got to concentrate on. 37 uh, put on by the England team. Sri Lanka development might be wanting to give a fight at least on that too. And they will definitely target that 23 run mark on the third skin. Yes. Hopefully they haven't sent out their best battles in that opening skin. Pointers, because if so, they will root the missed opportunity. Because there's a third skin coming up. And that 26 would have been enough to get them a point in this encounter. As we have a third ball scenario straight away. And as Garmini was saying on air earlier, this is the last thing you can afford to do as, an, as a batting pair. You can't. You can't put yourself under undue pressure by having third ball scenarios off the first over. Yes, they get off with it. Get off with a single. And these two batters got to bat sensibly. See, if they got up to 31 without that dismissal, they would have been a better show there. They had the opportunity at a certain time. They had the chance of coming up to the 38, but then uh, missed that opportunity. But two balls remaining on, on the first over of this skin. Still the batters have got only three runs. A brilliant over from Fran Colwood. The new batters for Sri Lanka are Metmi and Netmi. A fantastic opening over in the second skin by Fran Colwood. And we have a third ball scenario once again. The second third ball scenario <coughs> in the second skin. And we've just had six legal deliveries. An update from court two. Sri Lanka won that first skin comprehensively. Well on course to winning the second skin as well. And they're looking for that clean sweep that will cement their place in the final tomorrow against England women. Six balls remaining in that second skin. They see a good run taken there by the Sri Lankans. Taking the score on to four in court one. Well, they got to bet sensibly, get uh, as much as possible they can without giving undue dismissals. That should be the idea in this development uh, team batters. Exactly. You don't want to undo all the hard work done by skipper Kanchana and Yasangi. Nitmi and Nikki are the batting, trying to get some runs here for, now again a third ball situation will be created. Janika Roff in operation for England, batted brilliantly throughout this campaign. Usually opens the batting with Amy. Well, they managed to get through that single to come out of that third ball situation. Five runs on the board, still a long way to go. That's nicely played, a bit of misfielding there by the England fielders. Helping the Sri Lankan batters to cross over for a single. A 
and that was unfortunate for Netme. He rebounded off the net, and it was an easy pickup to dislodge the Bills. It's nice to see words of encouragement from the skipper, Kanchana, by the side net. That was an easy pick up for Ruby Millington. Nikki Patel is going to be the next bowler. Well, Sri Lankan devil bun score in this game has been brought down to one. With that dispersal on the last ball of the previous over. That's a tossed up delivery. And let me just covering her way. She didn't read that at all, did she, Poynas? It was tough to gauge the flight there. Well bowled by Nikki Patel, the skipper. She might become and wanting to come down the wicket. That's all she got to do. Quite unfortunate for Metni once again not reading the flight. And there's a nick. And well caught behind the stumps. You see the replay of that. Or oh, getting the outside edge of the bat. And the wicket keeper did very well to hold on to it. So Sri Lanka development move on to minus four. This is where the panic starts when you go into the minus level. That's again another toss up delivery. There you are. It could be another one. And that's where experience counts. Pointers. They know that there's a bit of difficulty misreading the flight. And Nikki Patel continues to capitalize on that. Having a stranglehold on proceedings now. Well, I think we're in the, the batsman should not allow the ball to bounce. She, she should come down the wicket and meet the ball. Because it's so much tossed up, plenty of time to come and meet it. And Nithmi, what the, the mistake Nithmi is trying to do is she's going to stay at the crease and trying to... Be, once the ball bounces, it's going to get create an, uh, a good amount of lift. And then it's going to be really difficult for her to play the shot. That's played a lot better. D reading the flight of it, and as you said, those are the basics, Paulinus. So we managed to get a single to bring it down to minus seven. Next match is India versus Sri Lanka development love team. A men's game to be played on court uh, one, which will be covered live by us. Fantastic bowling, well flighted leg spinners, which are tough to read. And if you allow it to bounce, that's what's going to happen. It's going to spin away and it's going to make things very difficult for these two batsmen. Still trying to apply their trade at this level. And we have another third ball scenario. Well, if you allow it to bounce, you've got to go right back and then chop it. Allow it to come up and then chop it hard into the ground. And play it late. That's exactly what... Uh, Duncan Norris was telling us playing late and he was telling I can remember he was telling uh, how Virat Kohli and Joe Root was playing late. Yes on a spinning track Joe Root if you see him batting he really plays it late. Watches the ball very well gets onto his back foot. That's exactly what you got to do if you want to play late. Giving ample time to see the ball turning and then you can play it. Great sportsmanship on display there. Unfortunate incident, but she appears fine. Attempted that slap on the leg side, the down and up, but completely mistimed it. She got it on his face, but uh, she's okay. Just, uh, you'll see. It's a good slap, but uh, unable to keep it away from her. But it's great to see 
Sri Lankan still fighting it out there. Paulina says we have another third ball scenario. The pressure keeps on. I, I, I mean, you have great teams like this. They don't relinquish any pressure. You yeah, see the scores on the court too. Uh, Sri Lanka doing very well, and that's another dismissal here in court one. But that was pressure created on here with that third ball scenario. She got to run. And we see the court two, Sri Lanka doing uh, very well in uh, winning both the first two skins. 27 each on both skins. And well on course to winning the third skin as well. And in these third ball scenarios, you have to play at it, Michael. You can't afford to let a freebie go through to the keeper. Because it's an easy run out at that end. So minus 11, the Sri Lankan total in this skin. The team total going to 15. All the hard work done on the first skin has been taken up. As far as the total is concerned. Unfortunately, yeah. after that first skin, they would have wanted to put up a respectable total. But as you said, Paulinas, they're undoing all the hard work done earlier on. And we have another third ball scenario. Experience world class healthcare in cutting edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Haymas Hospitals. Haymas Hospitals, by your side. Experience world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. So the third skin and uh, straight away a wicket for England and uh, that is Senuki who uh, gets run out first dismissal of this third skin and straight away they go into the minor stage. This is the best chance that Sri Lanka have to win a skin. 23 is uh, the target but they started off very poorly. So can these two batters still uh, get it together? Certainly can and get these uh, 23 runs. <coughs> we see uh, one of our colleagues uh, uh, down there, Lux City, intensely watching this game. He, he looks very serious. Yeah, Michael Adams out there. Mere court one. And... Uh, Mickey, uh, yeah, you know, what was Michael Adams uh, doing there? Was he, was he advising uh, the uh, Sri Lankan girls uh, next to that uh, court, uh, Luxus? Yeah, maybe just maybe because uh, he's someone with a lot of experience in uh, Indo cricket as well. <laughs> now, coming back to the game, uh, Ricky, uh, you know, for Singapore during their games, whenever there was a skin that they thought they can chase down, they made sure that their two best batters came out to bat. But I'm not quite sure whether Sri Lanka are doing the same here. I, I feel that the first skin, I think uh, they would have been the ideal pair to yeah. uh, try and get the uh, win of the third skin. Yes, uh, Kanjana Pereira, the skipper, I think is the best player they have in this lineup. So ideally, we would have thought that she would have battered this skin because they are unable to win the game. But uh, all they could do is uh, try and win this skin. And uh, once again, straightforward. Uh, unfortunately for England, they spilled that chance. That would have been another opportunity you could see now this pair the way they are batting they are not looking to hit the side net they are just looking to hit straight they are looking to go downtown instead of uh, trying those uh, twos uh, which they are better off with and also uh, Yasangi who batted with Kansana looked really good played those uh, down and ups really well so uh, I think Sri Lanka got things wrong there they really should have uh, sent uh, that pair right now the uh, skin that they have a possible chance of chasing down. So, uh, 
a bit disappointing uh, when it comes to the planning aspect uh, of Sri Lanka development there. That may be called a wide. Gets away with it, I think, the bowler. Sri Lanka have work to do here. 22 more required. But they have uh, enough delivery to do that. See, once again, uh, a big swing across the line. I mean, what's the intention? Where is she trying to uh, hit that? All she needed was just open the face, uh, jab it into the net on the offside, into the corner net there, and uh, go through for a single, isn't it? I just uh, not getting it right at the moment. And... Uh, Really the non-striker went for it. She took her chances, crossed over. Uh, I really don't understand what happened there. I think uh, she was too late to go for the stroke. I think that arrived a lot earlier than she expected. Another miss. And uh, that is finds that out? the outside edge, no. Luckily, the rebound uh, doesn't go straight into the hands of that closing field. So, third ball. You see, the, the shots they're playing are not the in the cricket shots, isn't it, uh, Lux? Is it? I mean, for us, just watching from outside, you straight away you could see a huge difference. They're not playing that uh, down and up shots at all. Uh, they're playing uh, even when it's outside the off stump, they're playing a traditional cut <coughs> straight into the net, not down into the floor. Right, the pull shot, they're hitting it high into the net, not down and up into the floor. See, running down the track, all she needed was to stay in a crease, just tap it and go. So these are mistakes, uh, crucial mistakes, but these girls have to learn. Uh, uh, also, what I'm surprised is after watching the cricket played over the last three days, since Sunday, now today's the fourth day, that they, they haven't properly learned. They just sat down and watch what the others are doing, how the masters are playing, how the legends are playing how the England girls are playing. You know, and uh, learn from their mistakes uh, to get better. But uh, they have kept repeating uh, the same thing over and over. Oh, exactly. I mean, um, yeah, forget about the other teams. They have an example from uh, they're their own team as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's playing really well. And even Yasangi, she looked uh, levels above uh, all the yes, other and batters. And, and her, their other team, uh, the senior team, you know, they have uh, played some very good cricket as well. So it's a learning experience, learning curve. So without, uh, you know, must uh, what they should do is make maximum use of these few days to learn from others. That's that's the experience. It's not just coming there and playing, but off field, off court as well. Learn as much as you can, you know, for for the future. And, uh, and uh, that's I think that's the main reason why this team was inserted into this tournament, the Sri Lanka development team, to uh, make sure that they are sp further smoothen their arsenal in Indo cricket. So there you go, they get one, <coughs> but another slog across the line. England certainly the better side, no doubt about it. They've been the better side in the entire tournament in this women's segment. Sri Lanka missing the plot here to try and get a, a skin. Yeah, exactly, um, Ricky. As I mentioned so many times, they got things wrong. Kansha and Yasangi, they should have come as the uh, third skin batters. They miss a golden opportunity to uh, get a point uh, from a good team like England. Once again, just uh, not reading the deliveries of Nikki Patel at all. Nikki Patel giving a lot of fair and uh, pitching it really full, asking the batters to come down the track, and uh, they are completely falling onto that trap. So again, I mean, why she's just doing the same thing over and over again. You know, it's like uh, the target is 149 in a 20 overs. You know, in a T20 game, we have to keep going, get uh, eight runs per over. You know, that sort of a cricket here, which these girls are playing, uh, which is uh, sad. Because yep. uh, I'm sure they've had some practice leading up into this tournament. Advice uh, from senior pros, uh, from the coaches. Um, I mean... Let's say for a certain extent, I do understand why she's trying to uh, come down the track because Nikki Patel exactly to that batter only. 
She's uh, pitching it really full uh, while giving in the ball a lot of air. But she's not even trying to play it with a straight bat as well. Just trying to heave it away while coming down the track. That's the main mistake here. Nikki Patel causing a lot of problems uh, for the Sri Lankan batters. Minus 10, three dismissals. Paulina says uh, that uh, she's the best bowler in the e England lineup uh, right throughout this uh, tournament. And I think uh, she's uh, done justice, isn't it? Led the team from the front, Nikki Patel. Now certainly the best bowler of the tournament for uh, England. Just led by example, especially in the bowling department and even in batting, uh, Ricky, whenever there was an opportunity, she made sure that uh, she contributed. And that's uh, those are the signs of a very good captain. Another and wicket. Uh, another wicket. Uh, again, cross batted, <coughs> trying to hit a big shot, I think. <laughs> Not just trying to tap it into the net, top edge. She was nowhere there to see a big hoik across the line. <laughs> These girls uh, will have a lot of work to do before the next uh, assignment they have against the international sides. No, the biggest question for me, Ricky, is that she's not even trying to change things, just playing in the same way, the same way, repeating the same thing. Finally. Gets one into that net. Gets a two there. They've been on minus the right throughout this uh, skin. She's uh, still trying to hit it out of the park. An update from court to England Lions has posted in just 24 and Sri Lanka with a dominant victory. On their way to a dominant victory, we can say. Looks like it's going to be a clean sweep. And uh, yes, the sir. third skin lens for Sri Lanka development. And uh, a disappointing effort by the two batters, Senuka and uh, Mili. Senuki and Milindi. Rough with another good bowling uh, performance. Two dismissals for minus three. So just minus five. Harshu Vikramaratna and Netma Sandeepani, the uh, two new batters for Sri Lanka for this fourth and final skin. Four overs away from the completion of this game. And England are on course for another clean sweep, asserting their authority over proceedings once again. They've already asserted their authority over the competition. The unbeaten side in this division. So the last King Sri Lanka development squad will not have a chance uh, in the way they have been playing. 51 runs scored by the England batters. And as Laksi was saying earlier, Poynas, this is where strategy comes in. You had your best opening pair with Kanchan and Yasangi. You should have sent them out in that third skin looking to get that point. And a point against England, a, a point against a world-class team would take this young side a long way. Yes, definitely. That has to be good planning, not only by the team, the team management has to plan it well and decide on who is going to bat and what pair is going to start off, things like that. Definitely we saw Singapore doing something like that at one stage uh, when they sent their best batters to the weakest uh, skin and they got the point on that skin. Exactly, and there was a lot of communication off court. We saw that with coach Prabash and Captain Rachel of Singapore. And they were very, very tactful in their decision making. And that's another wicket. Well caught there in the front court. That was very well taken off the net. Good anticipation. And that's where muscle memory kicks in. You know exactly where the ball is going to end up. 
A great catch by, fr by Fran Calwood. They're keeping the eyes on the ball very well. That's what is important. And that's another one. That's another one. Very well taken. And a second catch for Fran of consecutive deliveries. And Ruby Millington strikes again. She's uh, in line with the hat trick. And ball down the leg side. Sorry, that was Lauren Dean. A brilliant over by Lauren Dean. It's two for two, her bowling figures. Archie Vikram Radha minus one. And uh, so that's the end of that over. Minus six in the skin. And uh, four for the team total. All the good work done in the first uh, skin has been taken away as a team total. Just four runs there, uh, we're in. Yes, Pointers, it's unfortunate because we were looking forward to seeing a fighting display. And uh, as Ricky was saying earlier, it's a tad disappointing because you'd expect these teams to have had a good run of practices in the lead up to this tournament. And they would have loved to have applied their trade to the best of their abilities, but that's not what we see here. We see some reckless batting, terrible shot selection, and these are areas of the game that you need to work on. Well, yes, uh, to a certain extent, that's right, Brian, but uh, match, match experience, match practice is also needed. Uh, this is where they get this opportunity is to go and play against top opposition and uh, the Sri Lanka Indone Indo Cricket Authority should be congratulated on that for providing them this opportunity and these girls should take the maximum use of it. That's what I feel. Exactly. And it's not us being too harsh on them. We are very proud of their efforts. And as was stated earlier, that discussions off court as well will be grateful if they can if they can come off the court, have chats with the likes of Nikki Patel, have chats with Amy Corkun, Danica Roth and the rest of the English side and try to gain something out of it yeah i'm sure they must be very free and they sh will definitely help uh, these young girls if they approach them so that is what uh, should be done and i don't know whether that's happening this is the opportunity for them given to them to talk to them and get the maximum out of them exactly and we see that in the ipl as well pointers after games just yesterday or the other day the whole mumbai indian squad all the youngsters hovered around MS Dhoni, trying to gain everything possible out of him. And I'm sure the Sri Lankan youngsters should follow suit because this is, this is breeding ground for good training plus a decent opportunity for them to enhance their skills. Yeah, for an Indian young player, talking to MS Dhoni is uh, an opportunity. So they will definitely not miss out on that. They will try to gain the maximum out of him. Such a lot of experience behind him. And you know, we, when we see him captaining the side, well, he has a vast knowledge of the game. Exactly. And it's also a good opportunity for Kanchana Pereira, the skipper of this side, to speak to the other captains around. The likes of Nikki Patel, Rachel Nanaraj, the international players who've come down and gained some insights on leadership, especially when it comes to indoor cricket, decision-making strategy. Brilliant footwork there by Amy. So four runs uh, for the Sri Lankan development squad. Three balls remaining in the 15th over. Total of 14. When the, on the other court, we see the Sri Lankan team doing pretty well against the English Lionesses. They have won almost all the skins. A total of 102, whereas England got just 24. It's a third ball cre created again. One ball remaining in the 15th over. Even though this was a steep learning curve for the Sri Lanka dev team, these are the basics. Preventing 
the recurrence of third ball scenarios in quick su succession, making sure that you don't apply too much pressure on yourself by being bogged down at one end. So 15 runs on the total, 5 uh, for the skin total. There's the Sri Lankan uh, team coming winners in this uh, court too. Winning all the four skins. England getting 10, 1 and 14 and minus 1. Whereas Sri Lanka got 27, 27, 19 and 29. A total of 102. And yeah. looking at the permutations, pointers, that wraps up our lineup for tomorrow. All six finalists are now confirmed. It will be England versus Sri Lanka in the women's open division final. We'll have an all Sri Lanka over 40 and Masters final between Sri Lanka Masters and Sri Lanka Legends. And we wrap things up with the India versus Sri Lanka men's final. Well, Brian, you'll have all Sri Lanka final in the Sri Lanka Masters versus Sri Lanka Legends game. But still, remember, it will be a keenly fought out game. Neither side want to give anything out. They will be fighting for every run, no doubt about that. It will be a battle on who becomes the ultimate masters and legends out there for bragging rights for the rest of the year. Well, we got two other good teams. Well, Sri Lanka and India playing in the men's final. Well, that also is definitely going to be a great game. That was the only tie in this tournament which uh, took place in the first round game where Sri Lanka and India tied their game at 99 each. And then again... The England uh, team taking on the Sri Lanka team in the women's final. So three excellent games on the card for tomorrow. No doubt. Keep watching and enjoy the games. And there was a stellar ambience. And if you're around the area, do come by to U Pro Colombo tomorrow. It's going to be three riveting games. And that wraps up proceedings here. It was a difficult game for the Sri Lanka dev side as expected against a world-class outfit. Team England who continue their rampant run in the England Asia Cup 2024. And both these sides have one game left today. I won't be surprised if the English side looks to rest a few of their players because it's a late game this evening followed by an early start tomorrow in the grand final. And Sri Lanka Dev will be back on this court. They for their see final game. They see a couple of highlights in the Sri Lankan innings. They got off to a good start in the first game, but then fell short in the second, third and fourth. There was no chance there. Good bowling by Nicky Patel, the Sh English captain, tossing that ball up, inviting the batters to come and take her on. But the Sri Lankan batters decided to play from the crease which is no way of playing. Either they should go right back and try to take the bounce on, but uh, they see someone dancing down and coming, missing completely on the third ball incident. Pressure applied uh, by the English fielders, getting good catches, and that's uh, exactly what happened in this game where Sri Lanka went down to England. Sri Lanka development squad went down to England and they see the handshakes out of the game. And looking ahead to what's in store for us here on court one, India versus Sri Lanka development on court one. And then the final game will be England Lionesses taking on Sri Lanka Dev. We'll catch you shortly. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter 21st April at SSC Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View App 
at thepaparay.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals, by your side. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is center in Batar Mula, your number one sports center. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. No star shake right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. So as we come back uh, 
live dispatch to be sri lanka development versus india final game for india and here we see the points table so far in the men's uh, open the current standing sri lanka have finished their matches 1 8 drawn 1 with india 48.5 well, they are sailed into the final. India is in second place. Won four, lost two and drawn one. 32.5. Certain to be in that uh, final because uh, the maximum points you can get is seven. And England, 22. Won three, lost four. A shocker by England losing to Sri Lanka development. And England still on 22. So even if they get uh, all seven points, they just finish on 29. So safe to say Sri Lanka and India have made it to the final. Sri Lanka development on the other hand on 15. And Singapore just eight points. So oh yes, Michael, uh, the uh, final is uh, confirmed for the Open Men's category. It's going to be Sri Lanka versus India tomorrow taking place here at uh, UPRO uh, Colombo in the final of the Open Men's category in the England Asia Cup 2024. So uh, that's the points table. And uh, we still have some time remaining until the uh, beginning of this encounter. So uh, we will head to a short commercial break and we will be back with the live action from this uh, sixth game of the day. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app at thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. Jatika Kandam, Kridakin, Vizia Takilinakal, Nelson Mendis Mahata, Mama Yojanakar, Api Demopian, Cricket Band, Gano Oninang, Yan Ekamatanata, my Lasanta, Amarsinga Matmagi, Chan Sports, Ithane. Experience. 
world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals, by your side. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is Center in Bataramala, your number one sports center. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Bruce Wayne must die. And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. So welcome back to the live action uh, from this uh, encounter between Sri Lanka development and India in the England Asia Cup 2024. Sri Lanka development, they'll be batting first and uh, they'll want to uh, continue the momentum that they have created from yesterday. They managed to beat Singapore, they managed to beat England and also they won a skin against their seniors yesterday. So uh, they'll want to continue that uh, Sri Lanka development. The uh, captain of Sri Lanka development, Charlie He'll be opening the batting alongside uh, Mudita. Good evening, Michael. Good evening. So, I was thinking that India might rest a few of their players, but uh, looks like most of them are playing. Now, probably that uh, result where Sri Lanka development defeated England might be uh, playing a part in that uh, of them playing their full side here. And they'll want to uh, go into the final uh, with a good mindset, with a win here. 
No, I was just wondering, finals coming up tomorrow, but then they're playing the last match. They have time till one o'clock. Just to give one or two of their main players a rest. Because even if they lose this, they're still in the final. But they won't want to. So, uh, not the best of starts to begin. Two deliveries down the leg side. Four runs, four free runs given away to Sri Lanka development. And in court number two, uh, we have England taking on Singapore. Both the teams playing their last game of this tournament. Uh, England, of course, uh, a disappointing end for them. Uh, they managed to beat England in that first round, but they lost to them in the second round. That uh, loss against uh, Sri Lanka development uh, clearly dented their whole uh, progress in this tournament. So well, looking at uh, some of the names, uh, Luxessi, looks like they have decided to rest a few. Don't see uh, names like Devik, who played against England, men, which was a very crucial game. I think uh, Amar and Ashik. Amar uh, is also not there. Amar and Ashik uh, are playing in this game, I think, uh, from the team that played against England. Yes. I think uh, they have rested uh, Daivik, the uh, vice captain, and. Uh, Arjun? Yeah, Arjun is not playing. And they have brought back Adiraj for this game. Adiraj, uh, he actually captained yeah. the side in the first two games. So, uh, some changes made by uh, India in this encounter. And I think uh, Karthik is not playing here as well. It's about three changes. Basically. Three changes. Uh, Karthik, Arjun and... Uh, Daivik not playing uh, while Adhiraj has returned. Amar and Nashik getting an opportunity. So Amar Singh, he's the uh, bowler. I think, uh, yeah, he is bowling this over. Eight runs from the first over, not a bad start for Sri Lanka. Development. But the thing is, uh, let's just say, they need to get their players all match fit in case someone breaks down. Uh, they need to do it there. A direct hit uh, probably would have been the first dismissal of Sri Lanka development. Three runs for Mudita. 11 runs on the board. A good start so far for the uh, Sri Lankan youngsters. And uh, that goes down the leg side again. So two more free runs. Six runs that they have given away uh, through leg side deliveries uh, in there. Just not getting their directions right here in this encounter against Sri Lanka development. The wicket keeper clearly not happy. Asking them to be more accurate. In uh, delivering, once again, very good from uh, Charlie. Mudita and Charlie are really complimenting each other, running between the wickets uh, brilliantly. 14 runs on the board, two more deliveries to go in the second over. The first skin for Sri Lanka doing really well so far. But another thing is, uh, the, the reason resting a few players is they know that uh, the development and the main team, both are coached by Asela Patilala. So he will be having an eye on this game, an eye on some of their players. And I'm sure some of the Sri Lankan players also may be hanging around here just to have a look at what to expect. So India won't be wanting to yeah, show probably. everything that they have to put out tomorrow uh, definitely definitely michael because uh, when it comes to an uh, when it comes to an india sri lanka final it's always intense it doesn't matter whether it's indoor or outdoor although that last outdoor final was not that intense i think uh, this game tomorrow will be very very close so why to uh, bowl this uh, over the third over no dismissal so far so uh, no hiccups from uh, sarathan mudita can they continue this for the next two overs? That will be the big question. A short delivery. And uh, Charita puts that away quite easily. Two runs added. The update from uh, Court 2, England. 29 in the third over against Singapore. 
and once again too short last time he was just train down the left side with a short delivery and this time he was outside the off stump with a very short delivery where Mudita managed to uh, play the down and up quite uh, convincingly so two more runs added four runs quite easily in this over the third over and at this time a miscommunication Charita can he go no I think uh, the run was there, Charitha really should have gone for the run because uh, Mudita made it quite easily and if Charitha didn't hesitate, I feel that he really could have gone on to make the ground in the non-strikers end. Just the replay. I think uh, yeah, he really should have run uh, from the word go. He just hesitated, that hesitation really costing them. But uh, Charitha was very clear to Mudita that uh, for not to come to that run. but. Uh, that really uh, messes things up uh, for this uh, first skin from Sri Lanka. The score goes down to 15. And uh, we are in the third over. And then Charitha having a word with uh, Mudita. And they need to make sure that they don't do the same mistake again. Because uh, they have batted so well so far. It's just that one mistake. And in Indo cricket, all you need is just one or two deliveries to completely change the whole complexion of the game. And uh, they don't want that to happen with another dismissal like that Laksa say England playing for pride so they might be really wanting to finish on a high Singapore will have to be really on their guard or else it's going to be a thrashing Yes, indeed. Uh, England, I think, uh, will be really disappointed about how things uh, went out after the two points yesterday for the whole day. Go away with this, uh, go away from this tournament uh, with a clean sweep against Singapore. I think that will be their main intention to end the tournament on a high with seven points from that game. Just to, you know, tell themselves that they are much better. You know, just a bad match or two. The Indo cricket, just one bad over. Two bad skins, to be honest, against Sri Lanka development that uh, really um, messed all their plans against uh, the young Sri Lankans. And also against India, they had uh, two bad skins, as I remember. So uh, it's a matter of uh, those bad skins that they had in both the games, which uh, clearly played a huge part uh, in England getting eliminated. But uh, credit to India for making that great comeback. Uh, they lost to England in that first round. But in that second round, they made sure that... Uh, they prove to everyone that they are a better side than what they showed in that first round. So, uh, yeah, that happens in international cricket uh, in whatever the format is, uh, Michael, whether it's outdoor, whether it's indoor. These international teams, uh, one day, one will beat another, and the next day, the result will reverse. And I'm sure that uh, would, would have hurt their pride because they play with a lot of passion. I'm sure any team plays with a lot of passion. You don't want to lose any game that you play. Because uh, just that uh, losing to the Sri Lankan team and then immediately after that, few games later, in their very next game, they lost to the development squad. Unfortunately, they're a very good side. And like you said, just two, two skins. And I think there was... Uh, well spelled doomsday for him because uh, even if they won today, it would have still been hard for them to uh, get into the final. So two more deliveries to go, Michael. 21 runs on the board. And almost, he almost stops it on. They don't need another dismissal. So uh, that's the end of the first screen, of the first screen for Sri Lanka development. Charlita and Mudita putting together 21 runs, one dismissal. The first two overs were good, but uh, they struggled a bit after that dismissal. Probably a bit cautious uh, to make sure that they uh, don't give away any more dismissals. So 21 runs on the board, a decent start for uh, Sri Lanka development. Experience 
world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals, by your side. Dilshan and Kavin, the both batsmen off the mark with the uh, twos, sit in the net. Yeah, Kavin carrying forward the uh, legacy of his father in Indo cricket. Such a talented youngster, Kavin is uh, a brilliant uh, batter. An equally good uh, ball as well, and so useful in the field. Still very young, still in school, playing the de development squad. He'll he'll be able to get a good experience out of this uh, success. Yes, indeed. The uh, son of uh, Sri Lankan head coach Asela Badrana. And Michael, if I'm not wrong, Asela Badrana played in that World Cup final in 2004, right? Yes. Uh, the one where Sri Lanka almost had the game, almost had the World Cup against Australia, but just fell short in the uh, last skin of the game. Played in a few World Cups, uh, Laksasi, but uh, unfortunately had a bad injury in Dubai. They went into a net and needed uh, surgery with uh, some. Uh, screws in his knee which was the end of his uh, playing career and uh, up to date doesn't even take part in the masters uh, or the legends games because uh, that injury was pretty bad he was uh, basically bought uh, to Sri Lanka on a stretcher in the flight couple of screws in his knee so had to give up uh, playing yeah although uh yeah, he's heavily missed in the uh, Masters uh, arena, but uh, he has done an amazing job uh, making sure that the Sri Lankan national side keeps on producing some uh, brilliant talent in the Indo cricket arena. Because uh, you can see uh, how good the Sri Lankan national side is uh, with the way that they played. And I think they qualified for the semi finals in the last World Cup as well, the Indo World Cup. Yes. So, so they're ranked uh, uh, higher than most of these teams that are playing in this uh, England Asia Cup. Yeah, uh, all the best to coach Asela Patrona to uh, continue his amazing work. And that's a no ball. Mm. Two more runs added. 13 runs uh, this pair has added so far in nine deliveries. Vijay is the bowler. Very, very strict on, uh, on fitness. I can remember sometime back uh, some of these guys, uh, people like Shevon Fonseca and uh, there's a Malshan Rodrigo also played uh, for Sri Lanka, unfortunately working in Doha, so not being able to come down. This to tell me, fitness was a killer with uh, Asela Patirana. Yeah, just like in the outdoor game, uh, Michael, it's so important in Indo cricket as well. I think it's more important in Indo cricket, the fitness levels, because uh, this is a very fast moving game and uh, you need to be so quick that you need to make sure that your fitness levels are high because otherwise injuries can happen at any second. Yeah, and it's not like the outdoor game, uh, Laksasi. like if you're a batter, you're just, if you have an injury, you are just given only two minutes. It's not you have to come out of the court uh, and uh, basically your match is over because they'll have to replace you with, uh, we saw that happen to TC in the earlier game. <coughs> where the fielding side nominates but someone to bat the balance overs and he can continue after that uh, batting his quarter of overs. And uh, ball round his legs. Kavin Badran, unfortunately, a brilliant delivery. I think uh, it was Vijay who bowled that delivery. 
think uh, he spotted the mistake uh, Kavin was doing. It's Suraj, Suraj, the wicket keeper for India. Because uh, Kavin, he tried to play that sweep three times earlier, didn't work out. And Suraj made him play it once again. But this time he changed his uh, line and he made sure that uh, it went on to hit the stumps. Well, you see his stance also, it's a wide open stance. But still, when the ball is ball, he gets his leg outside the, the off. See so that stance there. So yeah, that's the, uh, I think that's the uh, problem of playing the sweep because if you miss that, there's a huge chance that that will disturb the woodwork. You need to get your foot just covering the stumps because here there is no problem. You can't get out uh, LBW if you're pay playing a shot. Fifteen runs on the board for the skin. Two more deliveries to go in the penalty tour, and that's another brilliant delivery by Suraj, yoking the youngster, changing his uh, line of attack completely after that dismissal around his legs. This time, he uh, it's it's a straight yorker, and it uh, disturbed the uh, middle stump of Kavin Padrana quite convincingly. Suraj turning the heat on here completely. Uh, Let's see, he, he can, we can say he had completely managed to uh, turn things around in this uh, second skin. Well, that's what happens once you lose one wicket. The batsman get into a different frame of mind. He's batting very well. Now he's gone to two. So minus seven and two wickets there. So yeah, he, he has scored 12 runs in this uh, skin. But uh, only two to show because of those two dismissals, uh, Kavin Padrana. So last over of this game, just 10 runs on the board for them. 31 runs the uh, total for Sri Lanka. Vijay Gowda, the bowler. The new bowler. And Dilshan, there's a good uh, down and up uh, towards the offside to get two runs. Ishan uh, didn't get uh, much of the strike, to be honest, in this skin. I mean, uh, he was batting so well until, until that last over. A good dive there. That's uh, two more runs to the total. Just need to consolidate now in this over. And that goes uh, down the court and a misfield. Good presence of mind for the striker to call him for a run. Thought that would have been a dot ball. Adilshan was well aware of what happened there and made sure that uh, they got the run because they need the runs here. They lost 10 runs in the previous over. Very well played there by uh, Kavin Pathurana. Slapping it hard down the ground uh, towards the leg side. Two more deliveries to go. Can they get to 20? Dilshan once again went down the ground and uh, that time the fielder was there. He went for the right option and there was a little collision as well. He went for the right option uh, going down the court but uh, they had vibe of there. I think uh, probably the tallest uh, field of the Indian team and uh, it was very easy for him to make the collection there. So one run at it, 17 runs on the board. Here's the replay. Straight to vibe and uh, the direct hit uh, is uh, not uh, on target. So the last uh, delivery of this eighth tour cuts it away and cuts it away really well. Two runs to the total. 19 runs from this uh, second skin. Nilshan and Kavin. Two dismissals as well. So Sri Lanka, they are on 40 after the end of two skins with two more skins to go.
Sri Lanka development getting a 19 in the second skin. They got 21 in the first, total of 40. The new batters are Supun Pereira and now Arun Kotituakko. Well, India already qualified for the final in the men's uh, event. We will be wanting to show their capabilities. Arof Pasha, the bowler. Well, they're about to start the third skin. First ball, he gets a wicket. Completely beaten and bowled. So Sri Lanka development start with the minus. In the third skin, played on. So starts off with the minus five straight away. Polynes, you walk into the count box. Sri Lanka have lost the wicket. Good bowling, isn't it? Ricky Sims wake up. Ricky Sims just got up. Oh, certainly, Polly. Two games. Uh, this game and the one following uh, which is going to be live no impact on the finals this England versus the development team and then we have uh, Sri Lanka girls development taking on England Lionesses well in court to England uh, playing Singapore see Singapore has done well in restricting England uh, for 17 in the second skin Sri Lanka development here 39 on the board Minus one in the... And that's another beautiful delivery that time. Another wicket to fall. So that uh, Sri Lanka will go down to minus six. You see the replay of that. No chance of playing that. Wonderful delivery. Yes, sir, certainly that was quick as well. Beaten for pace. Right through him. So Sri Lanka devil one minus six at the moment. Two balls remaining in this ninth over. Another quicker delivery, really bowled well. Sri Lanka batters have been struggling. That's another good bowling. Good delivery. So that's the end of that over. Third ball situation created. As uh, Afros, uh, two for minus six. That's his bowling figures. Supan Pereira minus one. Arun Kodituako minus five. Yes, sir. Uh, excellent over. Fantastic uh, bowling indeed. They got uh, decent uh, scores, uh, 21 and 19. Ashik Christie to her ball the next one in the first two skins, but uh, on the back foot here in this uh, third and third skin. Well, India already qualified to the final. They'll be playing Sri Lanka in the final of the men's uh, tournament. The Lionesses uh, will be England. England will be playing Sri Lanka in the women's. Uh, and in the Masters and Legends, uh, Sri Lanka Masters will be playing the Sri Lanka Legends in the final. That's all these three games for tomorrow. Sri Lanka development 36. We're in the third skin. That's firmly driven. There could be a chance of a run out. But a bit bit of misfielding there. Good fielding at the end. I think he just restricted it to one. Did well. Yes, definitely it was good fielding, but uh, the time of throwing it, he missed uh, the ball there. It went off, uh, off his hands. Had the opportunity of getting a run out. 
to Sri Lanka development still on minus two. Best cricket. We might be wanting to do very well in the final tomorrow. The wicket for good catch to the anticipation. To a player in the air, going to hit it up on it. Didn't get the, the distance he was looking for. I think he was looking to play it much straighter. Sliced it into the net. Judged it well. That was a very well taken catch. So sorry, Sri Lanka devil, but moves to minus seven now in this skin. And their total goes down to 33. Just a delivery left in this 10th over. At the end of that 10th over, so I think it's the one for seven. Supan Pereira minus 3 and Anand Kharitu Akko minus 6. The pros uh, Correction there, Aaron Kodituako. 33 on the board. Putting the Sri Lankan development side of the back foot at minus 10. The IC on court 2, England coming up to 95, 34 runs of the third skin. against Singapore on court two. So the final over of the third skin. Sri Lanka development on minus nine. Team total of 31. Over is 
the police, the pressure comes down, the wicked end of the tower, trying to go straight. Three runs there to him, and the total. He's been trying to play that shot a few, quite a few times now. And it's a spin. I think this has been successful. He gets three this time. So it's uh, Aaron, 32 Aku on strike. That's short and nicely played. That uh, could be close. But the umpire is satisfied with it. Uh, two runs added to the total. It's much better by Aaron this time. Two more balls remaining for them to do that. If they try to get those twos, they can do it. And uh, he's home. Given out. I thought he managed to get in, but the umpires uh, decided otherwise. I see the replay of that, Ricky. Powerfully struck. Here comes uh, the fielder. Oh, very well selected there by the fielder. Touch and go. Good bit of fielding. Supon was just short of his ground. Brings Aaron Cody to a counter strike. Still the score minus eight. No chance of them uh, getting into the plus. So that's the end of the third spin. Basker finishing with one for five. Super Pereira minus three. Aaron Kuritua for minus five. So the third skin, uh, Sri Lanka development finishing at minus eight. Thirty-two runs on the board for Sri Lanka development. About to start the fourth skin. Suraj Reedy is the bowler. So we have uh, Isuru is out there. He's at the non-strikers. Good use of his feet. Gets a hand to it, uh, Suraj, but uh, doesn't stop it cleanly. That's firmly driven by Isuro. That's a five. So 10 runs into the development side. They were just at the commencement of this uh, fourth skin. They got off to a very good start. Sri Lanka development total moving on to 42. Looking uh, to back up that one into that net back uh, call on the offside but uh, able to get back onto it so a couple of dot balls third ball coming up so the Sri Lankan batters need to get a single in this delivery or oh, lucky day the Indians ball the wide they were looking for that run out uh, Ricky the non-striker has to do that generally 
he's looking for the single trying to get to the strikers end because of the third ball but this is very wide indeed Adiraj Jory is the bowler that's the end of that uh, 40, 13th over Yes, and uh, we have at the other end is uh, Savindu. So Savindu and Isuru are the two batters uh, for Sri Lanka. Savindu now at the non striker send, and Isuru is taking strike. 44 on the board for Sri Lanka as a team, but in this skin, they have uh, got 12 runs of the first over. Very decent start for this skin, Ricky. Twelve runs coming off the first over. Is that taken at a dot delivery? No, two runs given. So two more added to the total. Makes it 14. And takes a team total on to 46. Played late. That's much better. It gets a run. This has been a much better skin uh, so far for the Sri Lankans. The third one, they went at uh, minus eight. At the other court, England have made 105 versus Singapore. 44, 17, 34. The last one, they got only 10. Singapore have op chances of kind of win two skins there to take away a few points. From yeah, the game against England, their final game for today uh, or in this competition for Singapore. That's it officially. But uh, four given straight onto the back net. Four runs, taking the score onto 51. Went for the catch attempt, but uh, didn't get there. Once again, good running. Push and run. So the skin total moves on there, you see Adiraj 1 for 6, Samidu on 11 and Isru on 9. So as you see England has got 106, yes as Ricky said uh, 17 and 11 on the second and uh, fourth skin. Well, this will provide uh, Singapore an opportunity of trying to win those two skins and gain some points. So Amara Singh is a new bowler. India looks to have made some changes into the side. We, did see, we didn't see Amara Singh playing in the previous game. Just uh, giving some options uh, to all their players. Because this is a dead rubber for India. They have already come through to the finals to be played tomorrow against Sri Lanka. Down the leg side, well collected by the wicket keeper. Two runs added to the total. Takes it on to 54. Skin total moves on to 22. And that one, he bowled him. I think it came off his boot. Yes, off his uh, boot, off his uh, leg, that uh, chin guard there. Yes, probably off the boot. But that was well bowled right in the block hole. So there you go, important breakthrough for India. Just to drag back that score. So for all the scores Sri Lanka development have got 21, 19, minus 8, 17 at the moment are certainly gettable for India when they come out later. <coughs> it's 49 on the board, 17 runs are for this Ken. Three balls remaining in the 15th over. That's, uh, did it have an edge? They were, they were told uh, that there is a new technology that uh, will be coming up in the future, for future tournaments where there will be cameras uh, next to the uh, crease uh, where 
at the uh, bowler's end. So where the umpire could instantly check those uh, cameras and decide if it's not out or out. And also that, uh, so that uh, the batters, if given out on uh, court behinds, uh, uh, they could, or any catchers, they could review it uh, as well if they, if, if they feel uh, that it's not out or it's uh, out, they could review it as well. So those are some of the new inventions that are coming into Indo cricket and I think it's much needed, especially the run out thing. I think it's uh, quite difficult for the umpires uh, to get it accurate, you know, 10 out of 10. And it's uh, definitely when technology is available, you have to use it. Yes, uh, the only thing is it will take a, a bit more time uh, for a game to finish because there are so many run outs happening. But at the end, uh, the right well, uh, uh, result uh, should be achieved. Yeah, for that, Ricky, the, uh, the review should be restricted, uh, like in a test match or in a one-day game or whatever. Reviews uh, should certainly, be restricted. Certainly, certainly. So that the captains can review if they feel that uh, the decision. Just one or two uh, uh, innings. Two innings uh, will be probably ideal. <laughs> well, otherwise, as you said, yes, the game will be dragging on because so many run out attempts in this type of cricket. 23 on the board for this 10 for development, 55 the total. Strikes it down the ground, but uh, well fielded by the bowler. Third ball situation. The highest uh, so far in this skin, 23. Well, they started off well, but uh, couldn't get a big score. That's a single taken very easily. That's to come out of the third ball situation, taking the score on to 24 in this can and 56 to the total. Three balls remaining in the innings. That was a good so delivery. Angled into the body as well, bounce. Very difficult ball to get away into the net. Well bowled again, decides to go through, that was not a good return to the bowler, he sort of lost it while trying to throw it and uh, managed uh, to get through for the single, there was a mix up. Definitely the through. Sri Lankan development team is quite lucky there. It's you pro Colombo, not only in the cricket but in the football, in the netball as well, this course offered to, to come over if you want to play some... Uh, in the sport, book the courts, or whatever the uh, occasion practices, or for fun. Netball and uh, soccer also available at uh, U Pro. It's uh, internet uh, at uh, Taluwatukuda. So there two is. Two runs, uh, Polly, to end it. Uh, Pasha, minus two and two wickets. Excellent batting. 27 for these two. They did a decent job. 59 is what the development team has got against uh, India. 60 is what they needed. They'll feel India that they can win uh, four skins. It, it won't matter at the end in the points table, but they certainly will feel that uh, they could take a, a clean sweep in this game when they come out to bat. Well, this be definitely they'll be looking for that to claim make a clean sweep and uh, show their potential for the final. They'll be playing the final against the Sri Lanka men's team. That will be an interesting game tomorrow because uh, those two teams tied in their first game. You will see some of the highlights in this game. Where the Sri Lanka developments tied, started off well. In the first 10, they got 21. And then in the second 10, they were reduced to 19. And the third stint was very poor. A lot of wickets, a lot of dismissals there. And finally, in the last 10, they managed to get 27. Uh, the third set, uh, the third skin was their most disappointing. Got out uh, several times. But managed to uh, get some uh, respectability in that. Uh, picking up a 27. It was much needed. Well, Again. Indian fielding was uh, a top class except a couple of missed chances. 
Yes, so we'll be back uh, with the uh, run chase. 60 to get for India. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on View app at thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. ජාතික කණ්ඩායමට ක්‍රීඩකයන් 27ක් තිලින කළ නෙල්සන් මෙන්ඩිස් මහතා මම යෝජනා කරනවා අපේ දෙමාපියන් ක්‍රිකට් බාණ්ඩ ගන්න ඕනේ නම් so 59 the target for india 60 the target 59 is what sri lanka ended up on that uh, third skin going into minus 8 hurt sri lanka a lot yeah, the third skin uh, clearly denting all the progress of sri lanka after the uh, first two uh, skins and then uh, final skin 27 the best skin of the lot for sri lanka a good skin uh, to end things but uh, they have to work really hard uh, to uh, defend such a below par total a total of 59 Now, uh, if Sri Lanka can win at least two skins here, that will be a huge, huge uh, achievement for the youngsters. That uh, this first skin and the last skin, those are the skins uh, that Sri Lanka can give a fight to India. That's brilliant! What a delivery that is! Well, uh, he is using his fingers as nice. he's bowling that uh, cutter very well. Third ball situation now. I think uh, if LBW is allowed, that would have been a sure goner. A good full length delivery needed a better collection from this keeper, Charlie. I think if he left it for the bowler, the bowler could have just flicked it back to the back stumper. So three runs off the first two. A very good uh, start here. Brilliant. Brilliantly done. Just three runs in the first two. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Sri Lanka development. India, they need to get going in the next few overs. Uh, they are to uh, get to this 22. Super Empire bowling a solid uh, first over here. to bowl the second over with this first game 
Well, Kavin Patriona can uh, produce a dismissal here. I think that will be a huge, huge moment in this first skin. But not the best of starts from Kavin Patriona, the off spinner. Trying to go in that uh, leg stamp line towards the body to make it hard, but a uh, little bit wavered. Maybe trying to create that angle as an off spinner to the uh, right handed batter. But just not getting it right. Exactly what I was talking about. Three runs uh, added to the total. Let's come in again. Gives the ball somewhere. Yeah, this time he did a direct hit. Uh, he directed it. Would I have been really close? One run again. That's why I mentioned earlier, a live wire on the field as well, uh, this youngster Kavin Padrona. It's always there in the game. Well, if that had hit, I think that would have been a minus five. No, nine runs on the board. Good so far from Kavin Padrona as well. Is that a direct hit? But I think uh, yeah, the batters, they managed to uh, get home safely. So two more runs added, 11 runs on the board, here's the replay. Yeah, I was uh, well inside, no uh, doubts about that. Uh, going across the right-handed batter, Supun Pereira just uh, throwing it, but uh, name there. Last delivery of the second over, 13 runs scored by the uh, two uh, openers for India. A good watchful start from them. They decide against that run. So two overs over. 13 runs uh, scored by uh, Dhanush Bhaskar and Adira Juri. And uh, most probably it's going to be Mudita who will bowl the third, third over for Sri Lanka development. Well, they'll need to pick up uh, Vikarato here. This keeper is going to bowl it. Uh, or is it? Or is it uh, Isuru Raja Paksha, the one with the slingy action wearing the iconic number 99 jersey? Yeah, Isuru. Yeah, it's, it's Isuru. Was it in that. Uh, York Alenta is to begin things. Update from Code 2 England scoring 112 and uh, Singapore. They are still on 12 in the uh, last over of the first skin. England, of course, scoring 44 in that first skin and then just 17 and 17 in the second and fourth skins and 34 in the third skin. So Singapore with an opportunity to uh, get two skin points in that game. Yes, I think that first skin and the third skin were. The main uh, thing to get that uh, score to two, two, uh, 212. But they have done really well to keep them to 17 in two skins. Just get a few points there if they can. That's a full toss. Of the best of deliveries. Uh, now with a speed, it's uh, easier for these uh, batters to uh, play against the full toss. This time, we balls it short, uh, Isuru. Well, with uh, that action, let's see. If he pitches it, it might help the batsman because, you know, just to go for that uh, down and up shot, is it, it'll be very skiddy. Yeah, and certainly. Way more skiddy than the rest of the Sri Lankan bowlers, I think, with this action. And not the... Uh, not right the, the cleanest, yeah, not the cleanest uh, slingy action, but uh, still very effective uh, if he can pitch it in the right area, uh, Isuru. Pitching it to the right end, uh, if he drags it outside the off stump, it'll be easy for that uh, down and up yeah, stump. Yeah, and I shouldn't say cleanest, I mean people will think something else, not the smoothest uh, slingy action from uh, Isuru. Bowling pretty fast, uh, yeah. keeper not being able to gather it. Uh, 
third ball scenario coming up. A good over from Misu, six runs. As I said, very effective when he uh, pitches it in the right area because of what uh, Michael mentioned. He's a lot skinnier than the rest of the Sri Lankan bowlers. So, last over to go, Sri Lanka. If they can get a dismissal, there's still a chance for them. But for India, they just have to continue what they have done so far, Michael. Just be patient, be cautious. And just uh, get the runs when they are on offer. There's uh, no need for them to uh, do so anything uh, silly here. Interesting situation here. If they can get a wicket or two. Coming up next, we have England Lancers taking on Sri Lanka Development Women. That's the last match of the day on the court one. The uh, last game before we head on to the final day of England Asia Cup 2024. And in court number two, Singapore versus England Women. So the last game for uh, Singapore. I'm sure our good friend uh, Ricky Sims will be very interested in that match. Following the England women, women's team very closely. The England women's team, uh, they have been absolutely brilliant, isn't it, Michael? They have been uh, miles above the rest of the teams, in my opinion. Uh, and also in fielding, uh, they have been uh, absolutely classy. And the uh, rest of the team, they have a lot to learn from that unit. And... Uh, a bold prediction here. I have a feeling that even in the final England, they will definitely, uh, probably dominate against the other team, against the Sri Lankan team, because that's how things went down in both the games uh, in the group stage. So here I think, uh, I don't think we might see their full strength side playing in this last game, because remember, their final is in the morning at 9 o'clock tomorrow, so they're about to rest some of their players. Don't want to play, give them a chance to play again. There will be two or three changes. Keep them fit because they are anyway in the finals. They'll be playing the Sri Lankan women's team in the final, is it? That will uh, definitely take a lot uh, for Sri Lanka to uh, pose a threat to this English lineup. So hopefully they can uh, challenge here. They can be challenging in that final. Well, you'll never know what ha can happen in finals. In the second round. Sri Lanka development beating uh, the England men's team. Oh, going to the wrong end. Oh, they've got. And uh, that's a dismissal. Once but no harm done. Once again, like you said, the live by Kavin Padurana. Yeah, Kavin Padurana coming into the act again. And not easy. Just get one, uh, just a small nah, view of the wicket. Yeah, Adiraji hesitated before grounding the bat. I think that played a part there. The problem is there. The, the striker was not sure whether to run. So, 24 runs on the board. A three-run advantage uh, in the first uh, skin for India. Now, uh, time for the second skin. It's Kavin Pathirana to uh, bowl the first over of the second skin. They bought it back in that final uh, delivery with a minus five, but just maybe a little too late. Well, they need to make sure that uh, they pull things back heavily in one of those skins because that third skin, but they, they couldn't get into the plus side of things just minus eight eight runs removed from that total in that third skin so uh, they need to pull things back heavily and in this skin or if, if there's a possibility in the third skin and it's Amar and Vijay the uh, second skin for India not a lot to do for them, uh, just uh, 20 to get. You know, they can uh, 
follow the uh, same concept of the last two batters and uh, get there with relative ease if they don't do something silly. Well, what uh, Sri Lanka needs to do is just create uh, a bit of pressure, few uh, dot ball here and there. Good bit of fielding. There we see. Well, that's exactly what they need to do. Keep building up the dots. A third ball situation. Try to bring out more situations like this uh, in this skin. And the fielders, they need to back the bowlers up. I was uh, pretty impressed with how the Sri Lankan bowlers have uh, gone on their business in this game, Michael. Not giving away much short deliveries. But that time, straight down the leg side, Kavin Padre, not the best of deliveries um, for a third ball situation, in my opinion. Probably, probably uh, try to just uh, slide it away from him. Good, that's good. Putting their body on the line, I think that's Aaron Kodidua, the close infield. Time for the second over. Four runs from it, a good over from Kavin Padrona. And uh, skipper Shalida doing uh, some advices uh, to the rest of the team. I think Mudita is going to be the uh, next bowler. Mudita, of course, uh, no, the skipper is bowling. Child the super singer. Yeah, the skipper is bowling. Uh, yeah, Child the another off spinner. I mean, Patara just finished his over. I think he finished both his overs. Yes. Bowled one in the first skin and another one in the uh, previous over. So, uh, skipper Shal the super singer. In uh, some of those matches, a bit too short, uh, Shal the super singer, but uh, very useful. No, exactly like that. When he uh, pitches in that area, is very useful. Shal the super singer. That was a caught and ball. So starting off well. Now what I was about to mention uh, was Michael that Shal the. Oh no the field in front. Yeah, Dilshan, Dilshan uh, taking the catch. So what I was about to mention, uh, Michael, is that uh, Salida sometimes uh, tends to bowl it a bit short and that uh, gives uh, the room for the batter. But uh, so far so good from Salida. Bowling it a lot fuller this time and bowling it a quicker, bowling it quicker as well. Oh, they needed a direct hit there and almost had it. Supun Pereira missed it by a few inches, I think. So good over from skipper Chalida, keeping the pressure up on uh, the Indian batters in this uh, second skin. And that's another dismissal. Skipper doing a wonderful job here. Yeah, Chalida. Exactly what I mentioned once again, uh, Michael. The fuller he bowls. The uh, more impactful he is, uh, Chalita. He's proving you wrong, uh, Lakshasi. His ball, all his balls full. He's not being short in this. You, you were saying that he was bowling short at one time, right? Yeah, in I was. I was saying, yeah, yeah, he was bowling short. Yeah, but he was bowling. Yeah, he was. Uh, but this, this over, <laughs> he has been bowling everything full. Yeah, that's why I mentioned he needs to bowl uh, fuller for him to be impactful. So maybe he has heard you. Because he was a bit too short for my liking, to be honest, uh, in some of those games. Yeah, because when you bowl it short, it's easy for the batter to uh, hit that uh, down and up shot. <coughs> Two runs at it. So, uh, this second skin is going to be really close, as it seems, uh, Michael. Minus seven from that over. A good start from Skipper Chalitha. Two hours to go, 23 to get. It's really good to see the uh, development side putting up such a good fight against uh, India, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's good for them. Good uh, learning experience. Savindu. Oh. So, well, if he can repeat what the skipper did, if they can, you know, keep this to the minus. I'm sure they'll even have their eyes on a good win. Yeah, 
And that's another dismissal, Michael. I think this time they heard you. Brilliant. for that back tat but uh, Modi the, had the presence of mind to get the, get the stumps down couldn't get it just need to keep fighting uh, like the one good skin few minuses and then you're looking at you know putting India under severe pressure even to get to that 59 total yeah, exactly, exactly, Michael. Now, uh, at the moment, this is Sri Lanka's skin to lose, to be honest. So, India trying to rebuild here after those two dismissals. Amar and Vijay. Amar and Vijay just uh, loosened the plot a bit in the last few deliveries. They still have time, 8 deliveries to go. But uh, 23 runs to get, so they will need some uh, big runs in some of those uh, remaining 8 deliveries. Flex it. A bit of hesitation, but uh, no harm done in the end for India. Two more runs added. The uh, skin total goes up to minus 1. Very well bowled, very well bowled. A fuller than delivery that time. So, uh, Savindu ends this over. Just two runs and a wicket. Sri Lanka development still in this game. Need to keep picking up wickets. Every over. So uh, time for the last over, Salta Super Singh and the skipper who uh, turned things back around for Sri Lanka. About to bowl his second over. So he will bowl back to back. And he is not that happy with a field, I think. Wants him to uh, go back to the original posture. Good, very good, very good from Salta. But uh, is that a no ball? Yes, it is a no ball. A costly error from Salta Super Singh. Yes, Chalita again. Once again, very well ball. Not giving them any room to uh, free their arms. Not giving them the room to uh, play the down and ups. Needs to pick up a wicket now. Put that... Uh, I think mean that they'll, they'll need at least two fives here. And uh, that's another loose delivery. Chalita. Oh, that could be another one. Fielder. Couldn't uh, pick it up. Unfortunate, so Shalita, he changed the game around in the previous over, but this time in Another this over, ball. it's no him ball. that he was uh, lost the plot against the two Indian batters. He goes down the ground again. This is good hitting from India. Five more runs added. Now Sri Lanka under pressure in the skin. Shalita, now just uh, look how things. Uh, change so quickly in this game Michael well, that was a good attempt might have been a catch yeah a brilliant effort if it took it it would have been brilliant well fielded well fielded by Isuru so seven runs to get three more deliveries to go can't afford to give away more free runs and extra deliveries to they India need cuts. they need wickets uh. another dot delivery brilliantly done I'm a run the pressure Shalita third ball just created a third ball situation, so a good comeback from him in this over after giving away extra deliveries, only two no balls. And that's a terrific take from Mudita there. That would have uh, costed them with an extra run, most probably, if he missed that. May have not even gone for it because uh, might have come back off the net quickly. Six runs, Michael. One more delivery to go. Can India win this second skin? So 
should be able and no sent back by uh, the non striker and after a hard working second skin sri lanka development they managed to win this one by five runs a great effort as keeper shall the super singer didn't ball the best of second overs but uh, that first over clearly played a huge part and samindu bowled a brilliant uh, over as well so 38 runs on the board Experience world class healthcare in cutting edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals, by your side. Skin to Sri Lanka, starting the third skin now. Two on the board. Of course, uh, Sri Lanka developing minus eight in the skin. So India. Sri Lanka did extremely well uh, to uh, win that uh, second skin, isn't it, uh, Paul Nas? I mean, defending 19 is not easy, but uh, they are done brilliantly. Unfortunately, this third one they were minus eight. India lost a couple of wickets in that skin, uh, Ricky, which uh, enabled Sri Lankans to do well. Now again, a third ball situation created. So these type of situations can uh, bring the Sri Lankans back into the game. Oh, God, that's a wild flip. That flip dis didn't work at all. Allowed uh, the Indians to cross over for a single. Yes, I think that what Sri Lanka is trying to do is uh, try to uh, defend that 59. That's what is on their mind. Uh, they have so far done reasonably well. They have a lot of catching up to do because uh, they, they were minus in this particular skin. But they're trying their best, I think, to try and defend that uh, 59. Get some runs on this. And uh, they can uh, get closer to the total. So Mudita getting none for four. Aaron Cody Tuako is a new bowler. Well, Sri Lankan total at 42. Four runs in the skin and after the first over. Indians will really try to get as much as possible in this skin because Sri Lanka development ended at minus eight. And that's a good return. That could be a dismissal. That yes. will force India back. Yes, that's a big impact. They will go on to minus one now. Up and the quick reflexes. So this is good for Sri Lanka. Certainly. Definitely the Sri Lankan development team has done pretty well. Keeping the Indians at bay. That's nice to put away. Two more runs added to the score. So fun on this skin at the moment for India. Sri Lanka minus eight. This is the skin that uh, India will try to create some respectability. If they can get 20 runs, they'll be very much in the game. Because uh, the next skin, the development boys got 27. And the Sri Lanka development will want to win that skin. That's again a very quick single taken. Good bit of fielding by the Sri Lankan lads. It's excellent. Uh, in the field, uh, they are just giving it their all. This is their last game for the Sri Lanka development in this. Uh, Tournament, so they will uh, fight till the end. The 
it was tough delivery, but uh, didn't get hold of it properly. Yes, that was in the air for a while. A little bit disappointed that uh, the fielder couldn't get to that one. I thought it got the edge of the bat. Did they see the replay on that? Big outside edge. Just away from those two fielders into the net. Didn't have the power to rebound as well. L very lucky the batter. So India are playing a bit uh, uh, reckless here, but on the other hand, they know they have nothing to lose because they already qualified for the final. So they're, they're probably taking their chances, uh, just uh, trying some different things as well. As uh, long as uh, they get through, I think uh, they'll be satisfied. Well, I think, Ricky, they're trying to hit the ball hard and hit the ball straight down to see their capabilities of hitting straight. Danushka Dilshan, the new bowler. So he'll be bowling the 11th over, which is the third of this can. India still not uh, in command of this skin. There are still only five runs on the board. That two brings them on to seven in the skin and a total of 45. Steps out uh, that one onto the offside, up, down and up. Two more to the total. Their progress to nine. Get in there. Uh, that's considered at a dot wall where the batsman left it go. That's nicely driven. Well fielded by the fielder. About three runs, it's stuck the net. So three runs given, 12 on the board in this uh, skin. And the total moving on to 50. Once again, uh, looking for that single. Unfortunately, the non-striker didn't run. I thought there was a run there because he hit it hard into the ground and the ball went high. Back on time. That was a very close call. Couple of dot balls there to end the over. So Javishka has gone for 12, picked up a wicket. Aaron Kodituaku will bowl the next over. The final over of this skin, the third one. So 50 runs on this board for India. Aaron Kodituaku tossing it off well. But the batters were able to cross over. One more run. Taking the skin total on to 13. And the team total on to 51. Well, all the Sri Lankans uh, should try to do is to get a dismissal. That's Still for a, a catch. to see the replay of that yes, sir, was that on the bounce was it on the full it was uh, definitely straight it was a full toss hit uh, well we don't have a clear indication of that. that did he get his uh, fingers under it is what the umpire would have been concerned about the fielders thought he did so two more runs added to the total takes the skin total on to 15 and the team total on to 53 that's a toss-up delivery again, coming down the... That's a good hit. There will be a lot of runs there. Seven runs added to the total. That takes India onto the lead. They go on to 60, and the skin total to 22. All they need is now to bat uh, sensibly here. Ensure that uh, they get a victory in this last game. That will boost their confidence as well for tomorrow. <coughs> when they take on the uh, Sri Lankan team the, uh, in the final tomorrow. So yes, uh, they should try to take this momentum into that game. 
They have given some opportunities to the players who were in the bench. And the third ball incident created. Aaron Kodituaku, one for 11. His bowling figures. 60 on the board. Final over in this skin. Well, that's the end of it. So Suraj Rini and uh, Apros coming into bat. The new pair. So India able to win that skin. Sri Lanka. Two more, final skin in play, third in the over. It's through the bowler. Well, if he gets it uh, on the correct spot, it will be pretty difficult to play him, uh, Ricky. Yes, it certainly is uh, taken the Indian better by surprise. Now it's a two dot ball, so the third ball uh, scenario. I think uh, he's out. Uh, so he's gone. He, he was finding it difficult to pick him that slingy action. We know what the slingy action has done in outball cricket these days. Uh, a few of them coming uh, from Sri Lanka, going to make it big. Well, that no. was a good shot played, but uh, the fielder kept the eye on the ball and took a very good catch. They haven't started off well. Oh, that's quick again. <laughs> coming around the wicket. And uh, the arm coming from very wide. Get it right on the Yorker length. Yeah, it's very troublesome. Big. That's good bit of running between. This uh, plays it late, gets that single. Suraj Ridi on five, three. Afros on minus five. These are two of their better players. Uh, <coughs> Afros unfortunately got out <coughs> earlier. They still have some work to do to try and win this game, uh, India. They see on court two. England after getting 112. Well, uh, Singapore going down on all the three skins, which has all already four. finished. All four skins. Uh, it's still going on the fourth of, one. Uh, they'll be looking to try and win that last skin, isn't it? It's disappointing they couldn't win the second one there. Walnut stays in 17. England have done well. But can Singapore take something in this last game? The last game uh, for them in this uh, tour? Yes, if, yes, definitely. Still a couple of overs remaining. Five oh. balls remaining in the fifth over, 14th over. Yes, we're coming so to all live on uh, Sri Lanka's number one sports uh, channel, the Papri.com, of course, and on Dialogue TV in Sri Lanka if you're watching. If you are logged into our Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are watching this indoor cricket, uh, thank you for being with us over the last few days. It's uh, been a few long days. Uh, tomorrow is the three finals, no doubt about it. Everybody is looking forward uh, to those uh, finals. Well, that's good bowling again, creating a third ball situation. Well, India was able to get over it. One run on the board. Well, development squad uh, will be definitely trying to win this skin. They got 27 in this fourth skin. Well, India 61 on the board. Well, that's a good bit of running. The non-striker didn't read the crease and that return uh, broke the stumps and then only they went on for that run. So Supun Pereira, none for seven. 62 on the board, two on the skin, 
two overs of this skin already completed. Game isn't it, uh, Paulinus? If uh, Sri Lanka can, wicker, uh, the Sri Lanka development can pick up a wicket or two, so they will go onto the minus there, and they won't be able to win. They find it difficult to win the skin, but also the game because uh, it has been a tight. Uh, the scores, see, 24 and 21, 19 and 14. It's just in that last yeah. one they got 22. And when you look at the total saucer, Ricky, India is still just three runs above. Exactly, that's why I said the minus here, and uh, the game will be even. Definitely, Sri Lanka got to look for a wicket or two at this stage. And India, all what India got to do is bat cautiously. They got to win this game, that's it. They should forget about the skin. Yes, they're already through. They have nothing to lose. But the Sri Lanka development, they have a lot to uh, gain here. They beat England, so if they can beat India as well, that will be a big boost for them, for the uh, youngest, uh, younger players. Well, if uh, Sri Lanka develop and win this game, the Sri Lanka team also will gain a lot of confidence. Most certainly. That's a boundary. Four more runs added to the score, 67. Seven runs in this game. Three balls remaining in this over. That's a good delivery. The bowling very tight. Yes, definitely the development boys are not uh, giving it just on a platter to India. They're keeping it tight. That's the third ball situation again created. A good delivery worked away on the offside. Maybe just a single there. So, really on eight. Uh, Afros just uh, clearing his minus. So, new bowler is Samidu Arendra. Final over coming up. So I, I feel that England are going to find it difficult to win the skin, though they will uh, win this game just because that uh, big lead in the third skin. But a wicket or two will certainly help Sri Lanka. No doubt about it. That's out, is it? Oh, a catch as well as the run out. I think the run out should have been taken. It was fairly straightforward. Unfortunately, not hitting the uh, stumps uh, there. I think it was... Uh, Definitely there was a chance to get that run out easily. I think Ricky, without throwing it, he could have taken it and gone and broken the stumps. This time again, and this time uh, they have been able to get that run out. So that will pull the Indian total back. Still, Sri Lanka is within uh, a chance, outside chance of winning this game. Certainly. It's, it was a mix-up. They went for the second run. I wonder why India needed that, because uh, they are well uh, behind uh, trying to win the skin. What were they trying to do there? As it was highly unwanted. We got highly unwanted, to my, li uh, to my uh, reckoning, because uh, they were head on the overall score. And uh, it was almost impossible to uh, try and win the skin. It's definitely 64 runs there. Now a wicket will create a lot of problem for the Indians to win the game. Yes, the game will be on. It brings two more runs to the Indian total. Still four balls remaining. Oh. That was a good delivery, just missing the stump. Very close, very close to the off stump. Could have been another minus five. 66 on the board, 6 in the skin. Definitely Sri Lanka going to take the skin away. So the Sri Lankan development. Oh, another missed opportunity. Third ball now. Third ball situation created. Two more deliveries remaining in this over. India fighting back to their wall to keep this uh, total going. Place that very well, wanted the direct hit. Just jamming it into the ground, down and up into that net. It's so a valuable two. 
So that will take the game for India, no doubt. Of course, they have lost the skin, no doubt. Two skins apiece. But uh, the game, uh, the game, Sri Lanka development lost their way in the third skin, Ricky Gary, minus eight. And that's nicely played straight down the ground. So there you go, two skins apiece. Sri Lanka win the second that's and the fourth. India win the first and the third. And the overall game, good performance by uh, Savindu Arandar. Six runs fan picked up two wickets. Twelve in that last skin. Excellent. And uh, India will be disappointed. They lost the second skin in particular. Just needing uh, 20 runs. They could not get there. But good game overall. Towards the end, the Sri Lanka development team. They beat England. Yes, and definitely uh, the Sri Lankan development team put up a great fight. India won just by 13 runs. They won two skins. And they see some of the highlights in the Indian innings. India started off well, but uh, Sri Lanka came back very strongly in the second skin. Winning that second skin, where India got, uh, Sri Lanka got only 19, but India were stopped at 14. But then the third skin was the problem for Sri Lanka, where they got minus 8, and India went on to get uh, 22. 22, that's where Sri Lanka lost it. But uh, they fought hard right till the end and they didn't give anything away. They kept on doing their bit, picking up uh, some uh, key wickets. The catching was good. And uh, yes, uh, they didn't let India have any comfortable, be in any comfort zone and win comfortably. So well done to both teams. Of course, well done to the Sri Lanka development team over the last uh, three days. They played some good cricket and they will learn a lot from this experience uh, in uh, to play the next uh, tours in the months uh, to uh, come. Well, we have one more game, Bolness, coming up today. Sri Lanka development versus England women's game coming up next. Jatika Kandam, Krida King, Visia Takilinakal, Nelson Mendis Mahata, Mama Yojana Karano, Api Demopian, Cricket Band Gan Onenang, Yan Ekamatanata, my Lasanta, Amarsinga Matmagi, Chan Sports, I tell you. world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Haymas Hospitals. Haymas Hospitals, by your side. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's more. Dive into a refreshing swimming pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. Asia Sports Center is center in Bataramola, your number one sports center. This is Hits Now, where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team. Where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this.
family work. Take care of the first two and the third work will take care of itself. I am here at the Austasia Sports and Leisure Centre. Talking dead folks, reptile plagues, it's not natural. It's a cult that has long ties to Gotham. We mean to give this city purpose and honor the damnation which bore it. Whose way must die? And through death, become this city's savior. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us sizzling hot. Welcome back to the uh, live action now uh, from you pro uh, Talavar. All set to uh, begin the last set of games in this uh, round robin stage of uh, England Asia Cup 2024. England Lioness is taking on Sri Lanka Development Women's Team. England Lioness is batting first in this encounter and uh, that's not a good start from Piyati Laka. Pulling a delivery down the leg side. Once again, down the left side. Not the best of starts from uh, Pia Tilaka. Ball with a lot more better aim when she played against uh, the England senior side. And once again, strain down the left side. Keep also calling to bowl outside the off some but... Uh, Better. Is that a wide as well? So that's the end of the first over. Six. The first over. Six runs uh, from the first over, so uh, most of them just uh, those three runs given away by uh, Pia Tilaka. Time for the second over. Me Asanka, the uh, new bowler for Sri Lanka development, left arm spinner, and uh, once again straight down the leg side. She had this issue even in the previous game as well, Michael. So Alice and Charlotte, the two openers, Alice taking strike. That's nicely flighted, but uh, easy for the better. Uh, very easy when you were. Uh, Ball giving the uh, batter that length, a short delivery, very easy to uh, put it away. Once again, a bit too easy for the uh, England Lancers. And again, straight down the left side, she needs to get her direction right here.
doesn't have control because uh, I'm coming. Release point is not very. So that's the end of the second over. Eighteen on the board. A pretty decent start by England Linuses. And most of these runs are well just free runs given away by the Sri Lankan bowlers uh, because of their poor with line with once again. With the help of uh, the Sri Lankan bowlers. Now that uh, discipline that they showed uh, in majority of that England game while bowling, uh, that's not there, Michael, in this game so far in the first uh, 2.1 overs. That's really disappointing to see. Going up against England Linuses. England Linuses are... Uh, of course, the uh, second string side from England, or the development side, we can say, from England. So, uh, Sri Lanka development, uh, they'll so want to compete in a better level both against these them. Both these are development sides. Uh, <laughs> so, I think they'll want to prove a point. But making it easy for England Linuses. Melindi. Just uh, gets one straight this time, but uh, once again, too short. Now this has been the problem when they're trying to bowl fuller, they tend to stray down the leg side. But when they are bowling straight, the ball is too short. That's the problem uh, with the uh, Sri Lanka women's development team uh, in this whole tournament. But at least, uh, Lux, if it's too short, still they have to play a shot and run. So chance of getting them out is much more than bowling down the leg side and giving free runs. They were confident but uh, the umpire says no. So uh, three overs done, 12 runs. Uh, Two overs. Three overs done, 30 runs on the board uh, for England Lannisters here. 12 runs from the previous over. This is a pretty good skin for the moment, so they'll need to pick up a wicket or two if uh, Sri Lanka development. That's Senoki Hasandi, the bowler. If Sri Lanka development is to come back. And I think at least 18 to 20 of those 30 runs were free runs given away by the Sri Lankans by straight down the leg side. This time, uh, that has to be, you know, bowl, I think, two more free runs given away and they get a single there as well bit of a traffic situation uh, three four the batters and the field running into each other that was four runs there pretty expensive and also uh, this is the final lower as well of the skin so if she continues to bowl in this manner this will be a very very long over over time for Ricky seems a commentator Much better. A lot better that time. So, uh, I mean, it's not that they can't bowl in this line, and then it's just that I feel that they're lacking the focus at this moment. The last game of the day, it has been a long day. They played a lot of Maybe games tired. today, uh, Michael. Still four balls left, uh, Lux, see. And these are still youngsters, so. Uh, yeah, this over. Not sure how many balls will be bowled because there's already still four balls left. Sweeps it away and uh, manages to get one run. So, three deliveries to go 39 runs on the board. And that's another wide delivery, a leg side delivery, big Japan. And uh, she'll have to re ball that again. There's no finish. Just the that's that's the reason that they don't have the control. So that's a little bit better. Two more balls left. But the fielders are confused as to how come it's going for so long. Well, 41. That's easy. And that's another extra delivery. 
at least uh, 28 runs I think now given away absolutely for free by uh, the Sri Lankan uh, bowlers the update from court number two Singapore doing well against England just 29 runs going into the last over of the first game I think they <coughs> managed to strike in the very first delivery <laughs> so uh, Singapore doing decently uh, well against England then again a few uh, changes I think and uh, that's see. another wide Michael so two more runs that won't be the end of that <laughs> won't be the end of that first game stay healthy come to Australia back nine I was there and uh, finally, finally. <laughs> the end of that first game 47 runs on the board Stay healthy, come to Australia, back nine I once said, there are three important things in life, health, family, work, health, family, work, take care of the first two and the third, work will take care of itself, I'm here at the Australia Sports and Leisure Centre. So that's the end of that over. It's uh, Mihidi with that uh, direct hit. Very well done. So Sri Lanka development slowly falling their way back into this uh, game in this second skin. After a disappointing first skin, yeah, what I was talking about was Michael. They showed that they can bowl consistently in good lines and lengths in that previous game. So it's seems sure that they uh, worked on their dismiss worked on their mistakes from that previous game against England. They managed to. Uh, restrict their score from that first game so uh, they made something different they did some things very well I think here, first game. here also what they need to do is now forget what happened in that uh, first game Netma Sandeepani and just try and pick up some wickets like they've done so far this second game so Netma Sandeepani and get that uh, total right down so a very good skin so far they have to make sure that they continue in the same manner just like in that first over of the skin no two runs no ball Netma bowled a very good first delivery and then just uh, lost her direction completely just Netma again so they all you know just try to the action it's not the release point is totally wavered that's much better because when you release it behind from here you can't control it unless of course you are a great bowler like people like Ashwin and all they do it once in a way just to fox the batsman this it's playable then Yeah, what you what you talk what you mentioned uh, earlier, Michael. Yes, when you are bowling behind your head, that yes. means that your action, your bowling action, is actually on the upward trajectory. Yeah. So the ball naturally goes up, goes way above what you need to do. Well, you can't control it because your release point is way behind. So they say always release it up here, highest point. So Netumini Gunasinghe is the next bowler for Sri Lanka development. Let's see whether she can do things a bit differently. Well, if they can just bring this below 50, keep it there. Everyone seems to be having this problem. wiping their hands well the bales out they'll have to fix the bail before they start yes that's it that's better a lot better well, that's a lot delivery now what 
Sri Lanka and they look back at this, uh, look back at the first game, they realize what have we done? No, it's about bowling in that same line and length. It's about bowling in that uh, area consistently. And uh, they have to realize when they bowl in that area, it's hard for the batters to get away. I think it's a third ball situation, right? I think it was a no ball earlier. Like oh, okay, yeah. And now a wide. So England not needing to use their bats. The Lionesses. Could be another one. No. I just uh, couldn't get that thrown target. Uh, that was uh, went over the penalty meter of the second skin. And uh, very well played that time by uh, Isabel. I think uh, four runs, yes, four runs on the board. Four runs added to the total, so uh, they are slowly recovering after the two dismissals, uh, Katie and Isabel. Slowly recovering, going into the last over of this game. They have 18 runs on the board, England Lanases, 65 the total. One more to go in this game. Who will bowl? I think it's the uh, captain, Kanchana Pereira. Who's taking the responsibility of bowling this last over because I think she realized that uh, she has to take the responsibility here to make sure there won't be any extra deliveries. Making them play. The chance of grabbing a wicket is very high. Uh, can get a top edge or can hit it to the net. High backlift there. You need to stop those. It's hit straight at you. Get your body behind it. So has moved out to 71. Yeah, by the time she went down, it's faster. Some of them look a bit tired, uh, Laksasi. Like you can see from their faces. It has been a long tournament, uh, Michael. That's been a long tournament for all these teams. Eight games these teams have played in the last four days. And uh, will be the last game for both these teams because uh, both the teams failed to advance through to the final. It's going to be England uh, women's versus Sri Lanka women's. The two senior sides clashing it out in the final tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. So end of the second skin, a much better second skin for Sri Lanka. 27 runs given away and the upgrade from court to England, 76 versus Singapore. So uh, we'll be back with the uh, third skin of this encounter. down to the uh, final eight overs of this innings 47 and 27 that's again down the leg side two more runs will be added a lot of freebies given by the Sri Lankan bowlers this is the ninth over isn't it nine not the twelfth Trying to hit it uh, too hard, probably just hitting it into the ground. 80 on the board already. England Lioness has academic interest in this game as well because England and Sri Lanka, the senior teams, have qualified for the finals. 
but it's a matter of uh, protocol as uh, the games uh, go on. The final two games for today, England playing uh, Singapore in the women's game at the other court and the England Lionesses are playing uh, the development team. Well, 82 on the board for England Lionesses. That one takes it to 83. 82 on the other court also, England getting 82. 39 in the first skin and uh, 43 in the second. No surprises there at all. It's easy, uh, too easy, all too easy for the England team. We have seen the Singapore team uh, with the last three days. Yes, they made a surprise win against the Sri Lanka development team. Charlotte Bullpit and Chloe Rutkin. I think she's out. Stumped. Charging down the track. Trying to hit that out of the park. Missed it completely. And the partner is telling her something. I think she's very disappointed <laughs> with that shot. She knows it. It was uh, not needed, not necessary. You don't need to come down the wicket. You can easily play that within the crease. Again, uh, coming down the cricket. This time, uh, managed to get bad on it. She didn't play all the games uh, so far. Anjali, uh, Anjali, uh, Anjali hasn't played uh, all the games. Uh, That's nicely put on the offside. Runs coming, 80 on the board. 82 with that two. Yes, it's not Chloe who's batting there out there, it's Anjali who's batting. Who is on strike, who gets a single now. Escape oh. a direct hit, would have got another wicket for Sri Lanka. <laughs> they badly need some uh, dismissals here. Let's try and get some uh, minuses onto the scoreboard. Chopped onto the ground. Should be two more runs there. Yeah. So that's the end uh, of the over. How should we come right there? One for two for one. Number 17. Met me Asanka, the bowler. <coughs> so we're in the 11th over. So two more overs remaining in this skin. 11 on the board. England line is 85 on the tur total of 85. They got 47 in the first skin. And that's a wake up. Lazy shot, isn't it? Chloe. Missed it completely. So that puts uh, England Lionesses total back by five runs. Six in the skin, 80 on the board. That's Charlotte Rudkin. That's way wide down. Number 10, Chloe, I, I saw 10. Chloe Rutkin is 10. Chloe Rutkin is 10. So another one now uh, for the uh, Sri Lankans. Aren't they happy? They've got a couple of wickets. They're certainly happy with that. So Chloe Rutkin is on strike. Oh, that was a mankan, isn't it? That the last was, wicket? That was, yes. 
So you'd have been watching that very carefully. Yes, you cannot leave your leave your crease until uh, the ball ball has delivered. Met me shy as well after getting that monk card. Uh, three runs uh, for the England Lionesses in this skin. Total brought down to 77. That's, That's down, down the leg side. Sri Lankan giving a lot of freebies for the England Lionesses. I hope Again. those I hope those freebies won't come in the next over, Polly. Because uh, the photo of the skin can be reviewed or, or can be retaken. That's uh, dangerous. We saw 15 ball. <laughs> Another one. She's having Another. some fun there, met me. You could see her, she's coming near the slumps looking, then she's breaking it. And, 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 and even she's a bit surprised that she's got that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, I think the game should go on now. I don't know if... Uh, I'm not too sure of the indoor cricket uh, on the... It, uh, is it the same as uh, outdoor cricket? It's a batter waiting for it. That's wide outside the off time. Netma getting uh, two for seven. Eighty-three on the total. Nine runs in the skin. England yes. Linus has pulled back a bit. Yes, uh, Anjali Must should forget this now. I think she didn't play all the games. She's got the opportunity in one or two games. So she's one of those youngsters uh, among the squad. Uh, probably a bit nervous as well. Must be a bit disappointed. Yeah, it's a bit disappointed in getting out. I think she should just uh, carry on, forget all those what has happened. You can see she's very young and just uh, play the game. She's trying her best, no doubt. She's got one more. She's got on to the non-strikers. 85 on the board for the Lionesses. 11 in the skin. That's again, they wanted to re -ball. Now this is uh, Milindi who is operating. <coughs> Milindi Hasangi. Creating a bit of issues there. 87 and re -ball I just hope uh, she gets the next five uh, on target. <laughs> she does. <laughs> they get a run there. It's after a while I think something off the bat. Yeah, goes Anjali. She was in. Oh, that's another one. She's so disappointed. She's thrown a bat away as well. Anjali, she's uh, feeling terrible. I just I uh, feel she was in too, Ricky. I, I think I think it's more disappointing for her than she's because she's getting out, uh, not the decision itself. You see she's that uh, replay on times. that. See that replay. Thought she dropped a bat, but her leg was inside. Yes, so these things could happen. This is the part of the game. <laughs> now she's uh, <laughs> hammering the ball. <laughs> One more run. Ten on the board. Yes, 
to take a look. Oh, her leg was in the air. Yes, I think that was a good uh, run out. Her leg was in the air. It was not grounded. That was a, a fair decision, a good one. Now that was close. That was certainly very close. One more run. A lot of support for the batter. The skin has uh, had everything, isn't it? We have had uh, a few run outs, mankards, stump ins, run outs. Still just 11. She wants one. to hit the ball in real anger. Like. <laughs> yeah, you could see it. Her expression. She'll, she'll get, uh, you can see she's leaving the bat and going as well. <laughs> she's so disappointed. Anjali, well, 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 that's the part of the game. Two more runs there to her. Picture this, a majestic rock rising above, inviting you to climb 60 steps to witness breathtaking mountain views. Indulge in delicious cuisine at our restaurant, all while experiencing the ultimate destination for travelers. But wait, there's morning pool with a soothing jacuzzi. Ella Deck Resort. Your perfect getaway starts here. So 87 on the board. So that is the 13th over's first delivery. So the fourth skins have come in. Yes, the final skin. That was an interesting one, that last one. Sri Lanka did well to contain them to just 13. But uh, England Lannisters will be looking to capitalize. I think uh, now we have uh, number 99 out there. That's uh, Philippa, who is out there. And uh, I think it's so uh, 92 Jenny. runs on the board. Five runs on this skin. That's nicely played. That's little runs. Yes, uh, Emily, Emily and uh, Philippa is out there. The two batters for England. It's a huge score, no doubt. The first two skins have been very good for Eng uh, the England Lionesses, but Sri Lanka did well to keep them down to 13. With I hope uh, when they come out to bat, they'll use their strategy as well, and they'll have that best pair trying to bat in that third skin, to try and win that skin. Because 47 is almost impossible to get. We mentioned it in the last game as well. <coughs> their best pair batted in the first skin. 27 uh, is also gettable, but uh, you have to do a lot of hard work. But 13, and let's see how much they can get in this fourth skin. The England Lionesses are up to now. They got 11, 98 on the board. Smashes that into the net. Very quick run in between. There are two more runs. Taking the score on to Emily uh, Staniard. 100 on the board. Three figures reached. Sri Lanka need to uh, do well. A good start. 13 already. They need to pull it back like they did in the last game. Get a couple of dismissals. Whatever way they have to get their dismissals. To keep them at uh, a skin which they can get, try to get, on 13 runs, the third skin. Sri Lanka will be targeting that definitely. Two more to the total and two more to the skin total. Two takes it on to 15 and 102. That's a uh, decent bowling. 
I'm just keeping it on that off stump line, outside off stump. Not too short on a fuller length, so it's um, difficult to hit it down and up. But this time she does well, gets uh, very back, picks the length up very well. The ball is flying all over. Sri Lanka throwing from one to another. <coughs> Sri Lankan development uh, trying to keep the lionesses down as much as possible. That's another good bit of running between two more to the total. Taking the total on to 106. That's a wide bean call. 21 on the board for this skin total. 108 the team total. So that's the end of the 14th over, 108 on the board, 21 in the skin for the English Lionesses. Now that's well bowled, that's well bowled. That's, uh, they'll get a two there. But she's bowled a good line, bowled a good length, decent delivery. That's what uh, you need to be doing on a consistent basis. the bowler oh well bowled nice. uh, you see again good running excellent running Emily Stanyard quick to react took a good lead responded well I think it's uh, Senadi 112 on the Hasan board the bowler 25 runs scored in this game Sri Lanka developer need to get a wicket to pull them back. Batting comfortably at the moment. These two are, are well, uh, two of the better players in this England Lionesses team. Playing the forward defensive down on one knee. Again, two more runs to the total. 29 in the skin and 116 to the score. These two batters are getting their runs quite freely. Sri Lankan bowlers should try to get a breakthrough and pull them back. This is a good over, no doubt about it. She's bowled a decent over there. Hasandi, Senuki Hasandi there. She's gone for 25, but the second over was a, a good one. And uh, most importantly, she bowled straight uh, uh, Paulinus. That is uh, very important. Now it's the final over of this uh, thing. So they got to get that uh, line and length properly. So we have Kanchana Pereira to bowl the uh, last over. They crossed over for a run. But she was playing a stroke and waiting for it. But the non-striker was uh, coming down. And she had to respond. So 30 runs in this skin. 117 the score. Again uh, flighted. Oh, is that a run out? Yes, it is. They've got one. So they can pull back that five. Well, that's a breakthrough they needed to pull them back. At least uh, skin total. <coughs> yes, she was well shot. 
if they can get another wicket or two. That's good bowling. Three more deliveries remaining in the innings. So the total takes it on to 114, 24, uh, 27 runs in the skin for the England Niners. Lots of time uh, to hit it uh, down and up into the net, cross over another two. Easy batting uh, for the uh, England girls. Only very slow. Come back with some kind Still of lots recovery. of time. Uh, that's uh, hammered through the offside, comfortably through. Good running, quick on their feet. And uh, picking up uh, a run. So 11 now, uh, and the one wicket to Kanchana. 118, 31 of that uh, last skin. So 13 of the thir third skin was the best uh, Sri Lanka did, but England Lions will feel confident they can defend all four, I'm sure, going in uh, to the uh, second half. Uh, it's a big, stiff target ahead. The final game uh, for today. And uh, England have uh, done well. First, that first skin, they were remarkable. There was a 15 ball over as well, the fourth one. The Sri Lankan fielders were all over. Not uh, concentrating enough. And England capitalized uh, dearly in that uh, first skin. They were getting runs quite easily. They got yeah. 40 yard in the first skin. This uh, certainly played some good shots. Uh, the third skin was where they messed up a bit. Few dismissals, uh, uh, Anjali. And uh, we also had uh, Chloe, who was dismissed, the two mankards. As well. And uh, that's where England uh, slipped, but uh, they did well to come back in the fourth one and uh, get uh, them a, a good target which uh, they could uh, defend. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. DS versus Manam. 18th One Day Encounter. 21st April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dine on View app at thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway.
Angle lines. <laughs> so light Angle lines. Angle lines. 118 on the board. So, Michael, I think that third skin, Sri Lanka development, I think they should target that. And I think uh, what they didn't, uh, I think it was Yasanga and Kanchana who batted so well. But they batted in the wrong skin where they had to get a lot of France. So I think this time they'll come in that third skin to get 13. Or maybe even to get the uh, 27 in the second skin. Meanwhile, they have uh, lost a wicket, I guess. Or oh, not quite sure what happened. That replay, not sure what happened. What they were talking about. Well, there was one more ball to go. And also, uh, Michael, remember there were two Mankai dismissals uh, in the England innings. So, what goes around comes around. Sri Lanka development team, they have to be prepared for this. Well, this one was not a Mankai, but uh, they're just uh, trying to get together for a chat. Well, you need to actually check with the umpire if you're not sure how many balls are bowled because the umpire will call over straight away. Pidipa. Rafferty, the bowler. So that uh, was uh, highly stupid. Just walking out of the crease without uh, checking. So they got quite a lot of uh, free runs and then managed to cancel that off. So decided that we don't need free runs in red. We're going to use our bats. And still. It's minus one. And also, Michael, uh, Sri Lanka, they won't get uh, deliveries like what they bowled because uh, the England Lancers, they have a lot of discipline. They are really disciplined. And I'm not quite sure what the keeper did there. She thought maybe the run striker was uh, well inside. And uh, she threw the ball at the run striker's end. Mistakes all around. I think she was uh, unsighted of the batsman. It's just running. One striker was falling asleep there. And the keeper thought, okay, we'll have some fun out here. That tends to happen. What was happening. That tends to happen. Not knowing what's happening. That tends to happen. I mean, that, that side is packed with fielders also. So, uh, so maybe, as you mentioned, the uh, even I think the Lexus is the batsman didn't know what was happening. Okay, white two runs. England tried to return the favor. Sri Lanka did another one. So uh, England Lions is also giving away some free runs to Sri Lanka very early in this uh, first king. But then in that first over they did the same. Decided 
against getting the free runs. Find a way of getting out. So two overs gone. Senuki on 10, Melindi on uh, minus 4, and the total is uh, 6 for Sri Lanka. Third over now. So, uh, Salad Bullpit. Charlotte to bowl the uh, third over of this first game for Sri Lanka. Interesting delivery that time. It's going to be a third ball, so she needs to make sure that uh, she gets bad on ball. The non striker needs to uh, stay inside, otherwise, we may probably see a man card here. Not the best of deliveries. I was wondering what the batsman was looking back at the wicket keeper, whether she was going to throw the ball. Just put your head down and run. Have you forgotten the basics? So many uh, free runs given away in this encounter, first by Sri Lanka and now by England Lannisters who uh, seem to be uh, not bowling in target, not bowling on target to England Lannisters. They were really good in the previous encounters, uh, Michael, not so sure what is happening here. By any chance is Christmas close by? They're giving gifts, <coughs> exchanging wives and nobles. Oh. And uh, according to the uh, official, she got back in time. So seven runs from that over. The foot was uh, in the crease. Uh. One more, Michael, in this uh, skin for skin. Lots more runs to get to catch England. As I mentioned earlier, that uh, third skin, or even the second skin and third skin, both may probably be the... Uh, targets for Sri Lanka development in this game against England Lionesses. They want to uh, work out with some points. Chloe the bowler. Well. <laughs> England using their better bowlers in that uh, fourth over is what I feel. No, exactly. They're doing it really well. But that time... She missed it completely, but uh, they managed to uh, change ends. They managed to uh, get through to a single. So four more deliveries to go. Well defended. A good delivery that time. Bounce there, extra bounce for her. So another third ball situation, is it? Yes, a third ball situation. Ball could have been placed just away because there's only one field in the front line uh, on the left side. Well done there. And to get out of that uh, third ball situation. Well, we've seen a lot of uh, battles getting out of that situation. And 
that would have been that ideal down and up shot for the delivery. Those who leave it in the first game is over. Five runs on the board. Look about 18 runs on the board. Five runs in that over. previous over. So, not a bad start uh, for, for Sri Lanka development. Now the two important skins coming up where Sri Lanka can definitely uh, play that catching up game and uh, get some runs, uh, get some points on the board uh, by winning the two skins. Can they do that? I think uh, as we expected, um, Kanshana and uh, Yasangi might come into bat in the next skin, the third skin. Now it's Marshi and uh, Netma. Welcome to our beach resort paradise. Enjoy surfing, kayaking, beach volleyball, cricket, and poolside relaxation. Complete your getaway with our comfortable accommodations. Experience unforgettable dining with Sri Lankan, Western, and Chinese cuisine at our restaurant. Book your getaway now. Second skin begins for Sri Lanka and uh, mystery. Anjali mystery. She has a mystery ball to suit her name. Ah, that's good. Good bowling and straight away a wicket uh, to Anjali mystery. She'll be happy if she was a bit disappointed, a tad bit disappointed when she was batting. Yeah, because she uh, got out quite a few times in that uh, skin. But uh, something to celebrate for her. Well, that means she takes her game pretty seriously. No, exactly. And not being able to give something to the team. Yeah, you get angry with yourself. That's only fair. Yeah, exactly. And she's still very young, uh, Michael. There's a long way to go. And yeah, it's really great to see uh, something like that from cricket. As you mentioned, she's taking the game really seriously and it's really great to see. And she needs to understand not every game that uh, every way every game won't go your way. And there will be games that you have a really hard time. So just have to move on. You just have to forget those uh, games or even those moments. You just have to focus on what's next. So uh, a good over so far from uh, Anjali. Well, she can only improve going forward. Uh, and uh, she's uh, definitely making a men's here, bowling a brilliant over. Very well bowled again. So, uh, just uh, minus two from that over. You said, yeah, that's enough of the over. No runs, no yeah, there was no ball. So, uh, no runs, technically. Took a wicket. So, a good over from Anjali. That will give us some confidence. And that's exactly what I mentioned, uh, Michael. Some moments don't go your way, but some moments do in cricket. That's how the game goes. That's a good shot. Just the pitch of the ball. Sit over. Emily Stanyard, the bowler. Try to hit the cover of that ball. Missed it completely. And now, third ball. Now what are they going to do? They're trying to... Uh, Tap and run? Yeah, that should be the way forward. And... Uh, there we go. You missed something there, Michael. If we can get that uh, angle once again. The fielder who was standing in front? No, not the fielder who was uh, standing in front. Was really close in. 
a little uh, request uh, for the production team. Can we get pictures from the uh, camera? We have uh, Ricky Sims giving some uh, must needed advice uh, to the Sri Lankan development team. Well, he is always a ladies' man, so likes having a chat uh, with some players, especially when it's ladies. Always there to give some help. End of another over. Six gone, 25 now. Seven in this uh, hit. Katie Puller. Another wicket. Bold. You can see that. But was she thinking? Ball was straight, tried to leave it. Well, if it locked her leg, she would have been given LBW because no stroke. Close, very close, not reading the flight, let's that go and it's a third ball, meanwhile and court to the scores, single 179, Singapore minus 8. So, uh, Sri Lanka development by the current look of things, uh, the second skin also might go in the uh, favor of uh, England Lionesses. And that's a dismissal. She found the outside edge, and uh, the field, the closing field, uh, manages to uh, catch that off the rebound. It's the replay, playing away from her body, so away from her body, and just couldn't close that face of the bat and hit it down. Getting the edge onto the netting and into the fielder's hand. So that's the end of the seventh. Seventeen is the score. Philippa third ball again and they escape that again just one run. Four more deliveries to go in this uh, final over of the second skin. This pair, they have, uh, they did add some runs, but those dismissals completely wiping uh, those runs away. And uh, finally, the they get back to. And still only two now, <laughs> thanks to that uh, wide delivery. Yeah, so just two runs to show for all the hard work uh, these two youngsters did in the uh, four overs. She uh, lets it go and uh, that's not called as a wide, so uh, that will be a dot delivery. Two more deliveries to go.
And uh, let's sound the leg side. He'll be re -balled. So that's the end of the eighth or end of the uh, second skin as well. Just four runs for Sri Lanka development in that uh, second skin. Sri Lanka just on 22. And uh, coming up next, the most important skin. And just as expected, Kanjana Pereira is uh, coming out to back the Sri Lankan captain. Let's see what happens in this third skin. Experience world-class healthcare in cutting-edge medical technology at a truly affordable rate. From Sri Lanka's most internationally accredited hospital chain, Hamas Hospitals. Hamas Hospitals, by your side. That's a very good catch taken there. That's another dispersal. So the third... Uh, Skin started with a dismissal, so minus five for Sri Lanka development. There she is, a replay of that. Unnecessary, isn't it? Straight away, a big, uh, a big hike uh, across the line. Anjali taking a very good catch. He saw her ball a very good over earlier as well. Minus five straight away. And that was uh, not necessary. So now it's third ball situation, uh, is it? It's some surprise uh, that uh, Kanchana didn't take a strike uh, initially in the uh, skin. She's the senior player, the captain. Because uh, to get things going, because straight away, otherwise you go to minus five, giving the youngster uh, opportunity to bat. It's down the leg side. Leg side given, two more runs. Sri Lankan development total is just 19. We are in this third skin. That That's was close to the leg stump. Risky leave. Those should be played onto that back net. That's the third ball incident now being created by the England bowlers. Oh, Ricky Sims is coaching there. I can see Ricky Sims coaching uh, some of the girls. Oh, that's a wonderful catch taken there. Ricky, what were you doing there, Ricky? Now how did this uh, replays come up, uh, Paulinus? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we exactly saw. Good, anyway. Good bit of advice given. Yes, uh, uh, certainly. I think these are all Michael's tactics. So that's a minus eight for the development team. No, this is a poor start. This is a, a, a skin they wanted to win. And they wanted to go out there and bat. And uh, they are already given minus eight. Kenny Fuller, the bowler. Need much more from the Sri Lankans. This is poor batting. Another That's one. Again, another one to go. Uh, not really sure what she's playing at the moment. No, they, they, they can give a fight because they're 13 and this is uh, Sri Lankan development minus 13. So now, what happens is they have to get 27, isn't it? To uh, get over the line. That's going to be a difficult ask, Saraki. Definitely. It's going to be a difficult task for the Sri Lankan Certainly development up. team. Escaped that one, escaped, just beluted the fielder. It also could have been a possible chance. I think uh, what they really need to work on is hit the ball into the ground. 
what they're trying to do is always hit the ball straight onto the net. You know, they're playing it in the air. Indoor cricket is uh, hit it along the ground, hit it into the ground. And it brought down uh, the Sri Lankan total to 11 2. And the skin total is minus 11. And oh, a stumping chance missed there. Another opportunity gone a begging for the England Lioness. Third ball situation, well, has come up to. That will be called wide. And a run out. A run out. And a run out. But this is uh, not a where she should have seen that was a wide. But she wanted the win for the single because it's a third ball situation. But I think the striker should have run because yeah, she, she could knew have run as well. She knew that she was going to come. Yeah, she should have gone as well. Probably she thought because that was so wide that the non-striker would have seen it. <laughs> That's a part, I think, of uh, intelligence, isn't it? Uh, you know, they should uh, speak with each other first. Uh, what are we going to do? Definitely again, a minus 16 and another one. Oh, missed it. They are all over the place. The Sri Lankans are all over the place. They're going, uh, when you need uh, 13, they're going backwards. At Asangi, the moment, Asangi is minus 11 and Kanchan is minus 5. So the total is minus 16 in the skin. Very poor show by the spare. They had the intention of winning the skin, but they are now nowhere near it. So the Sri Lankan development uh, total also brought down to 6. What's happening there? A big of a hold up. It's called a mm. no ball. Getting uh, two more runs to the total. Hammers it away. They might get a few runs here. Stopped at the end. Was that a Oh, single was that a four or five? I really not unsure. Hit uh, might be three. Well, I think it's a just a two. And that's another, another one. stamping gone. Oh, what was she trying to do there? Kanjana Barrera, this is weak cricket, very poor cricket. Definitely very, very poor cricket there. They are, they are not aware of what they need to do. Look at that all over the place no footwork at all They're not watching the ball at all ricky they're very nervous out there and uh, a skin that they should have won they're given away they gone down to minus 16. just need they needed only to get 14 runs to win the skin Down the leg side. Two more. Two more deliveries remaining in this over. Another dot ball there. One more left in the 11th over. Finally plays uh, the proper shot but doesn't get a run. Minus 14 with one over to go in this uh, skin. Last over in the skin. New bowler is Anjali. Anjali the mystery Mist bowler. Anjali mystery. She bowled well in that last over. The first, her first over. And that's another really wicket. Well. That's another wicket. I'll tell you, uh, Paul, no, she didn't bat well at all. Got dismissed a couple of four times, I think. 
But she's picked up wickets when she's coming to bowl. She's done a superb job with the ball. Ball very straight. <laughs> Held on to a catch earlier as well. And uh, has contributed uh, to the uh, team effort. That's a good yeah. delivery in that line. Within that line. Minus 19. Sri Lanka in this can. What a poor skin. How many dismissals we are running? Not being able to count the number of dismissals uh, this pair has gone through. Lost count, Paulinas. Minus 17 is the score, 5 is the total. What I'm counting is uh, the uh, number of overs. At the moment, three balls left in the twelfth over. Long, long way to go. Sri Lanka have a lot of catching up to do. Unfortunately, they badly messed up this skin with some poor batting. Just one run there. Definitely a very poor performance by these two batters. Finally, be. gets one into the back net. The uh, offside back net, yes, uh, they'll pick up four for that. Supposed to be the two best batters uh, in the Sri Lankan development team, Ricky. Uh, I really don't know if they are or what, but they certainly came to try and win this skin, but unfortunately, it hasn't gone their way. Leg side delivery once again. They plan to win this skin, the easiest skin, sending their best pair in there, which they had 13 to get. Now they're still ending up at minus 10. <coughs> so that's the end of the skin. It's minus 10. Yasangi <coughs> minus 7 and Kanchana minus 3. Anjali 2 for 4. A good bowling spell there. So one more skin left. Four was uh, remaining uh, in today's game. Final skin for the day. So this is the fourth day coming to an end. <laughs> Could be run out there now. The throw was not good in there. She managed to get back to the crease. Another touch of delivery. Well played, and they get a run. So Chloe is the bowler. Rutkin. Two more runs. So this is how it is to be done. You know, you have to hit it hard into the ground, not in the air. The pull or the cut has to be played into the ground, it, then one bounce into the net. That's better batting, you know, uh, slightly slow off the mark, but she gets home, uh, very young again, 15-year-old uh, uh, Paulinas uh, playing here, just started playing cricket, in fact. so. Uh, uh, the indoor cricket is raw to them. Well, she's batting well. Yes, uh, she looks good. Uh, exactly, trying to do the basics right. But that is what is important. It may not come off uh, 100%, but at least you're trying to play the game uh, the correct way. See, they're trying, look at the effort. They're trying to hit it into the ground, isn't it? That's good cricket. See, they've got ones, they've got twos, they've got to seven. Good bit of running between there too. Let me uh,
I think it's Mitmi Asanka, who is betting out there. So seven runs uh, in this game up to now for the Sri Lankan Devil Bun. Emily is standing out the bowler. Going for a big sweep. There you go again. The intention is clear. Hit it into the ground. Now a third ball. And <laughs> so this is now where they have to speak to each other. Why do not I'm coming? Uh, see the call two. Go for it. England getting 179. Good running, good running. Now this is, see, that is uh, good cricket. Let me go to Singa getting a run. Singapore coming quite close in that third skin. Yes, so Singapore losing that game, but they almost won one skin there. Chasing 42, they got to 39, unfortunately. But well played to Singapore. The girls have tried hard. They will learn from this experience. They will learn a lot uh, when they go back. They'll take those memories. And uh, I'm sure we'll see them uh, much more in the future. These girls getting better and one day competing very much better against the bigger teams. Yes, so they have been uh, good for the last four days uh, to making this uh, indoor cricket tournament much better. So well done to the Singapore girls. And England, of course, will be in that all-important final against England tomorrow. They have been unbeaten, this England side. They'll be looking to uh, clinch uh, the women's segment. On the other hand, these two youngsters are batting well. That's a good hit. She gets four runs there. She's hit that uh, three net there, the back net on the onside. Taking the dead open total onto 12 in this skin. Getting some runs, these two. There these you go again, getting another two, I think. Well, like these two are batting much better than the previous pair. Yeah, certainly, they, they have already overtaken that 13 which was needed in that last skin they got to 14 and still in the 14th uh, over two overs to go good batting very good batting needed a direct hit well in the court two the game has come to an end england getting 179 and singapore getting 24 and the closest skin was uh, the third skin where england got 42 and singapore managed to get uh, 39 Others, of course, uh, other three skins, England could won it quite easily. So coming back to this game is Izzy Barnes to go bowl the next over. 16 so already, two overs to go. What they need is another 16 of the two overs, uh, Paulinus. Well, if they That will be a that, brave effort, I'll tell you. Definitely, if they can do that, that will be a great effort. No doubt these two batters have batted very well up to now. It's shown some fight in them, taking that fight to the England camp. Not worried to play their shots. Fully played by Nithmi. Is it uh, a third ball situation? Oh, one more. Oh. oh, keeper messed it up, and she's got home. The non-striker did well to get into the crease. Keeper could not gather it. They managed to cross over, but that's good cricket uh, by the youngster. That's good thinking by her because she knew they had to get that run. Certainly. So 18 runs are in this skin. 30 the total. These two batters definitely have picked up the total. Nithmina, Nithumina and Nithmi. Good performance Nith by Isi Barnes. Nith so 
anyway. So we have uh, Netmi and Netma, isn't it? Uh, batting out there. So well, 30 uh, runs uh, the total, 18 runs in this uh, skin. So the last six balls. That's a good run taken there. Taking the score to 19 in the skin. Twelve more runs. They can make it in this five deliveries. They need a couple of big hits. Oh, beautiful running there. They get two. Couple of straight drives. Can get those ten. Yes, that's certainly possible. But even if they don't get there, I think they've done very well. You know, they, they have not got out. And I hope they don't train these next three deliveries, these girls. It's definitely, they've done very well. They've put on 21 between them. 21 very valuable runs for Sri Lanka development. That's and nice look at the intention. Look at the intention. You know, hit it slapping into the it down, into slapping the ground. it down, isn't it? The dunk shot, trying their best <coughs> not to hit it in the air, not to get caught. You know, that's the intention was very clear. So the execution was not there. The intention was good. Excellent. That will be uh, a wide, I think, down the leg side. But that was a third ball. ball, third ball situation. They got that run again. Good bit of thinking by that non-striking girl. Yes, so I think you were given some good advice at that moment, last moment. E exactly, before they went into bat, isn't it? Showed them how to play the cut and the pull, uh, uh, Paulinus. Uh, very right. simple. It's a very simple theory. You know, you take the net as the two fielders and hit it into the ground. So What's you think the, the ball? Keep, your, keep the eyes on the ball. That's very important. Yeah, and if you think the nets are the fielders and they are the catchers, you have to hit it into the ground that you don't hit it into them. The ball automatically will bounce and uh, go onto the net. And uh, they have tried that. Uh, that's what is uh, good to see. Yeah, definitely, they've got 24 runs between them. That is the best uh, of the four skins of Sri Lanka development squad team. Oh, almost, almost, but they survive. They survive. You could see <laughs> she's relieved. They didn't get out. I think they are very happy with that performance. They didn't get out. 13 to Mitmi Asanka, Netumini Gunasinga has made 11. And, uh, you know, they are very happy that they have uh, survived that uh, scare. And they are done well. I think uh, they should be proud of that effort. Yes, England have won the England Lionesses. Won and by uh, 82 runs. It has been a good performance. And uh, Definitely a good win for England Lionesses, but uh, they failed to qualify even after that victory. England will be playing Sri Lanka tomorrow in the women's final. Let's yes, it's going to be a big day, isn't it? We have the over 40 finals, the women's finals and the open finals coming up tomorrow. The final day of this uh, England Asia Cup 2024 from the UPRO. Indonets uh, here at uh, Talavatu Goda. It has been a fabulous four days, no doubt about it, for the uh, players from both uh, the men's and the women's categories. Here you see some highlights of the Sri Lankan development innings. They it started off... Uh, not bad. They started off well, I would say. But a couple of uh, shots, a uh, good bit of fielding we saw. You see a yes, couple of the great kids. The opening pair did a decent job. And uh, yes, uh, some shots didn't go their way. But it was uh, that uh, second, uh, third, third uh, skin that uh, really uh, they batted very I poorly. Just giving the wickets away. And was uh, third pair. it was a very disappointing effort uh, from them. No coordination in their running. No understanding between the players. And uh, that was a very, very, very poor batting indeed. And then we got this final pair batting so well. Getting some runs. Getting some shots straight down the ground. Yes, uh, these two girls, uh, Metumini and Metma, Netmi, did uh, really well. They had their luck, no doubt, but still, they played very well. And that... Uh, there, there you see go. the results which happened on the day. Yes, uh, today's games, uh, Singapore won by 30 runs, over 40 masters. 
And uh, as you see, we came down the order. England Lioness is winning. Singapore versus England, England. Uh, England won by Harab. There is a final day fixtures. The 40 and over Masters Grand Final, Sri Lanka Legends versus Sri Lanka Masters. Then the Women's Grand Final, England versus Sri Lanka at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. The Grand Grand Final between Sri Lanka men and the India men. So keep watching. And tomorrow here the action will be filled. All three finals. Yes, sir. And we'll be coming, isn't it, Pauline, live on you from you Pro. Kalambo here in Talavatu Goda. Coming on to you live on thepapare.com. You could catch us on uh, social media platforms on the Papare YouTube as well and uh, Dialogue TV to watch these games. Uh, it's an important uh, one. The final three games uh, for tomorrow. 9 a.m., 11 a.m. and uh, 1 p.m. Sri Lanka in all three finals. England will be looking to take that women's one and uh, India certainly will try their best to beat Sri Lanka the better side in the men's grand final. So join us uh, tomorrow as well. We'll be here sharp uh, 9am coming to you live from the UPRO Colombo.